is the Jess song.
When you begin your journey of building an opening repertoire, how nice would it be to get a glimpse of what each opening looks like through the eyes of a super GM? It would help building your opening repertoire and understanding the vast world of chess openings. It is exactly with this thought that a super grandmaster's guide to openings with Anish Giri was made. This video course includes Anish Giri's deep insights and Sagar's pertinent questions to the super GM. In volume 1, all the openings after 1 E4 are covered. This includes the Rui Lopez, Italian, Petrov, Scotch, French, Sicilian, Karokan, Perk, Modern and much more. In volume 2, we have all the openings after 1d4 like Queen's Gambit, Nimzo Indian, King's Indian, Grunfeld, Benko, Benoni and others. We have also covered other lines like the English and Reti and even B3 in volume 2. Along with explaining the nuances, each video also has a story narrated by Anish on the favorite game he played in that opening and his memories related to it. It is extremely valuable to hear the thoughts of a player who is currently considered one of the best opening experts in the world of chess. Getting this video course will elevate your knowledge of chess openings and will help you make informed decisions on how to go about building your opening repertoire. If you have always struggled with openings, this video course would be a perfect primer for the first phase of the game. Welcome to Candidates 2024. Hello guys, how are you all? We have already reached round number 10 and today is very critical. We say this every day that today is the most important day, but that is candidates and every day is most important. But as fir bhi yaar, thoda alag hai. Let me just show you quickly the pairings over here and the rankings as well. Today we will be having round number 10 Nakamura versus Nijat Abasov, Karuana versus Firuza, Nepo versus Gukesh, the clash. The most important clash here of the joint leaders and Pragnananda versus Vidit. I think for us, this one would be the last uh, all Indian matchup. So that's why we it always ends with a mixed feeling if one of them wins. So let's see what's going to happen there. Women's pairings, Katerina Lano versus Anna Muzichuk, Goryachkina versus Leiting G, Nurgul versus Vaishali and Tanzongi versus Koneru Hampi. So Hampi... Can she beat Tan Zongi? That would be a question. And Vaishali, no matter what, can she strike back? It's been a very tough tournament for her, but any day can change things for you. Also, the year we have the women's ranking where Tan Zongi is leading, and today she's playing with Hampi, Lerting G, Goryachkin on five and a half points, Katerina Lano on five points. Humpy and Nurgul on 4 points. So if Humpy beats Zongi, she will climb to 5 points. Yes, it's possible that, you know, eventually, dheere dheere karke you can, unrealistic, but you can always have that hope to win all the games. Anna, and, Anna on 3.5 and, and Vaishali on 2.5. Here we have the men's rankings, Gukesh. And Nepo on 5 and half, but Gukesh better in tie break. So right now, this is the standing. Isn't it amazing to have uh, Gukesh on top over there? We also have Prag on 5 points. He's, he's the only one on 5 points, in fact. Followed by Nakamura, Vidit and Karwana on 4 and half points. Ali Reza on 3 and half and Nijat on 3. These are the standings for today. And... How are you all? Let me know in the chat. We are going to have guests. We are going to have Sarvanan today. We are going to have uh, Hari Krishna also. So, kaise lag raha hai? There is a poll there. Do, uh, I don't know, do vote. Because the question is, will Guki remain the joint leader today? Oh, spelling mistake ho gaya. <laughs> to fe ho gaya. Theek hai. And there we have, currently the voting says, yes, a solid draw with Nepo on 27%. He will become the sole leader on 51%. Will be a tough day against Nepo 11% and hard to predict 11%. But majority of the chat thinks that we're gonna have Gukesh beat Nepo. That's a big, big, big prediction. Kya baat hai chat? Aur kya ho raha yaar? What, what else is happening? And I must also show you something. On helpchess.com, we have 12, 35 believers. But look at that um, last contribution by Harsh Patel. He's contributed 17,000 rupees. And that's such a huge amount, Harsh. So thank you so much. 
वेरी काइंड ऑफ यू चैतन्य से एम बी ए चाय वाला ट्वीट वट इज द ट्वीट अबाउट चाय देखते देखते मैं चेस देख रहा हूँ और इज इट अमृता इज मिसिंग सागर के हाथ का चाय इन द मॉर्निंग वट इज द ट्वीट गाइज लेट मी नो डेमिन किंग से जीरो यो आई गॉट नाइन हंड्रेड रेटिंग क्या बात है अ फ्यू मंथ्स लेटर मे बी देर माइट बी वन नंबर वन ऑन लेफ्ट साइड यू माइट बी नाइनटीन हंड्रेड बाय देन चैट का प्रेडिक्शन शाल वी ऑल्सो ट्राई टू हैव चैट प्रेडिक्शन लेट्स गो लेट्स हैव आर चैट चेस मूज वर्किंग एंड गाइज फॉर गुकी वर्सेस नेपो दैट वुड बी आर फर्स्ट बोर्ड गुकी वर्सेस नेपो नेपो इज सॉरी नेपो इज वाइट एंड गुकी इज ब्लैक सो ई फोर फॉर नेपो विन ई फाइव फॉर गुकी विन एंड बी थ्री दो वी हैव द पोल बट यहाँ पे भी कर ही लेते हैं अपना रिचुअल लेट्स डू इट सो ई फाइव फॉर गुकी विन ई फोर फॉर नेपो विन एंड बी थ्री फॉर ड्रॉ people are joining slowly steadily today by the way i saw nikhilesh uh, is going to be streaming as well from 12 o'clock he said ki kal neend nahi hui waise bhi so kyun na main 12 baje jaau and that's where uh, nikhilesh is going to stream i believe i'm not sure but maybe sama is going to join nikhilesh okay let's just uh, check what is the chat saying here we have Thirty people thinking Gukesh is going to win, and rest of them, many of them think it could be a draw as well. ठीक है चलो ये एक वोट हो गया. Let's go for the next one, which is going to be Prag versus Vidit. Prag versus Vidit. D four. Wait a second. Let me clear this out. D four for Pragnananda win. D five for Vidit's win, and G three for a draw. what do you think and also what is going to be the best for you know in terms of the ranking and the chances perspective is uh, another question there oh this one is a big competition let me just show you <laughs> d5 and d4 mein bahut competition chal raha hai yaar not so clear we have uh, prediction with pragnananda winning then with it winning complex it's complex draw is less matlab one thing is clear the chat thinks it's going to be a decisive result at least i need a reference of 10 then i can then i can say okay we can leave this page and uh, या एम बी ए चाय वाला ने क्या ट्वीट दिया आई थिंक मे बी यू गाइज कॉपीड इट बट आई मिस्ट इट ओ बाय दी वी हैव मेम्बर्स ऑलरेडी न्यू मेम्बर्स वाइल योर डी फोर डी फाइव के बीच में कॉम्पिटिशन इज गोइंग ऑन वी हैव टू न्यू मेम्बर्स गौतम शिव थैंक यू फॉर बिकमिंग द पिलर ऑफ इंडियन चेस ओ वी ए पिलर न्यू पिलर ऑफ इंडियन चेस आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम सो थैंक यू गौतम ऑल्सो वी हैव सैम्यूअल विबोवो हु इज बिकम द बैकर ऑफ इंडियन चेस इवन बिफोर द स्ट्रीम स्टार्टेड सो दैट्स यूज all the membership amount guys goes for the laptop fund for the talented young indians or talented indians <laughs> prabnit which uh, certificate of appreciation you talking about not getting it okay and we still have slight favorism with d5 so people are guessing with it guys with the black pieces you are predicting that he will beat pragnananda who many of you i mean but many of you okay we will see this is going to get interesting opening se bahut kuch pata chalega uh let's also quickly get done yeah here we are so actually this is an important pairing hampi tanzongi versus hampi hampi is black what do you think c4 for tan zongi winning c5 for humpy beating tan zongi and f3 for a draw c4 for tan c5 for humpy and f3 for a draw yahan pe what do you think
What do you think, guys? Wow, here also some competition going on. So let's see. MBA Chaiwala OP says Ar Arizan Musafir in a super chat. Kya kaha kya hai? By the way, here we have the result of the prediction. C4 and C5 did have some competition. C4, whoa, you guys are considering, you guys are predicting that Tan is going to beat Humpy. But it's very close, C17, 18. So I'm going to consider it more towards a, towards a decisive game. But we don't know what's going to happen there. And can Vaishali strike back with Nurgul Salimova today? That's the final vote for you guys with, oops, what do we do? F4 for white win, F5 for black win, and D3 for a draw. So, if you think Vaishali can strike back, go for F5. F4, F5, and D3. Rupa, Rupanjana says, well, MBA Chaiwala said, all the best to Nepo for today's match against Gukesh. Really? No, I mean, will he uh, wish all the best only to Nepo? Are you serious? Okay. What is the thing? F5. So, you guys think Vaishali is going to strike back, which is a good thing. Let's believe in her that she will strike back. Now, going to our main screen, the games are going to begin in, 30, in three more minutes. What's the news for today? Or kya chal rai? Chat. Life me. Rishi says Samay made him tweet. Ah, I have. Okay. Hello, guys. I think it got disconnected. I don't know. Today the internet was showing some problems, but I am really back right now. And let me just get the board very quickly. Very sorry for that. Kya ho rai? Maybe the internet is also watching what's happening. Oh, the round has. Begun, we, I just hear some sound there. I hope this is not going to happen again. But, <laughs> bars. Now, if the games have started, let's get the bar. But we have the first move of today. Pragnananda has played E4 against Vidit Gujarati. Is Vidit going to play E5? That's obviously the guess. Because I doubt Vidit will go for Sicilian. But you never know. We'll, we'll keep that hope open. Going to Gukesh versus Nepomniachi. Uh, Nepo versus Gukesh. We want to see from the black side. There we have Rai Lopez on the board. Knight of 3, Knight C6, Bishop B5. You, If you remember last time, Gukesh with Vidit. In the Italian, he's, go, he's gone uh, A6. That, you know, little deviation over there. But this time, uh, simple Rai Lopez. No, look at this sideline. Gukesh has gone for a sideline with knight g e7. The main moves over here are, of course, as we have seen, knight f6, d6. These are the main moves. But knight g e7 is also pretty popular sideline, I would say. Sukhan says, three Indians in top five is a proud moment for Indian chess. And I completely agree with you. Sakar says with it should play Shlaiman. Maza Ajayga. Shlaiman. Oh, D4. Because, you know what White is saying? That Knight G E7 has been played, which is, you know, you've not gone for the normal developing move. So, Knight G E7, D4. He's saying, I'm going to strike in the center. And he opens the center. So, E takes D4 happening on the board. Gukesh went for Kozio. Acha, that's the name. Himank in the chat says, it's Kozio. I can't believe this. Because it's not a very uh, recommended line, especially from black. And in such a critical game, Gukesh has chosen this. What is the plan? What is he thinking? But we believe him. So d4, e takes d4, knight takes d4 on the board. And he quickly chops off. 
does he have any line which is going to take him towards equality because more than anything with the black pieces against such a solid experienced player like nepo experienced candidate player i would say <laughs> like nepo you know even a even a even a draw would be good is that what gukesh is thinking i don't know but himang says anand famously lost to a much weaker player with this opening in 1990 aha but 1990 ka zamana gaya himang now gukesh in waka and all of you must know that in waka uh, he has now signed a contract for 5 years which is a very big big news for the chess world help chess foundation certificate uh prabneet okay i got it you can just uh, i don't know maybe maybe did you get a option to fill in the details while you were playing but otherwise you can just write to chessbusinessindia@gmail.com or the help chess email id over there and it you will get it anyway they always contact and you will get it so uh kitna moves of quick moves are happening let's see where, where they are happening oh god we have been seeing this since such a long time in this event bishop c5 bishop c6 d6 i'm not even going to ask you again and again and again what happens for knight e5 because ye to matlab by heart ho jayega it's you know something like <laughs> every time but queen e2 this time we have this kind of a new move because we have seen castle knight bd2 also i believe uh, c3 also we have seen because we wanted to stop the queen d4 idea after knight e5 but queen e2 is a move which pragnananda has played with vidit gujarati now uh, let's go a move back and try to understand the actual uh, theory main line goes knight bd2 castle or bishop e6 or even queen e7 we were looking at it queen e7 and long castle ideas if you guys remember so queen e2 has been played by pragnananda now if vidit had in mind the ideas with queen e7 moving the bishop and long castle i don't know that but that because white is not short castling his attack immediately may not be the plan we have also seen black going for a5 ideas and then later finally short castling so let's see vidit is thinking over here important for vidit is not to think a lot because that is what everyone's trying to do in the opening with him but i'm sure that uh, he's learned his lessons and he he knows how much he would be more aware how much to think over here hindi chess base india aha uh -huh. okay got it we have nikhilesh and samay over there guys do subscribe to chess base india hindi Nikhilesh, I think tonight is very excited to you know commentate on the games. So yeah, nee bars. Let's get the bars, but also let's get Gukesh's position. In the meantime, Queen D four, Knight C six, Queen E three, on the board. Queen E three on the board has happened. and uh, we in fact there is a game which tan zongi had play, played with uh, demchenko which black had won by the way demchenko had beaten tan zongi in this line so he had played bishop d6 if you can see here is gukesh going to play bishop d6 let's let's just wait for it and in the meantime let's get the bars by the way guys how did you find a uh, lot of interesting things in the beginning which we play like the songs and uh, anish ad and of course the fide ad so lot of things there we go we have a blunder alert so today we were going to have something new i'm not very sure rakshit do we have some move number or some uh, you know option or not yet i have to refresh this once okay confirm and there we go yeah so we have the bars on the screen uh, i see some number over there 0 12 can't read it it's too small 
on the 27 inches computer so i'm not sure in mobile i believe it would be impossible but nevertheless there is a number and that might be saying about the evaluation and on that move number i believe uh, small move number on the top left of the bars manjot manjot has uh, added this right rakshit that's what you had mentioned correct me if i'm wrong uh I can maybe the number can be seen between the two players. I think if that can be done, it would be more visible. That would be great. Yes, Manjot has added this. Thanks, thanks, Manjot. That's amazing. The, every little improvement to the bars in this tournament has been amazing. Yes, Siddhan, 17,000 rupees by Harish Patel on helpchess.org. We are having today 12, 35 believers. What should be our believer goal and what should be our subscriber goal, guys, today? Because we're almost reaching 15 lakh. We've reached 15 lakh 39,000. So can we aim at 39,500 today? That can be our subscriber goal. But about our helpchess believers, we usually aim at 10 but maybe, um, yeah, 1250 sounds like a good 1250. Yeah, Parth Thakkar, 1250 believers. Let's have that as the goal. And one once again, a big thanks to Harsh Patel for such a huge contribution. Uh, so it's not necessarily for the viewers, but also for the commentator to quickly understand how many moves are done. I'll try, but still for me also, I can't read it uh, because it's... It's a little small, but let's see. Let's try it out. Queenie 3 and why is Gukesh thinking here? Can we go and also check our opening? Okay, let's go and check the opening because how many games have been played over here? Let's go to reference. And you can see over here e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. Are, very sorry, what am I doing? Zoom. Yeah, bishop b5 was played and Gukesh went, Gukesh went a6, bishop a4 and here he went, you can see knight g e7, which has been played almost 4000 games. Knight f6 has been the main move, which has been played in more than 3 lakh games. Then we had d6 over here. Then we also had b5 and bishop c5. So these are the main moves. And the fifth main move is knight g e7, as it is the fifth main move. Of course, it's not the main move, but it's maybe the main sideline. And very quickly, though castle and c3 are the main continuations, Nepo went for d4. He did not think. By the way, I'm very keen to see, has Gukesh, uh, you know, played this before, knight g e7 idea. Let me just have a quick look at, no, I don't see it. So knight g e7, d4 now, e takes d4, knight takes d4, we have knight takes d4 on the board, Dubo has played this with the black pieces, Demchenko has played this quite a lot with the black pieces, queen d4 and Gukesh went knight c6, the queen went to e3. So we have few games over here in this uh, scenario, but Dubo has played and he's lost. Whereas Demchenko has won, which we saw that Max Warmerdam has also played, Tan Zongi has played, and Bishop d6 is definitely a good idea over here to continue with. So what happens with Bishop d6? Let's quickly have a check with what Black had gone with. Something like this. Woo. Okay. Let's go to our main screen and check if Gukesh has made a move. Not yet. I am a little surprised. Uh, like, why is he thinking, guys? Vidit versus Prague. Okay, we will come back here while he's thinking. But Queen E2 was played. Knight goes to D7. Vidit did not think much, which is good. Five minutes. 
and now bishop e3 immediately immediately prague is challenging the exchange of this bishop with queen e2 so if bishop takes e3 with normally we are looking at fe3 because the queen is always on d1 but here white has an extra option of going queen takes e3 he can go queen takes e3 So what happened in the game? Bishop e3, queen e7 was quickly played over by Vidit. So queen e2, queen e7, we have some symmetry over there. And uh, Prague, always in this tournament, he's managed to bring something new on the board uh, in terms of opening. Today, with Vidit, if he's able to out-prepare him, he really gets that big edge because Vidit will go, in, go on thinking more. But if he's not able to out-prepare Vidit, then uh, then this game we can say might then i might predict this game as a draw but fabi everyone's asking if you look at fabi's game something crazy is happening or what e4 c5 knight f3 d6 d4 c d4 we have sicilian on the board guys which is the sicilian what's the name of the sicilian opening sicilian line this is sicilian but what's the name first of all over here Are yes, Mayang, Dakshit, Abhijit. But guys, you've written over there. If I would have asked you to spell that, then I'm sure you might have said Najdor. <laughs> That's what we say in India. But it is Najdor. It's Najdor. Uh, and Rook G1 played. Wow. G1. Naya G1. As Sagar loves to crack this joke. And I remember this was the move... Uh, I don't know when was it in two thousand, in two thousand eight or nine. I had first prepared, and when I saw such a move, I was so amazed. I was so happy that in my national seniors, I just called Sagar that you know what this is what I'm going to play tomorrow, and it did happen on the board. So very interesting idea. Rook G one brings Amai to the stream. He's the lucky charm for the Indian players. Arey, he will be there on you know uh, he's he's always floating there, so he'll be on some stream. And he will be uh, anyway the lucky charm. Only thing is, just let him know to eat salad. That's important. <laughs> Samay is in chess with Hindi channel. Fir apna hi hai, bhai. Apna hi hai. So Rook G one. Let's see H five. The idea of Rook G one was of course G four, and there is something very interesting. If you go Knight C six, G four. Okay, and you might think that White has given this pawn. Because after knight d4, queen d4, there you can pick up the pawn with the knight or even with the bishop. So if you if you play maybe let's try to go bishop g4. And here the first question for you is white to play. What is the best move for white? White to play. Stay alert. Take the milega ki nahi tum logon ko. But it's a very good surprise, yeah. If you're preparing an important tournament, Rook G one, and now it's even becoming more and more common. We are seeing more and more played on top level. So white to play Bishop G four. What are you going to play? Let's see what the chat has to say. And check our chat chess moves, guys. Come on, we need more energy. इतने कम लोग आज. Right now, like generally, we are getting fifty answers at four a.m. So right now, are you sleeping or what? Maybe उल्टा है. Maybe your schedule has changed, and everyone wants to go e five. But the right move has suggested is being suggested by Sentil Garde and Balaji. Rook g four. Though most of you wanted to go e five. What was your idea over here? D takes e5. Co plan? Kya tha, boss? What did you really think? Rook g4 was not happening. If queen e5, maybe just a move. Yeah, the right move is rook g4, and that's the trap. This is the opening trap. If you play knight g4, you continue with important move once again because otherwise rook g4 doesn't make sense unless you find it. Find it here. White to play. Once again, this question is important. White to play. Follow up is important, na? Koi bhi kam half you do something halfway and then you leave it. 
makes sense if uh, you know you really know why you are leaving it but otherwise you really want to finish it but you are not able to finish it it's a it's some problem in you then you should really figure out what's the problem but let's look at what the chat is saying and the chat is saying queen a4 amazing so many people wanted to go bishop h3 also though mayank rahul shesha nefarious Mahalakshmi, Shivam, Udayan, Saurabh, Anirudh and Balaji, Queen A4 because you know you'll be very happy to know after Queen D7 the idea over here is to go Bishop B5. You can't take Queen A check so this is the reason that it's a very nice trap so you can't take it. Uh, people had mentioned Bishop H3 but the knight moves away yeah? and then you don't have anything because you give a check this knight c6 anyway can go back so rook g1 played um, h5 he anyway says i don't want any g4 g4 business bishop goes to c4 uh, karuana has developed the bishop to c4 normally uh, they played h3 as well with the idea of g4 again but with this exchange on g4 the rook opens up and does uh, does give some counterplay to black so bishop c4 is kind of a nice idea there. In fact, it's a new idea. Nobody has played it. Wow. Also, while we are talking, we are having our guest. Oh, hi, Sarah. Hey, How are you? Very fine. How are you? Holding foot. I'm very good, guys. We have, I am Sarvanan over here, of course. You all know in Isle of Man, Grand Swiss, we did commentary for the whole tournament where Vidit won. And after a long time, he's back over here. Sarvanan, we are wanting to hear a lot of stories from you as well. Nasa, <laughs> <laughs> you Amruta. Thank you so much. And uh, it's always a pleasure to join you on commentary for Chessbase India. So many people braving the midnight here to look at us. So what's happening today on the games? Actually, uh, let me take you to the most important matchup where you can definitely let us know your thoughts because Nepo versus Gukesh, we had e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, a6 and bishop went to a4 and here Gukesh decided to go with this line, knight g e7. Yeah, this is basically getting very famous off late. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Bishop B5, NG7 was a line which was uh, resurrected by uh, Peter Swidler, uh, let's say about 15 years ago, 17 years ago. Then it became a little bit, um, let's say, problematic for black. And then at some point, you know, they were going with BB5, G6, BB5, A6, Bishop A4, G6. And then knight g7 and knight g6, knight g7 and g6 after a6, they were doing all this. Mm. What puzzled me today was, uh, basically for knight g7, uh, Nepo went d4. This is a very, very, let's say, not a fashionable line. Uh, white would definitely goes c3 as a more prominent move. The logic is that, your bishop is not going to develop easily. They are fate bishop. So I have all the time in the world to build a center with c3 and d4 immediately. This is the logic. So say for example here, uh, if g6, if black plays g6 here, d4, ed, cd, and now black can choose between b5, bishop b3, d5, or direct d5. And if uh, generally black goes, let's say d4, go for d4. Oh. So d5, e, white pushes d e5, okay. bishop g7, castles, castles. See now, uh, I'm kind of telling black that for the sake of, uh, for the tempos that you took, tempi, you took developing uh, your pieces, I have now established a very strong center. This was the logic. So, see from this point of view, white playing d4 early instead of c3 and d4. In a certain way, white is not taking advantage of blacks playing knight g7 at all, you know. Mm. 
I am not developing the center at all. So night D4, night D4, uh, did he take immediately? Yes. Yeah, he took immediately. Queen D4, knight D6, Queen E3. So this was a bit of a dichotomy for here. Why uh, Nepo played this? But of course, I think it's obvious. When uh, the moment Gukesh plays this, it's obvious that uh, he would have come well armed for this very important encounter. After all, it's a clash between uh, two leaders, right? So I think sidestepping mainline theory, Nepo sidesteps his own mainline theory. That is how I can interpret it as. Uh, definitely, it is going to be a very interesting thing. Uh, Gukesh is taking a very, very uh, long thought here, isn't it? Yeah, long he, took, he played bishop e7, but after, you know, he had 1 hour 59 minutes and now he has 1 hour 42 minutes, almost 18 minutes of thinking. Yeah. Uh, that's another thing here. You know, Amruta, instead of bishop e7, in this particular position, okay, bishop e7 was played by... Uh, Danny Dubov in 2022, I believe. Yes. The more prominent move was Bishop D6. Right. I thought he will go yeah. Bishop D6 because there is also a game Demchenko versus Stan Zongi and a, a few, very few other games as well. So, uh, but what is it? So, what is the difference between Bishop E7 and Bishop D6? Something uh, not yet sure. Point is, let's say Bishop D6 gets played. Mm -hmm. Um. It kind of uh, discourages castles. After bishop d6 castles b5, bishop b3, and then black plays castles himself. Um, Can you, you know, uh, not go f4 over here? Uh, not so f4 good. is looks very tempting, but uh, it's not so great because of uh, uh, after knight a5, I am removing this bishop off the board. Yeah. This is the point of, uh, yeah, b5, bishop, b3, castles. Okay, the the main point is, let's say instead of bishop d6, when black has played bishop e7, hmm? now let us say castles, b5, bishop, b3, castles. Now, let us say after c3, c if the bishop was on d6, black had this move possible, queen e7, idea bishop c5, and now it is not possible. Mm. This, I think, is the main point behind uh, bishop d6. Uh, bishop yeah. d6. I am curious as to why Guki preferred uh, bishop e7 instead of bishop d6. This I would love to know. Uh, so Definitely, there is some point behind it. I am not really sure about uh, why he does that. Also, he should be prepared for a move like queen e3, or maybe he did not give a lot of emphasis on direct d4 because generally you're preparing c3 and castle as you mentioned and then queen e3 uh, is something which is calculating one question which comes to the mind is whether if white takes on c6 with what will you play because next move if i want to go e5 ah oh, well uh Bishop d6, uh, bishop under c6 and uh, e5, I mean, bishop d6, okay, I will definitely take with a d pawn. Okay. And now if uh, e5? Not, no, e5, oh. I just play castles, you know. Ah, I just play castles. nice. You don't even bother about this, you have rookie 8. Okay. And um, one more thing is, hmm. this position on the board right now resembles us so much of another opening. Go back to e4, e5, d4. e4, e5, yeah, direct d4, e d4, queen d4. Knight c6, queen e3. In many ways, there is some resemblance of this. Ah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is central opening. Uh, do you know the actual uh, protagonist of this position at the top chess? No. Tell me. He's the original Daniel, Daniel Dubo of the 1990s, Alexander Morozovich. Oh, wow. You know, there is a nice story behind this. Alexander Morozovich burst into the international scene in 1989 or 1988 Lloyd's Bank Championship, which was being held in the uh, London, uh, in London. Those days when, uh, you know, the Indian team was the top six, which will finish in the National AHS Championship. So, 
uh, they all qualified, the Indian team qualified and went to the Lloyds Bank and Alexander Morozovich, young 17, 18-year-old Morozovich, played the center opening and defeated three grandmasters with white pieces in the, in the same tournament. Wow. So, I had my colleague from Mumbai, Sharath Tilak, who played this tournament and came back and uh, I asked Sharath, how was Morozovich? He said, pretty simple, E4, E5, D4, E4, D4, Queen, D4 and he checkmated all three grandmasters with white pieces. <laughs> I, I will. I I have a fascination for this opening, and the position we have on the board, we are something resembling this now with two knights on the board. Yeah, so we can. You know what? Why I told that was this position is not with Venom, mainly because White will not play castles. He will play Bishop D two and Triple O in this variation invariably, and then. You know, he has a center in his hand by playing f4 and all that later. Wow. So, if he was for bishop d2 long castle, it would become very dangerous. Actually, you are so right. Exactly. See, that is why today's game is going to be, for all purposes, I have a feeling it's going to be an all out uh, tactical fight, which suits Nepo definitely with white pieces. So, I'll be very careful if uh, we, we have to put anyone in uh, Gukesh's shoes. Today, black has to be very careful in my opinion. Oh, so then uh, it's also going to be a little, in a way, knight g7 he did play. But Nepo's uh, sideline, as you say, sideline for the sideline has been a good choice to put Gukesh into that moment to think. So, let's see what will happen over here. Also, another interesting matchup is uh, between Vidit and Pragnananda. If we go to that board, uh, and if I take you through the opening moves, yeah. Bishop b5, knight of 6. This we saw a lot in this tournament, but queen e2 was played by Prag. And yeah. knight d7 by Vidit. Bishop e3 immediately. Queen e7, knight c3. And now Vidit takes back the bishop to d6. And knight d2 by Prag. Yeah, uh, Amrita, did you notice something? Uh, this tournament, um, with its choice of openings, have been, uh, what to say, quite adventurous, quite going for the full from day one. And suddenly today, he uh, invited Prag for a London uh, system. Uh, I'm sorry, a Berlin defense uh, system game, which was a little surprising for me. But he has been playing e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6 since uh, in this tournament anyway, right? I understand. But, you know, see, uh, with Nijat Abaso, he played the uh, uh, Berlin in the seventh round. Um, what did he do against... Uh, because I don't remember with it going for... Sinai. Nakamura. Also e4, e5. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. He... He did go for, no, he did go for, but those, both those games also, White refused to play this. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. Probably this was not a surprise. But uh, the way in which he played the previous rounds and the fact that he has to come back into the tournament, I expected something sharper than him than the uh, Berlin today. Yeah. But it is the Berlin today. So, maybe with Black, he just wants to, you know, take it cool it today. Solid. And also, Prague has been amazing in this tournament with his openings. Like, suddenly. Also, last time, he had played F5 with, with it. So, with it, we'll remember that in Rai Lopez, uh, that F5 move happened all of out of nowhere. So, I think that ha would have some psychological impact on with it. Well, I don't know. Honestly speaking, uh, what is the opening strategy for uh, with it? I'm not able to understand. As I said, uh, I expected something sharper today. Uh, because the way he has been played in the last two, three games and all that, of course, he has offered the Berlin in one game, which slipped my mind. The other game also. But uh, yeah, none of them accepted the Berlin. Let's see. I mean, this yeah. game is going to be a maneuvering game, which suits both of them. In fact, see, Vidit is the original uh, strategical master. So this is again uh, an opening which suits both of, both, both of them in a way. Amazing. But tell me, what are the chances you think that Prague can go for Long Castle? Rook G1, G4 idea. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that on your wish list here? 
<laughs> I it has been because you know yesterday something similar was happening and you know I thought Prague is going to play rook g8 and g5 so I'm waiting but then he had gone a4 a5 I mean with the black and then uh, we got to know the okay he's not going to uh, he's going to short castle so I'm really waiting for this when they just going long castle and attacking okay, it would be so much fun for us I in mean <laughs> In a certain way, the tournament is uh, entering its last phase. And, uh, you know, we definitely with it us to make a push at this point to come into the top. See, this is one of the tournaments where you either if you finish first or you finish a anywhere else. It doesn't matter for the sake of world championship. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting him to step on the gas more than uh, Pragnananda. Pragnananda, sorry. So... Going to be very interesting, no doubt. Uh, do you know something that the uh, if you come in top four in this event, then you also have FIDE circuit points. I mean, it wouldn't matter for them; they would not be thinking about this. But it is at least something, yeah, to finish in top four. Who cares, yeah? <laughs> you know, basically, uh, the World Championship is where you create history by playing in a World Championship and winning the title. So. It is either, you know, like, yeah, just give it a go for the best to finish first in this tournament. That's what everyone is thinking. So, Knight C5 played by Vidit. And again, in the opening, he has taken a lot of time. So, he's down to 1 hour 30 minutes. Prague has 1 hour 50, uh, 56 minutes. In a way, he's managed to get 26 minutes more. Would you call this a slight uh, achievement? Actually, it's a little bit puzzling. See, the idea of knight c5 is to bring in an early knight e6, correct? Yes. So, let's assume that he's going to play knight e6 in the next move. Let's say if Vidit plays a normal castle, no, knight no. e6 and now, let us say, white plays knight c4 here. Uh, uh, knight is on d2, right, Amrutha? Yeah, knight, d knight c4. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Now, knight c4. See, this portion is a little bit puzzling for me as to why Vidit is aiming for this. See, let us say instead of knight c5, hmm? let's say if he plays knight b6 in that position. Instead of? Instead of knight c5. You mean knight c4, no? Knight. Uh, no, no, white played knight c5, right? In the, at that position. Instead of knight c5, if black plays knight b6 in, this, in that position. Oh, dear. Yeah. I was kind of expecting this here, uh, stopping uh, knight c, white's knight c4. But will a4 not happen? And then you're going to play a5 or what? Uh, honestly, with uh, two bishops on the board in the long run, I don't know if uh, white can, I mean, boldly play a5. See, let us say, uh, sorry, a4. Say, let us say if knight b6, a4. Hmm? Yeah. And... Um, Let's say I play a5. See, in the long run, those two pawns, a4 and a5 inclusion, it will favor black more than white. In because as the game goes on, a4 is a hook for black to play b5. And at any point in this opening, uh, in the system, after uh, white has given up his bishop, um, you shouldn't be giving much of a chance for black to get hooks to exchange pawns with b5 push and so on. So, a4 may not be all that great in my opinion. Got it. So, yeah. Knight b6 was interesting actually. That he was stopping knight c4 idea. Uh, yeah, exactly. Because the only idea of knight d2 was to play knight c4, right? Yes. I don't I don't see any other point behind knight, uh, knight c4 and knight d2 in this position. So, he, when so, he went knight c5, he's saying that uh, he's okay with knight c4. And knight e6, he's also okay if, you know, white takes on d6. He should be, I think, happy with c takes d6. Or even no, no. d6. Maybe. Couldn't take knight d6 and undouble. See, in this position, there is this, uh, there's this famous quote by Eduard Gufel, Russian Grandmaster. The bishop on d6 is not a bishop, it's a big pawn. <laughs> big sized pawn. My question is, what are you doing with a knight on e6? That would be my question. Say, for example, uh, in the position that uh, you have kept on the board right now, uh, after knight d2, knight c5, knight c4, knight e6. Yeah. Let's say if I go castles in this position, okay? 
let us say black place castles as well as just a, a status quo now i just play f3 and just consolidate here now the question is amruta how you are going to develop your pieces further you cannot play bishop c5 because the e5 pawn is hanging um yeah yeah actually and maybe you, king h no but i can't play f5 because it will become e5 will become isolated uh, so maybe but knight f4 uh, i don't know if i have to worry about bishop f4 d4 ideas or it would be a double bishop for me that's the point if you play knight f4 bishop at f4 e f4 now i take knight into d6 now if you take cd6 now on f4 you have a double pawn which you should be worried in the long run mm. right yeah so if you play knight f4 in that position let us say if you also play f6 in after knight f4 yeah yeah now black is threatening bishop c5 exchanging the dark square bishop okay yeah now for f6 now i take let's say knight into d6 cd6 yeah okay now your knight on e6 seems to be very funnily placed whether you play knight f4 or knight d4 i am going to chop off and give you a double okay okay so let's say here i make a move like uh, let's say a4 just some grabbing some space on the queen side but then even what black will try to do is to keep his knight on e6 anyway without taking it to e5 uh, f4 or d4 maybe plan b6 bishop b7 and some break with d5 so b6 over here exactly do you Slow. think yeah. that knight on e6 is kind of clumsy i mean mm. kind of what is it doing on e6 it's puzzling so this early knight c5 knight e6 well i hope with it follows his preparation i hope he follows his memory rather than judgment on the board and there is some justification behind it because Uh, for the first look when you look at the board without you know knowing opening theory this looks a little puzzling for me you would because, prefer white in this position like yeah that. sure in the long run yes because uh, i have chances for you know somewhere a c3 and uh, d4 uh, as my plan in the long run and you know this is one of those portions white can keep on playing he has easy moves coming his way that's what i then with yes knight c4 knight e6 has happened on the board so we will come back here but great uh, understanding now we have of this position after an, uh, what he showed sara so let's quickly have a look at gukesh's board because bishop e7 knight c3 he has simply castled he still took another 7 8 minutes over here and nepo went into a maybe it's been 8 minutes since nepo has been thinking so time wise they are into a fresh position almost like you know they know the landscape of it but still they have to calculate so this is where we will know whether uh, nepo is going to play castles regular or ah as we are talking i think nepo has played 95 yes. yeah yes so i have a feeling a further bishop d2 is coming and triplo is on the cards uh, amruta today Wow. We okay. have on Brazil. Tell me something. I, uh, I let's say he understands that Bishop D two and Long Castle plan, and I already want to start doing something here. So B five, your bishop is attacked. Mm -hmm. You have to go back. Yeah. Can I? Because now your knight is not here. I can think of pushing A five anyway. I don't know if it can be weakening, but let's let me try A five. Okay. Okay. what will you do okay this is interesting so you went for castles uh i i'm sorry knight just let d5, me just knight e5 d5 castles knight e5 b5 bishop b3 no now b5 bishop b3 yeah for a5 i'm not i was more thinking about knight a5 See now the point is your queen side may be weak. I just go a three. But then you have given this hook. Okay, but if you long castle for b four, you still have a four. Uh, but I. No, now I won't play. play. Now I won't play long castle with white pieces. Ah, you are happy with this provocation of a five b five, yeah? Yeah, I will now treat this as a weakness rather than uh, grabbing up space. Hmm? Mm -hmm. 
and uh, see here let us say if you play a more like this ah. a4 this is so, i mean i was thinking of a4 bishop a2 knight a5 where i want to go with c5 i don't know something like this this looks too much of weakening for me but c5 mm -hmm. you go i have e7 and bishop d5 and i have a commanding position yeah now that on the board uh, does look like that so what do you suggest in fact, in black fact, hmm? i suggest knight a5 here instead of a5 here i uh, you want to pick up this bishop yeah, basically yeah exactly yeah, i mean it's, a, it's an open <laughs> position yeah see this is what i was interested in seeing now let us say black plays uh, bishop d2 let's go with the knight a5 what white plays bishop d2 knight into b3 a b3 yeah uh, yeah this is very interesting so a b3 bishop b7 this i think black has equalized already because then it can simply also go in opposite colored bishop if he takes this knight versus this bishop but if black yeah. wants to take this bishop versus this knight then we will be in the same color bishop maybe black would not want that uh say for let us say bishop b7 if white goes castles here okay so the short castle is see you will not capture bishop to d5 and give that valuable bishop here. yeah yeah rather you will play rook e8 in the long run you will pressurize that pawn on e4 yes uh, by the way this is a small basic here this pawn structure with white having e4 and no d pawn and assuming black will play his d7 pawn to d6 this is called as a little center ah and uh, the the person who advocated the advantage of little center was emmanuel lasker at the turn of the 20th wow. century okay so the point in little center is hmm. it may look passive for black but in the long run white will have pawn problems with his e pawn right yes. so that is why i will not capture bishop d5 i will play rook e8 bishop e8 f8 and uh, uh, pressure as the e4 pawn let's assume just for the sake of analysis let's white take knight into e7 check here okay Ninety seven, queen e seven, and black is better. It is him who is pushing. At least you can say that you know black is on the better side of equality here. Hmm. Yeah, because for f three you still have d five immediate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, you know this, right? Uh, uh, our viewers know this. When there are opposite color bishops on the board in the middle game, one of the sides generally will get an attack if lines get open. So in this position, in my opinion, it is black who is pushing rather than white. Nice. So then we are going towards b five happening on the board. Bishop b three also played, and maybe Gukesh goes knight a five with a very comfortable yeah. position. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so which makes me question, uh, which makes me predict that you know mostly Nepo will not go short castle. So for knight a5, bishop d2, n b3, Amruta. Shall we consider the crazy queen b3 here? Ah, you want a long castle so that you don't want any of the pawn to go to b3. Okay, let's let me continue with bishop b7. I want to be Petrosian. I want to keep my opponent guessing which side I'm going to castle. That's my point here. Would he do that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought of I knew about exchange sacrifice, but I didn't know about. uh castle see bishop d2 n b3 queen b3 let us say bb7 in this position uh let's say if i play long castle for argument sake you know my justification for long castles is that let's say if you play rook e8 which we analyze to pressurize the e4 pawn yeah yeah here I have a move like knight e seven, queen e seven, f three, the same position which we saw some time ago, but the point here is that I have taken away your pressure on the e file. Yes. And no for the moment, I am stopping d five. Yeah. Yes. And if you play a move like rook a d eight, idea d five, bishop f four. And I have a small, tiny pressure in this position. I don't know about Bishop A five, by the way. It's like a very funny square. So I preferred Bishop F four. 
We should be A five. Oh. Oh no no. I mean that that's 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 a way to offside, as we say in football parlance. Bishop F four looks ordinary. Can you feel that White has a small pressure in this question? Of course, I don't have my traditional king side attack, but uh, somewhere I think White has a small pressure. Yeah, because you also have this central space, and maybe H four G four looks more flowing. Could be possible, and also I don't know. It's not going to be easy to go for the C five ideas. So uh, yeah, knight A five. So maybe might uh, knight A five actually then has happened on the board. What we will definitely look at is whether Nepo wants to go bishop d two, or whether he's going to simply castle. Because if he goes castle, maybe we it does say something about that he is in a calm mood. Like he would be okay with a, a you know, equality, a draw, maintain the joint lead. And but if he goes bishop d two, he his mood might be completely different. But no, Amrita, I think you know, short castle just now we saw it might lead White into trouble. So I think for the sake of Keeping that equality, at least I think he will go long castles in my opinion. You saw those variations with the rook e eight and bishop b seven and all that, right? If short castle, white may come into pressure in my. Hmm. So then, uh, right now, Nepo is down to one. Yeah, he started thinking at one hour forty five minutes. We'll see how long he's going to take over here. Uh, for his calculation. By the way, Venkat says I was watching in the VIP room when. Uh huh. I don't know what happened. Was it about today? But yeah, something. Something Erosha happened there. Related. That was escorted out by security. Hmm. They had this some um, incident with the uh, Firoshar's hmm, uh, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no comments. Yeah, because we don't know uh, the full story. But Paramount says, "Oh my God, Mr. Sarvanan is just amazing. Such insight into position, really amazing. <laughs> Absolutely, Thanks. you're getting a lot of uh, you know these explanations and this. Really, I didn't know about this little center. By the way, it sounds like little Italy and <laughs> all those restaurant. I now feel like eating pizza. What? But <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, like, shall we have a look at Prague versus uh, Vidit? And also, Humpy yes. is playing with the sole leader Tan Zongi, so we will go there as well. But Knight E6 and Prague has been thinking for eleven minutes. That's quite a long time. We have seen this position, so we'll come mm -hmm. back here again and go yeah. into Humpy's game. Yeah. This is a, Humpy is black. And I'm a huge, huge fan of Humpy, and uh, you know, okay, things have not been going her way in this tournament so far. But you know, Humpy is one player I predicted before the tournament. If Humpy could avoid time pressure on the board, she will be one of the favorites in this mm -hmm. tournament. That was my prediction. Uh, you know what to say? Any time, even now, she is able to. See she she is a person who can definitely make a comeback. But uh, you know, in a certain way, being a player who has played so many years of chess, I think it is nerves, which is more than anything. Nerves is what uh, will make uh, Ampi's performance better in this tournament in the coming rounds. I think. Oh, and actually, yeah, like yesterday she did, uh, not yesterday, but she did beat Vaishali, and there is some chance. There is always a hope because if she wins two games in a row. You are right mm -hmm. up there because in such a tournament we are seeing so many draws in, in yeah. one round. The three boards will have a draw, then there is only one decisive game. So I feel that uh, maybe it seems sometimes unrealistic, but all the time if you calculate that you know a player wins all three games in the next three rounds, he's just right up there. Maybe even a sole leader. <laughs> Things can change drastically. So long castle here, Humpy uh, in Humpy's position, scotch has happened. And uh, yeah. this is the situation. Decent opening, I think, for now. All seems in control for Humpy. Going to Vaishali versus uh, oh, what's happening here? Sali Mova. They've reached seventeen moves. Bishop d seven was the last move played by Vaishali. She's black with one hour thirty minutes. Oh, look at her preparation because for women's the game starts with one hour thirty minutes on the clock. 
So after yeah. 17 move, Vaishali has one hour 30 minutes and Nurgul has 56 minutes. So this is like all preparation by Vaishali, it seems. Does our chat know yeah. who is behind Vaishali's opening improvement in the last uh, couple of years? All of you must be knowing that it is uh, Grandmaster uh, Ramesh, R.B. Ramesh, who was her coach all along through. But in the last two years, another grandmaster is the reason behind Vaishali's resurrection in opening arena. Does our chat know who that yes. grandmaster is? Chat another in knows. okay, the one clue is it is an another Indian grandmaster. Yeah, Sneha got it right. Balaji Ravindran. Okay, many of them know that. Nice guys, all of you know what is <laughs> happening in Indian. Yes. It is Grandmaster Shondipan Chanda. Oh, uh, the grandmaster. Shandipan is a great guy, fantastic chess player and a fantastic human being. Uh, he is one of the most effective uh, trainers of the Waka Academy, the Westbridge Anand Chess Academy. Sandipan is one of those rare grandmasters in the world who puts more emphasis on personal ideas, original ideas, rather than knowing just what happens in theory in any opening or in any position. So, uh, he kind of, you know, his preparation, his methods of preparation is more about developing your own ideas rather than knowing what has happened in any opening so far. Wow. And we are seeing that in Vaishali's game that there are a number of moments when she is out preparing her opponents. Uh, it is clearly seen. Also, uh, in this tournament, I things did not go the, go well for her, but it's the first time and uh, I don't know. I still think that she can keep winning. Maybe it starts today and you never know, you know, that kind of a feeling. If we can go through this game, Amruta, from the beginning once, yes. I can emphasize more why I am full of praise for uh, Vaishali's preparation as well as Sandeepan's hard work probably. Can we go? Yeah, see, first of all, see, this is an early H4 against the Fianchetto, against the Grunfeld or the Kings Indian. Early H4, this is 5 H4. You know, about 10 years ago, this was a surprise. Today's nowadays, this is opening theory, actually. See, White plays early H4. Within no time, the important H6, I mean, the G7 bishop gets exchanged. But if we can run through the positions uh, fast, see here. It is almost as if black is welcoming white to come exchange my bishop on h6. Come. And let's run through more. Suddenly you see after knight c3, bc3, king g7. You know, it is black who is enjoying opening up the h5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, uh, uh, all this has been theory till uh, rook h8, rook h8, queen into h8. All this has been played, uh, I think the most recent is between uh, Melkumyan versus Param Paravyan, this position after Queen H8. Oh. So, yeah, after Queen H8, CD4. See, now it's interesting. Black played Knight D7, E4. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here, um, uh, Vaishali played Knight F6. She has played it very quickly. This, I think, is kind of a turning point in the game. The point is, let's say after knight f6. So what happened in the game after knight f6? Queen f4. White, queen f4. Okay. Now black coolly plays bd7. I have kind of given up the center. White has a very, very formidable center. In return, black is better developed. Yeah. See, right now, if you... Play a move like triple O for, for a moment. Hmm. I mean, just for argument, let's just show it to <laughs> him. It's a blunder because after bishop a4, black and white can resign. Because the white king is the emperor has no clothes today. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So you go back now, go back one move. Think about it from White's point of view. After BD7, what will White play? That's the question here. Mm. I have the center, yes, but what am I going to play is the question here. 
Yeah. So you know, I'm pretty sure your uh, your uh, analysis bar is telling uh, equal, and I'm very sure if you run the computer, the computer is going to say zero point zero zero. This is exactly the kind of position where you get fooled by the computer telling zero point zero zero, but the practical position is completely different from what the computer will tell you. Computer will ask you to believe. It is not at all equal. There is so much play left because precisely because of those two dynamic pawns in the center. So yeah. this is going to be a wonderful game. And Amrita, I think this suits uh, Vaishali's style uh, more than her opponents in my opinion. Oh, that and also this time, this much time advantage definitely is such a relief in some way. She's now started thinking for the move knight g5. Um, I believe next maybe bishop c4 also in the air. So Vaishali is going to take some time over here of how to continue. Because you can't play queen h1, it would be a blunder. Not, I mean, I thought it's a blunder, but e5 is coming and that seems risky. So. Yeah, she has to take care of this point. But uh, you uh, went knight g5. Yeah, she, she went knight g5 in the position. So I think ah, she went knight Yeah, she went knight mm. g5. Maybe Vaishali continues with simply defending the f7 pawn. If, if her preparation is so good, yeah. then this might also be in her preparation. Rook f8 like move. But uh, great, great opening. So we can come back here to check what happens, how they continue the game. Um, I think there's something interesting. Yes. For knight g5, hmm. let me ignore your uh, threat of e5 and play queen d. Let's have some fun. Queen now. where? Queen d8. D8. Ah. D for Delhi. So if now e5, what's e5, knight h, knight h5. No, 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 no. First queen f check. Mm -hmm. Queen f check. Uh. Ah, but now you'll simply exchange queen d2 and take a draw. Uh, queen d2 because otherwise yes. it's lost no if i go king d1 there's yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so check. If I, yeah, yeah king e2 so queen now let's e2. let's go let's go knight h5 instead instead of queen a5 knight h5 Look, queen queen f7? what king, king h6 that's my point let's let's have some fun today on the board what queen h you're not getting mated over here with queen h7 king uh, no, h5 definitely not. Oh, I have Come on, four. Come no. on, <laughs> This would be lost then. Queen h7 is lost. King is happy. Wow. Okay, f4 over here. Um, yeah, because... f4 is the most natural move. Hmm. The joke is after f4, queen f5, black king is fine, white king is not. Are you serious? Wait, I, can't I am. You it. King, go king e2. Uh, king e2 or king f2. Where do you want to go? King f2. No, king f2 is met with queen d2 check. That's very dangerous for you. You can't do that. Because next move queen f4 check and the ending is better for black. Ah, okay. After queen exchange, the ending is better for black. So let's not go there. So you have to go to this queen square e2. Yeah. Yes. Bishop b5 check. And As they say in America, the hits keep on coming. <laughs> Where do I go? Queen e3, queen king e3 f3 check. King f3. King f3. Bishop. Or board doesn't like it. Queen C3. Why or board doesn't like it? Uh, ah, queen C3 check at queen G. Did you see the fun, Amrita? No, for king G4. Is... What you wanted to do with my king, the same pattern I do. Queen C3 check, king G4, queen G3 is made. Please show oh, it to our audience. King, uh, king F3. Wait, <laughs> what you wanted to originally do with white, I'm doing it with black. Are you, where did it all go hey. in the excitement? <laughs> Bishop B5, I king F3. Queen C3, C3 check, check. King, King G4. King G4. No, King, King G4, Queen G3 is checkmate. Nice. Oh <laughs> my god. This is amazing, yeah? Worth it. Well, I think somewhere we must have made a blunder. Let's go back one yeah, by but one. Queen what is check. exactly how is White saving himself? Where should the king go? King E2 is okay. Because the ah, there is a cheeky is... move here. For bishop if I check, now I go king f2. I think this is the point. I'm also trying to, honestly, I'm also trying to work okay. out. I'm not While you try to work out, we also yeah. accepting somebody over here. One second. Who's that? Good fun today. Are! Kya baat hai? Are <laughs> bye. <laughs> so happy oh, to see you. 
Yeah. Very happy to. See you yeah, guys, you. we have Grandmaster Hari Krishna here joining us, uh, sharing his insights, and you are in Prague, if I am correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah from Prague, so from slightly, Europe. Slightly, slightly, slightly better timings than you, but uh, you know, still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what is the time right now over there? Ah, uh, it's uh, nine forty. Forty-five, yeah, something like that. Forty-five. Oh, but great, Hari, that you've joined us and chat. Hari, OP, ho jaye. So, uh, at a very uh, important moment, you're here. And do you want me to have the headset, or uh, it's okay? Anything is fine. Right now, it's yeah. okay. Yeah. I mean, you. if it's not echoing, I would prefer without. But uh... actually, you're very fine, Hari. We can hear you okay. loud and yeah. Great, great, great. Before Hari starts with the chess, yes, you know Hari lives abroad, and you know we were colleagues in the same company for many years. But nowadays, when I look at Hari's Instagram, I'm not e eager to look at Hari. I'm more eager to look at his daughter's beautiful <laughs> photographs he puts up. You know? Wonderful. I think, uh, yeah. Just a couple I think of days ago, he had put one. She was hanging from a flowers tree, something. Yeah, it was so yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I think you are not alone. Mostly people are uh, following my Instagram for her. So. <laughs> Maya, <laughs> yeah, Maya. So yeah. maybe you were planning to make another Instagram account especially for her or no such thought? Uh, it depends. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe not yet. Uh, but uh, yes, I mean, we, uh, we sometimes take some nice pictures and when she is more cooperative, I mean, it's not always uh, you get that. <laughs> Yes. chances uh, she but yeah, knows the pieces she already knows the pieces yes 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 she knows the she can tell the pieces and uh, she also asks uh, you know checks if you know the pieces once you check her she will check you if what is this <laughs> so it's quite fun yeah <laughs> wow nice uh, maybe hari uh, a grandmaster who becomes the manager later you will have her instagram account and then you will be managing that would be fun i trust me i, I will be very bad at it so <laughs> <laughs> my wife does a better job but yeah i mean uh, it's uh, maybe i will i will learn from sagar who knows <laughs> <laughs> awesome but while you're here just if you can look at the you are able to see the zoom ca camera and the position which we have on the board for now yeah 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 i have uh, i have the position between uh, vaishal uh, yeah nurgil salimo versus vaishali yes yeah. and at this moment uh, sarvanan was showing us some crazy uh, ideas that uh, uh -huh. you know why it was trying to checkmate over here with night g5 okay. i thought of course black king is weak but somehow yeah. there is nothing. F four was the last move, and here he shows Queen A five check. No, no. Okay. Let's be so, fair to Hari. Uh, show the position after Queen F four, and when we started with Queen D eight. Honestly, I am not very sure about the whole thing. So we will show it to yeah, yeah, our man. Yeah, until here Vaishali was prepared completely. Yeah, yeah. I think she played Rook F eight, right? Or yes, now she, she played Rook Rook F eight. But we are looking at yeah. Queen D eight, E five, Knight H five. Ah. Queen A five check maybe yeah directly yeah no Queen A five I was worried of Queen D two Hari so ah. yeah yeah sure okay so we we want we want some fun okay yeah. Knight H five <laughs> that's okay, what I said ahead. let's have some fun over here so King <laughs> six and I was very surprised there is no mate nothing happening here so F four was the move I tried and uh, then he pointed out that actually White King is weaker than the Black King and Queen A five check. But there is a defense, uh, which is so surprising. So we you didn't understand that for King E two, Bishop B five. Now King yeah. F two, because earlier for direct King F two, there was Queen D two and Queen F four check. So, right, right. Uh -huh. Can we not do the same thing here? Uh, uh I think. Aha! Uh -huh, I know what's the problem. So Queen D two check, King G one, uh, Queen D four check, King H one, Queen F four. Uh, takes takes, and knight f seven, king g seven, bishop b five, and I mean of course I missed many things on this way. King f seven, rook f one. Ah, uh, but this oh, is the idea. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Harry. Very very fast. That was so fast. Beautiful. Um, but okay, probably black had some uh, some nice uh, something in between. Maybe rook rook h eight or. I mean, queen d2 check is fine. Queen d2 check is fine, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oops, king f. King f. King, king f2 should be okay. Queen d2. 
Yes, King G1. King G1 and perhaps uh, Queen D4 check. Yeah, so this is this is all right now. King H2. King H. Ah, King H2 is the move. Okay. How, how does it yeah. change if Queen F4 now? Queen F4. Same thing. Same thing. Same about. thing. Ha, same same thing, thing. No, so you're yeah. happy. Okay. Ah, uh, but here Rook H8. I think that's the point. Oh my God. But, oh, it's mid. <laughs> how do we mid? <laughs> it's too much hurry. Yeah, no, Queen F4 is... Uh, yeah, Knight E6. Knight E6 is the problem. It's... Mm -hmm. ah. so, okay, so so King E2 and King F2 is saving. But if you go directly yeah. King F2 in that same line, the problem is Queen check, check. And now wherever you go, now Rook H8 is uh, also... Yeah. yeah, Queen F4 is also yeah, Queen working. F4, Rook yeah. H8 is also working. So she's ah, gone... But... Yeah, what? I, I mean to uh, play king e2 and then to uh, play king f2 uh, having in mind that the bishop on b5 is hanging after all this is quite uh, quite tough but uh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go back to the uh, Honestly, two I didn't very... understand. I, I was understand. just sacrificing it because it is not my piece, that's all. Honestly, I didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you were just having fun when you came in. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we are how here. do I keep how do I keep Amrita's window so that I can uh, because it jumps when uh, when Sarvanan speaks. So ah, you can have I to pin lock, something? Yeah, you have to sh uh, show in. You pin her window, Hari. I think right ah, now okay. you the window of someone who was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Her. Got it. Got it. Thanks. Thanks. I pinned it. Yeah. Yes. Cool. And also, by we we are actually getting the news that uh, something is really happening there in the tournament hall right now, like in terms of tournament hall or you know this controversy uh, outside of the hall. tournament hall. You mean? <laughs> <laughs> actually, yes, but we don't have the details, guys, and uh, yes. maybe right now no point much for us without the details going into it. At some point, Sagar might join us, but I believe maybe he is also very busy over there. So uh, we yes. are getting the we are getting the messages from uh, Venkat Rangan. Hmm. Is he there in the tournament hall? Amruta, is he known to you? If yes, we can read out what he is uh, chatting with us. He you know he's regular in the chat. Uh, I don't know if he's in the tournament hall, but he's regu very regular in the chat. So um... he was never let into the playing call. He was escorted out of the VIP room. I think it's better to let us wait for Sagar to come in. Yeah, to get where is uh, where is our Sherlock Shah? <laughs> he must he must be busy then if uh, things are happening. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing really? I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll wait for him. But for now, okay. guys, yeah. two games very critical for us: Prag versus Vidit, your we are, and Gukesh versus Nepo. So, by the way, Gukesh versus Nepo has progressed. Uh, were you able mm -hmm. to look at the opening, Hari? Uh, before yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I saw the opening, and uh, actually, the this uh, variation could be played without the inclusion of a6 and bishop a4. Um, but yeah. okay, yeah, you can start with knight g7. But uh, uh, the main difference being when the knight d5 happens, you have knight b4 with uh, the pawn on c2 is. Uh, uh, not protected because with the bishop on a4 the pawn on c2 is protected okay. uh, Very yeah okay but i i thought uh, gukesh uh, actually equalized uh, i mean yeah here bishop d6 was uh, quite interesting uh, uh, interesting option as well uh, in this position yeah. to you just mean after get... After white plays, knight d5 can still play bishop d6. No, 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 no. First bishop d6. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. because anyway, black wants to play b5, bishop b7. So he's not really going to play d6. So therefore, bishop on d6 is quite okay. Uh, but there is nothing wrong with bishop e7. You know, it's just uh, uh, knight d5, b5, and uh, yeah, I think black is uh, black is doing fine here. G three bishop and d six, yeah. And finally, short castle on the board because Sarah was very excited about the long castle idea in general. It's because it's not his game. <laughs> 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 but 
<laughs> tell me hari how you, what would have been your strategy like you know being in a joint leader place like black as black would you want to go for something rash or you want to go for something solid because it's also only opportunity to beat nepo and go into a sole lead i think uh, definitely um, i would think of uh, playing something solid yet not like super dry like uh, you know berlin kind of a thing but always uh, you know you can uh, you can always provoke nepo quite quite a bit you know so you you have to give him some chances and he will go for it and therefore something uh, some playable position with uh, uh, chances for both would be an excellent strategy you know instead of forcing and fighting against uh, you know nepo's team would be not such a great idea yeah good point there tell me hari uh, for queen g3 if we can yeah. go a couple moves back uh, yeah here hari uh, for queen g3 bishop d6 was puzzling for me um uh, instead of i uh-huh. instead of, yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. bishop d6 okay uh, can't i just play knight into b3 a b3 and just d6 here what was the necessary really to exchange this uh, dark square bishops in this um i guess he didn't want to keep the bishops you know like uh, if uh, uh, just he feels that the knight on d5 is better uh, better piece than the bishop on e7 and okay in future just white goes castle and c4 and just gain more space um that is my point if you go castles first i go bishop h uh, then bishop h4 is there yes then yeah, bishop, bishop h4 is there. Or queen moves and then bb7 isn't that a little problematic for black i mean two bishops for black and all that or it's you mean black. white you mean white or black i'm ah, sorry for white i know uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, i think it's still equal and the position is probably equal because i white would get c4 and uh, although you have double bishops uh, it's hard to progress uh, in such a position and black white would get bishop d2 c3 maybe we can draw many arrows instead of yeah. moving <laughs> <laughs> by the way hari are you a bishop man or are you a knight man which piece do you prefer on the board whichever is uh, <laughs> is needed in the position uh, but uh, I changed quite a bit when I was young. Uh, I was uh, uh, completely uh, knight uh, because of the tricks. You know, usually people who prefers knights they are like the ones who uh, who uh, likes tricks and tactics and so on. So the you know uh, when we were young, we knew nothing other than tactics mm-hmm. uh, in those days. and later on uh, i started to like uh, bishops a lot uh, like when i learned to play positional chess and so on uh, but so that's why i i like both of them but uh, it really depends on the position you know it's hard to say uh, clearly i like this you know when hari says uh, i like the knights when i was young i have to tell the story somewhere in uh, 1997 or 1998 goodrick hari you were there right when you were yes. 11 or 12 years old you were there in, i, yes. I don't know 96 or 97 so yes. i had I'm just played a game with Ab- abhijit kunte which i had just drawn and young hari krishna comes and starts analyzing and uh, we have another good friend of mine sitting next to us standing next to us on the board um, vishweshwaran who is a very prominent coach in chennai so for a move hari suggests a move and i played and hari tacks and you know it's it's kind of a beautiful t- tactics vishweshwaran smiled at me and said this boy has about 98 eyes in his head <laughs> the speed with which hari krishna used to calculate with tactics wow. was amazing even by the age of 9 and 10 and 11 Oh, amazing! What a story. We would love all Hari stories. <laughs> Actually, I don't remember this, but uh, thank you for reminding this. <laughs> Now you will. Oh, I have got a lot of stories on Hari. Hari, I know since the age of seven, so I can go on all night. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Yeah. No, and I, all good stories, by the way. The, yes, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh. By the way, we have um, we have Ankur in the chat who says hello to Hari Hari Krishna, big fan. So uh, that's amazing. And by the way, we also have Venkat Rangan who says he's at the venue. 
so uh, he's watching our stream he's also watching vishy anand commentary on fide guys do check it out so um, he is right there so this is what is happening there today must be actually very unfortunate in a way which which is happening with firuza and exactly whatever it is details we don't know but it is unfortunate to such a thing to happen in the tournament yeah definitely uh so uh, today i mean uh, definitely prague versus gukesh and uh, prague versus vidit and uh, nepo versus gukesh yeah, to yeah these know. are the two important ones and important. Uh, if i should amrita let's get uh, hari's opinion on that uh, uh, vidit's night maneuver let's let's have a look at it yeah hari what do you think about this night on e6 we were talking that it's probably more of a liability than a strength to have night on e6 no no it's uh, it's quite okay it's quite okay actually um uh-huh. uh, yeah usually the knight comes to e6 but i, I mean knight on f8 would be nice because uh, it can come to e6 or also g6 but uh-huh. since uh, vidit went uh, via c5 so he uh, he decided to put the knight on uh, e6 so but it, i think it's normal uh, normal position because uh, even though the uh, bishop on c8 is blocked uh, it can come out via b6 and uh, bishop b7 and th- there are ideas like g6 f5 and stuff like that i had uh, some some game like this against uh, nihal i think uh, not exactly this position the similar structure and where i got g6 f5 and it was uh, quite nice for black mm. um yeah I, i i expect some kind of c5 um, and also both uh, both of them will be waiting <laughs> to see where uh, which side uh, their other one is going to castle you know mainly black would be waiting to see if white is going to castle uh, short or long yeah exactly hari uh, don't do you think this idea can be uh, interesting for white long castle rook g1 g4 now it's more interesting once uh, um, black um, black has already castled otherwise uh, it's not really it's more of a weakness uh, with uh, i mean then black would just put the king on c8 and then you don't have any weakness there and uh, by playing g4 you are giving lot of squares away you know f4 and uh, so i would say that uh, white has to wait and actually sometimes there is this plan with uh, short castle both sides and then uh, king h1 rook g1 g4 probably really likes this oh. uh, and just go for this and then get the knight to f5 this is one of one typical idea uh, in this kind of berlin anti berlin structures um but uh, this is like it's the position is so rich really like so many options for both sides and uh, Uh, i i mean generally i i'm little bit like worried only about uh, the time uh, mainly like you know uh, i can't see clearly how much time uh, vidit uh, has spent but... 51 minutes to pragnananda and at yeah. this point and vidit yeah. is having 1 hour 29 minutes then uh, yeah. queen d2 was played by prag after thinking for 11 minutes okay okay um so yeah like um, these position require a lot of time you know to understand the ideas for both sides and a small detail if you miss it could be really unpleasant and the main issue is that uh, you, there is no increment you know so uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is definitely one of the question to you what is your feeling about it 40 moves no increment i think uh, it's very very strange i don't i actually don't recall when i played uh, the time control without increment you know uh, it's uh, it's a very strange thing to say that i don't recall it's not like i played 50 years or something but uh, i just don't know like when uh, i played uh, without increment actually this is another inside uh, information i can give Hari is the man of political correctness, and so when Hari says this is very strange, generally it means <laughs> this is complete BS. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not BS. No, actually, uh, one of the um, interesting things I I don't 
I probably everyone realized, but I want to tell myself is that um, let's say Grand Swiss or uh, Grand Swiss has one time control, uh, World Cup has one time control, candidates has one time control, and World Championship match has another time control. Yes, and Wait. this is this. I mean, this is really strange, <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> really, really strange because. Uh, you cannot have like let's say if you are playing rapid world championship title you play everything in 15 minutes and finish but uh, to have like uh, four different time controls it's a little bit uh, unusual and especially since the open section and women's section uh, events are being uh, held at simultaneously and say uh, you know at same venue okay i heard that uh, you know they had some kind of uh, polling and they decide that you know players prefer this and so on but uh, it would have been better with the increment if you ask me honestly for the players you know uh, because you have uh, definitely you have uh, extra time but it's it always comes down to that the last 10 moves or uh, 15 you know moves where you need that 30 seconds really 30 seconds is uh, makes a lot of difference Absolutely. What do you think, Sarah? Like, you, are you on the same page as he was, he was always on t- uh, under time pressure. <laughs> <laughs> let, us, let, us, let us not talk about my playing case here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what uh, Hari says, one thing uh, uh, actually makes a lot of sense to me. Why have different time controls for a different team? This is completely baffles me. Uh, okay, Hari was also telling about, you know, there was a poll between players and then it was chosen. I don't think that's the right way to choose on time control. Okay, honestly, this is top chess. I cannot have much of an idea about what is going on at that level. But uh, once again, as our uh, old friend Mr. Abhijit Kunte says, majority <laughs> need not be correct all the time. <laughs> we should have called Abhijit here today so many times. Oh, how can we forget him? How can we forget yeah, him? Yeah, <laughs> nice. But one more thing to add in the whole four, uh, you know, different time controls. If there will be a tie break, then the tie break will be 15 minutes each. So that is another yeah, yeah, time yeah. control. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And yesterday I would, no, was talking. Tell me. Yeah, tie break. No, is no, no. There, is, there is playoff, no. of course. Yeah, 15 minutes plus time 10 increment. seconds. No, no, so, ah, no, 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 that way. 15 plus 10 yes. and then 3 plus 2. But the point yeah. is it's not the same time control. So it's like a yeah. uh, completely different event. And actually, I, I heard that uh, you keep playing until uh, until someone okay. wins or something. Yeah, no Armageddon. No, j- ah, you that's just why I didn't playing. find after 3 plus 2 seconds. What's the, like, what then if it is a draw? So I didn't find it. You just it. keep playing. Oh. Okay, but then Armag- that can be better, right? Because Armageddon is sometimes very yeah, yeah. It favors sometimes one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. You guys, are you are you uh, old enough or young enough to remember uh, Roger Federer versus Rafael Nadal? Yes, two thousand eleven. Two thousand eleven Wimbledon yes. final went on yes. to twenty two games or twenty three games. I don't remember how many. So Actually, that was game. one. One interesting match between John Isner versus uh, someone in uh, also like super long um, uh, U.S. Open probably. Uh, I I was re- I remember that. Uh, I mean, it was like really they adjourned the uh, adjourned the game and they kept on playing for days. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It was about five hours almost. Federer versus yeah. Nadal, I remember. Wow. Uh-huh. Same way you will play, you will play. Blitz still one of you drops dead. <laughs> you can do that. Oh. Yeah, Isner versus uh, Mahput. Yeah, I think. Uh, ah, okay. Chatting so, Hari, uh, what do you think about this I position? Does White as a token advantage or not really? He, I think um, Abruta came as a uh, proceeded. Yeah, he played. It takes takes mm-hmm. knight went to e2 here b6 yeah. and f4 immediately with the king in the center ef4 knight f4 we have reached this position for now yeah does I white's mean, token advantage really matter or not really uh, i think it's a really mine like no when probably you... it's around equal but it's maybe slightly easier to play from the white side let's put it that way 
so because okay the knights will be off uh, and uh, you just have uh, opposite color bishop end game uh, white structure is slightly preferable thanks to you know like e4 d3 and black has double pawn but it doesn't uh, you know it's not much really but we'll see i mean it's uh, it's a long game and yeah also time plays some role in in these kind of things you know uh, when you are near like 25th move or 30th move then suddenly uh, you you can change the dynamics of the position and then your opponent is like okay all of a sudden you have to be alert yes so that's uh, something which um, usually happens uh, and of course in this without the increment it's it's even more relevant Ari, I want to ask you this question. See, let's say the position after, let's say, knight f4, bishop f4, queen e7, let's say, yeah? Yes. And, uh, okay, as you said, white doesn't have much, but uh, obviously black has to be careful. At the mm -hmm. level of 2750, yes. does it yes. really bother black to defend such positions or they are like, cool, I'll draw this easy? How does it work at that level? I think uh, every, uh, every player will have this, like... Uh, I have to draw this. I mean, there is no player who will say, I can draw this. So that kind of worry is there for everyone. Um, mm -hmm. And especially, uh, like, they know that if they are on the other side, they will also feel the same. Yeah, like, uh, I, I have chances. So it uh, it kind of changed. Uh, you know, some years ago, people would say, okay, this is nothing. Let's, uh, you know, make few moves look into each other and uh, shake hands and go home so that's no longer like this you know so um, everyone will keep on trying with uh, small small advantage or slightly better position because it's so hard to get anything out of the opening nowadays mainly because of this you know so whatever you get you have to <laughs> you have to take this chance you know you cannot uh, just Okay, just I have slight advantage, so let me finish and go home. No, you can't do that. Excellent. And for this reason, uh, you have to be careful uh, until you finish the game. So you can't just relax and say, I I, I can do anything and uh, I will be fine. Excellent, excellent. Amazing insight. Really great question, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, we haven't uh, sir, seen the game of uh, Hikaru at all today. We'll go the there and also C5 played last move by uh, Vidit. So that's the position. Maybe we can also check uh, Ali Reza. By the way, Ali Reza Karwana, they had a very interesting opening in Night of. Uh, Rook G1. Because, yeah, exactly. Rook G1 was played. Uh, H5. And here Bishop C4 because normally it is H3 or things like that. But Bishop C4 is a... Very different move. I mean, I, uh, have you seen it before? Um, I mean, I haven't seen this uh, uh, bishop c4, but uh, generally, uh, like, white succeeded in making uh, black play the move h5. So that's the, and so that he can get bishop to g5 or knight f3, knight g5. I mean, depends on how black uh, places his pieces. Um, and since uh, once there is no g4, you know, you can't really do much there. So he just switches the plans and goes for bishop c4, bishop g5. You know, he's he's changing the position into some kind of dragon, where, of course, a h5 is not really uh, so useful compared to rook g1. That's, mm. that's how I see it. Uh, but wow. luckily, he could exchange the, you know, I think uh, the final position where he wasn't so bad. Yeah, now somehow queen g5 oh. uh, and yeah, queen g5 is needed. Otherwise, uh, white uh, white would be much better actually. So here it's uh, still a game and uh, yeah, it's normal position. I yeah, think. But Hari, there was this old wisdom in my days that dragon yeah. endings are always better for white. Does it still better hold for true? White. For yeah. white. Um, maybe not. <laughs> I think. I think uh, I think it's mainly because Gongwell was playing <laughs> from black. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Come on, what is this? Victor uh, Kast is playing. What is this? 
No, generally, like uh, many things, uh, especially with uh, the advancement of the engines, like neural network engines, uh, the concepts which uh, which uh, I think Sarvan and also me learned, we have to unlearn and uh, be more open in the sense uh, because uh, the concept sometimes is completely opposite even like when you, your coach would oh. say, please don't make this move. And right now the uh, the engine would say like, please make this move, you know. <laughs> so that kind of difference we are witnessing and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's important to embrace this and, uh, you know, to uh, improve yourself uh, al along these lines. And uh, of course, uh, in Dragon and Kim, it's not really bad, bad like uh, how, uh, how we were taught uh, in those days. Okay, let me put an argument here. Let's yes. say instead of h4, let's say mm -hmm. if white plays bishop into uh, queen into h6. Queen h6. Yeah, right? rook h6. So queen h6, rook h6, um, f4, let's say. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Um, bishop d7, bishop g4. Bishop d7. Yeah, yeah, bishop d7. Bishop d7. So let us say some position like this. Hmm? Uh, considering that I have a center, yeah, say, say something like rook g e1 or something, mm -hmm. isn't it giving some advantage to white to keep to keep some truth with the old wisdom? Uh, the once again, the problem is uh, uh, play gets quite forcing. I mean, if you if we talk strategically, you are absolutely right. Like, uh, if we were to say, like. Uh, development pieces and so on but then the problem comes when you start uh, calculating like okay uh, exactly for this move and so on and then uh, black will be fine you know th that's the main difference because uh, back in those days um, uh, we understand some things and we stick with the fact that okay this is good this is bad and stuff like that but nowadays uh, it changed that uh, you know that strategical things changed by the dynamics so uh, once again here the dynamics may uh, plays a crucial role in determining the evaluation of this position and you know you can say i'm getting e5 bishop f7 and so on but then he says okay i play rook c8 if you play e5 i'm going to take that pawn you know and and then it goes on so then the argument will uh, largely depend on what happens after some moves right so then we need to keep on calculating so that we don't have so much time <laughs> for yeah, this position. Uh, but it, I would certainly prefer uh, playing uh, with the white pieces here if, uh, if uh, that's what you uh, want to hear. Okay. So nice to hear Hari uh, when he said this dynamic thing. Just a few months ago, Hari was in Chennai for the Chennai Grandmaster Tournament. So... I asked him the same question as a journalist. Um, you play such beautiful end games. What do you think is the secret behind such beautiful end games? Anyone playing? He said, end game is not just about feel for the position. End game is actually more about calculation also because perfect calculation only can determine the correct result of end games. He said. That's what he means now also, the dynamics basically. Very beautiful to hear you, Hari. Really a pleasure having you. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. In fact, Hari, we have had some super chats. Gautam Shiv says, glad to see GM Hari Krishna. You're such a humble person and a great asset for Indian chess. May I know which tournaments you're planning to play in the near future? We'll always root for Hari. Yeah, I'll be playing in uh, French League, uh, which will be from uh, next month. Uh, and uh, I have some uh, competitions afterwards in summer and, uh, you know, like, uh, from August and so on, like uh, some closed events and stuff. Um, but uh, the first half uh, was relatively quieter with uh, some uh, league games uh, in the Czech Republic and uh, in Germany. And uh, yeah, the last event, closed event was in uh, Chennai. Uh, as uh, Okay, I saw both of you there. <laughs> yes. Hey, as we are talking, looks like Alireza just made a huge mistake. He played uh, h4. He went bishop e6. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the point being, if 
but can just take bishop e6, f6, and e5 being the point here. Oh, knight e5, f4. Knight e5 is meant with f4, and yeah. d5 means I have knight c5 coming. Yeah, yeah, no, d5 also positionally oh, is so this bad. This is so cool. Like, if you take, then oh, what amazing. a nice double attack. This is beautiful. Yeah. And uh, if not, if d5, what did you say? Knight c5. d5, knight c5, yeah. This is, yeah. But, ah, I mean, so just the structure is. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever have you seen off late any worse pawn structure than this on the yes. board right now? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Oh, I had God. once, uh, I mean, this is called Irish pawn structure. I had once against uh, uh -huh. Nigel Short, like uh, it happened in some uh, some Berlin or somewhere. I uh -huh. cannot tell you how horrible feeling, you know, to play with this structure. It's just so horrible. I mean, E5 is really instructive and uh, nice, nice move uh, and... Uh, Easy to miss. Easy to miss if you are uh, not careful. Yeah. But also... White name here, happens to be Fabiano Caruana. You think he's going to miss E5? Definitely not. Um, <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's not about the player. It's about how... Uh, I mean, you have to get that, you know, oh, something so. is there. Yeah. So it's like, let's say you come and say, Hey, Hari, there is an uh, advantage. That's actually enough, you know. So I will find it. Yeah. And uh, so it's like why to play and win? You know, you get all the time. Uh, uh, like when your coach gives you a position, yeah, why to play and win? But nobody is going to come and tell me <laughs> why to play and win during the game, right? <laughs> so that's the, that's the trickiest part. <laughs> Also, in this uh, takes, takes, and then uh, the slight improvement was queen at six, and then. Oh, nine, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is even better. This is even better because the rook is mm -hmm. uh, quite quite poorly placed. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Himang says this is like the old Bulgarian saying I will make your pawn structure look like your grandma's teeth. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what is that saying? <laughs> that was quite a little nasty. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay. Good one, by the way. Yeah, but do you think, Hari, like if you know certain things are happening in the tournament hall, uh, and if Firuza's, you know, dad and everyone's involved there. Uh, would Firuza be knowing what is happening? Because that would be really disturbing, right? For such an important game. I candidate. think he, he I, I mean, I don't think he knew what's going on with his dad right now, probably because uh, he can he can't see, I mean, he can't see the spectators, right? But uh, perhaps already uh, with the yesterday, um, the shoe, uh, mm. whatever the issue, uh, must have disturbed him a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised uh, mm. if it did. And that's normal, yeah? Yeah. And uh, we have another super chat by Vipul who says, Thanks, Shazbiz India are doubling, down, uh, are doubling down on the treats. And I'm loving every moment of the Sarvanand and Hari presence. Biggest fan of Hari. Have been following since Commonwealth 2001. Also, Sarvanan, ah, please share more I play, stories. 2001. I think Sarvanan was also there in that Commonwealth in uh, in in England. We played. I think yeah, was, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, you were there. There is one story about uh, England and Hari Krishna. Uh -huh. We were playing in. Uh, I think it was when was uh, uh, Torque Torbe Torque. Uh, 2002, 2002. Yeah, it was 2002. I used to go for early morning walks. Uh, those days, Hari was, not, let us say, not a very active guy. So I used to see the pairings and come and tell everyone what would be the day's pairing. So one day I come back and uh, I tell, uh, Hari asked me who is my opponent. Hari, I say, you are playing Spielman. Hari said, yeah, sure. I am white, right? I said, yeah, you are white. And then we go to the tournament hall. And Hari pulls me and said, you said I'm white, I'm playing black. Oh I, felt, I felt terrible. I felt so bad. I really, really apologized. You know, Spielman was one of the top grandmasters in the world still at that point. And Hari yeah. was still a rising star at that point. And I felt terrible. Hari said, don't worry. No problem. No problem. I, I, I kept on refusing till we... Uh, 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 
I kept on apologizing till we entered the tournament hall. Hari coolly went to the board, drew the game comfortably within 30 moves and came back. Do you remember this, Hari? <laughs> no, no, actually, I don't remember this one. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it was Torque. Yeah, I remember we were staying. Yes. Torque yeah. British Championship. Yeah. British Championship. And then you felt uh, cool. Yeah, like it was okay with the black pieces. I didn't feel cool, of course. I don't yeah. think. Very good, right? How it's can you tell good. your own teammate a wrong yeah. color? That to see if you are black and if you uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not are thinking black, it's okay if you yes, are white. Yeah. Other way around, that way against one of the top players in the world, it's terrible, right? To play black having white pieces. Yeah. Guys, something is happening in uh, Nepo's game, I think. We should probably check wow. that yes. out. Oh, so we had uh, gone till queen f4, d6, bishop b6. I mm -hmm. know ah, we didn't check this. Rook d1 happened on the board. Yeah. Uh, rook e8. H3, H6, and he's gone rook D3 with a rook lift. And C5, last move, computer doesn't like it. Rook G3, no? Rook G3. Because bishop D5, bishop D5, and... Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, this bishop not, D5. Yeah, this is also great only. Yeah, queen H6 next, yeah. yes. yes. Uh, but uh, the point which we have to consider is uh, C4 now. I'm oh, sure that this double. this queen h6 is mm. queen h6 or yeah queen h6 but if g6 yeah, rook g6 so. yeah so what was no. his point actually g6 I'll come back knight f4 oh, not no knight f4 knight f4 knight f4 um okay uh, so what, what was maybe hurry for rook g3 maybe I can run king f8 first king f8 oh, okay okay yeah that's that's uh, okay then c3 and then uh, game goes on. But it does look a little scary. Now, will you take here the bishop now that it's going? I to guess so. I guess so. I will take and bishop d5 and rook e5. Ah, major piece endgame. Okay. Yeah. Okay, try to get queen e7 and so on. Okay, but one more question. So, if you, mm -hmm. uh, oh, rook g3 he played. Yeah, he just played that. Actually, not much of a choice, right? Like c4 is coming, so it's kind of necessary. And king f8. Uh, can I go king h8 or just king You king can f8? go king h8 also. Okay. This, um, for king h8 in the same variation, what is c3, knight b3. Ah, f7 is hanging. A no. b3, not, if uh, bishop takes d5, e d5. Yeah. Ah, maybe one move you will have to support. Yeah, with king f8, it's actually quite nice. Uh, so you don't have to waste anything. But even this is equal after queen d7, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. I think it's uh, like he's uh, like it's fine. It's yeah. Doing fine. So for rook g3, but is there anything where you go king f8 and white can still put pressure on this uh, on these weak points in some way? Um, I don't think so because okay, I mean c4 is a threat, mm -hmm. and uh, queen from queen uh, queen f4 can't join the party. I mean you need to attack the g7 pawn, which Mm. I don't see yeah. how you can do it, right? G4, G5, everything is controlled. And uh, yeah. No, okay. I think. Can it... I go E5, Knight B3 is lost? No, if you take. Yeah, yeah. E5, uh, Knight B3 is, uh, mm -hmm. is the problem. Yeah, so then it is okay. It looks scary for a while. Uh, but then we, we yeah I, I think uh, I think both of them uh, uh, estimates like this king f8 uh, the position which we saw c3 and knight b3 to be okay for both sides you know like kind of dynamic equality or mm -hmm. sort of thing and also going to uh, pragnananda versus vidit after c5 mm -hmm. prag has I gone into ask you a question now. one minute uh, yeah. amruta can we just go back to the question on hari isn't black better a little here Let's say c3, um, ab3, bd5, ed5, rook e5. Yeah. He would Is go c4. Back a little hmm. better. Um, yeah, c4. And now I have the e file, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Can I push it a little here? The problem, I mean, not problem, but also you have to uh, watch out for this a6 pawn uh, kind of, yeah, because the rook has to be on a8. And at some point, he will, the white will go rook e3. And we just have something like this. So the e file doesn't matter much, you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
yeah sorry amruta please i mean it's 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 definitely black who will uh, who will put some pressure uh, but uh, i mean already it's good good news to get such a position against nepo from yeah black. exactly so isn't it good news for our man then huh? yes of course of course if i mean I... the thing is <laughs> the thing is i am talking about the i mean objectively what is it and then uh, how from the match perspective one of uh, hari krishna's most memorable end games i really like by the way grand hari krishna is probably one of the best end game players our country has ever produced and one of my most favorite of hari's end games is his uh, win against anish giri in uh, vikanze 2000 ah, 2000 13 Yeah, it was, yeah, probably you 30. just won with a double pawn, which almost looked like a draw, but you just kept on pushing and you won in the very first yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, maybe thirteen. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah. So, wow. coming from Hari Krishna, that black and push here means it's good news for our man today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it generally like uh, when you don't have any uh, risk and uh, uh, your opponent has to find some things. i mean find uh, accurate defense it's already good news in end games great so then the gukesh comfortable position do you know one of the move uh, which is being suggested a computer is suggesting for white over here yeah uh, rook f rook rook e3 rook e3 rook is e3. definitely one yes rook e3 yes. is uh, one but then he is not worried about rook d5 yeah okay ah uh, okay this uh, maybe c <laughs> <laughs> what what what's happening? I'm not I'm not yet. Uh... I mean, poorly computer giving him the D5 pawn. There is a very beautiful quote by Mr. Vishy Anand. Forget it. The the battle is already lost. We just can't fight the computer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think Queen uh, Queen F3 probably here. Yeah. Queen F3. And okay. white has compensation but uh, you know taking this pawn i really don't like because it's mm. uh, it's black who has to play accurately that's mm. simple <laughs> wow for com- i mean you could never even think of you know it would feel like it's a blunder and so rook e3 yeah. is one good move which he's suggesting and the uh-huh. other one was to uh, like stop this b4 idea so yeah b4 b4 so. is a bit difficult to play because mm-hmm. C4, I I would be a little bit concerned, but probably uh, computer sees queen d4 with the yeah. idea of f4. Maybe is uh, why. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So before idea is to uh, attack this c5, so he can get uh, the square d4. Mm. Okay. So this was interesting. So rook g3, last move before we go to Prag versus Vidit now. Uh, yeah, C five was played, and uh, Pragnanda has been thinking for twenty one minutes for this move, last move. Hmm, uh-huh. that's a quite long, long thing actually. Yeah, and he goes queen f two. Hmm, uh-huh. and now it's a question: uh, where does the king go? I mean, yeah, why is he be... still not castling? Like, uh, is there a problem? It's like, uh, hmm? no, there is no problem. They are waiting for the other <laughs> guy to choose. Okay. <laughs> It's simple. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's not the way it goes. But uh, no, the thing is, uh, when uh, black goes short castle, uh, white can try to go. Uh, okay, long castle. I mean, uh, c one, d one. and then g4 uh, and uh, kind of push uh, the pawns on the king side so that's one of the ways to uh, yeah. keep that attack going on uh, against black's king so uh, and w- yeah. I, i have one first, firstly two things we want to analyze this but i have a news in the chat that fabi has missed t5 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you. If you, if Sarvadan says uh, why to play and win, I will find that move uh, very easily. my god so that's uh, ali rez also misses fabi also misses so may not yes. be such an easy idea like on the board to calculate yeah actually the idea in itself is not difficult but the fact that it should come to your head hey there is something you know 
that's the major problem there and also you have got time so you can't really like okay there must be something kind of a thing and just spend all your time so you just chose something uh, solid so we should be to okay this one is getting interesting maybe a scare for ali yeah. like going back to pragnananda where you were explaining long castle g4 ideas uh, as one option uh i think uh, gukesh went king h8 understandable oh he uh, went so then maybe we yeah, it's that more time. like you go king to h8 or not to f8 yeah so it's more like that <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay it's still equal i think yeah and also nakamura we have not had a look at all so just to give a quick look at it nakamura is white what did you think of vidit uh, beating nakamura twice in candidate yeah that was uh, quite uh, nice and uh, interesting uh, because naka was playing uh, like, like naka came back uh, with the uh, wins and uh, then he plays against vidit and vidit uh, actually uh, gave him no chance whatsoever I and see. vidit had i mean it's like everybody is throwing punches at uh, other guys you know it's really like uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, player a is winning against uh, and so on uh, and the funny thing was yesterday ali reza had a nice position against uh, yan nepomnyashi yeah and had he won yesterday it would have been like uh, ali reza bet uh, bit gukesh and uh, also nepo which would have been like like really uh, you know hilarious because he was uh, he had couple of losses but then he comes and uh, wins against the the leaders yeah so nice. very interesting uh, tournament did not realize that that if he beats nepo and he was very close yeah. to it in fact yesterday yeah yeah actually very interesting game and uh, yeah i i i mean okay i i don't want to speculate like this disturbance uh, made him or whatever the reason but uh, he had chances definitely got it hari but one thing you tell me in this tournament uh, nijad abazo mm-hmm. the way he approached the tournament from the beginning especially you know the opening repertoire he had and the kind of positions he was getting he mm-hmm. seemed to be a little overawed you know kind of enamored by the weight of the candidates that he is playing it look like um, um kind of not taking much of a chance or going for uh, adventures things like that avoiding them it look like well the thing is when uh, i mean uh, nijat is the kind of guy who uh, likes to surprise his uh, opponents uh, as early as possible uh, in uh, in the game and uh, us- usually like uh, if when you are preparing something deep and forcing then you hardly can get a uh, game right because your opponent is going to uh, you know play the best moves and uh, eventually it will end in a draw and the uh, the issue for him uh, was not the opening or uh, you know whatever but he he committed many bl- uh, like you know unexplainable blunders you know for example this end game uh, against gukesh, gukesh. Uh, mm-hmm. like uh, i mean it's good that he blundered for sure uh, but cannot uh, <laughs> <laughs> control okay. this <laughs> we all get you carry on <laughs> yeah uh, so, but uh, generally these blunders are a little bit uh, un- unusual you know they are not like um, let's say um, sort of mistakes where he got outplayed but more like all of a sudden he makes a huge blunder which uh, which is not good you know at uh, a tournament like uh, candidates uh, you can't afford to make such blunders which of course your opponents will j- gladly you know uh, gladly take the point and that's it's why everyone the pressure of playing the candidates such a huge um candidate. it could it could be many things you know like uh, also we have to take into account all the players have been preparing for last maybe 4 4 months if not more than that and uh, imagine the number of variations they have 
they have uh, to remember every day every single day for the last four months mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, it's a super intense and uh, it can happen that you can uh, you can collapse if you don't take it in the, in the right way mm, but that queen so, and game just yes. to add a, uh, that queen and game at that point of 6 hours like you were so tired and it's very difficult to be very accurate over there uh, don't you think yes so? yes uh, no, for sure. Uh, I mean, that's that's one of the reasons why end games are so difficult because they are usually played after four hours. <laughs> so <laughs> you are you are, you are left with no energy, and then but you are forced to calculate. You know, like uh, at the beginning of the game, you have so much energy, you can happily you know take your time. You can calculate, but usually when you reach this queen end game, probably he had like what five minutes or even less. Uh, and this was after six hours, which is uh, which is quite tough. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, Sara, you had something to say. Yeah. So, how big is an advantage is this, uh, Hari? It looks quite good for white, isn't no, it? No, this is uh, this D5. Is, uh, yeah, D five pawn is uh, the main concern for black here. Uh, but also, I mean, just look at. White having B open file and E file okay. He, if rookie one, rookie one, knight F6 first. And uh, yeah, the pieces are quite active for white actually. That's the main problem here. Mm. So, so the has, is better. Yes, yes, clearly. Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, Nijat probably is thinking if he can. Uh, do anything other than knight g4 but I don't see anything other than knight g4 Got it. So currently if we have to do a roundup which is firstly the most interesting game I'm not very sure but they are taking taking time maybe prag with it can get very interesting bishop b7 played after uh, queen f2 um, and Vidit has more time than Prague, finally, because he's been taking a lot of time in this event yeah. in general. Yeah. So uh, that's a good news for him. Yeah, actually, against Hikaru, he had the uh, right time management. So I guess uh, he changed something uh, after. Uh, uh, what was it? Which yeah, after he lost with Gukesh, actually. Yeah, yeah, he was think he was taking so much time. Uh, I think that was uh, that was not good. But against Hikaru, he had a very nice time management, and uh, he was ahead of time uh, ahead of Hika uh, time uh, in that game. Yeah, and uh, yeah, now as I said, b six, bishop b seven, and then he will try to play long castle and rook h rook h eight, f eight, and f five. Guys, by the way, it seems uh, Humpy seems to be having a nice position. Okay. Where is... The, uh, oh, yes. Nice. So, Rook so E5, E5 looks really troubled, isn't it? Rook E5 is the idea, right? Or D5. And... Whichever way you want it. E5 is in real trouble. How yeah. do I... How do and I stop? Really? Yeah. Yeah, should I go... E6 or E6, but oh, E6, six. you don't mind giving it to so say a bishop to C6, right? Bishop C6, so bishop and C6, queen is, uh, no, queen F4, and yeah, queen yeah, F4. But the king is bishop. going to be safe here no? because actually, uh, and no, no, queen B4 will come, and uh, queen is actually quite. Uh, I mean, if if you if you want to be even more safe, you can take bishop b3, but it's ah, not really. Got it. Nice. So I don't know. I mean, it looks not. Uh, it it looks good for Humpy. Yeah, I mean, the computer says king b1 has to be played right now, but just rook okay. b5, as you mentioned, <clears throat> she's winning a pawn here. Um. Uh, yeah, pawn is a pawn. Yeah. <laughs> If yeah, she is winning like, on, then this make uh, this might make a huge difference in the tournament standings. Yeah, this game, right? Yes, now. yes. Ah, maybe she yeah. wants to play queen f2 now. Queen f2. Yeah, if rook e7, maybe bishop c6. Okay, it's the it's 
maybe not working but yeah. maybe queen is seven i think that's why i don't like your uh, match or rookie five i'll go for d five i believe in non uh yeah d5 he wants okay but then uh, will it be dangerous why, why violence because if you go d5 uh, knight c5 knight c5 is the ah knight c5 and queen b3 okay perhaps you are fine um... mm. maybe it's a sac pawn sacrifice yeah but otherwise Maybe. can is in a solid form so well now we uh, now white has to say that it was a sacrifice but <laughs> i thought <laughs> Nice, yeah. So then, knight c5. Ah, uh, you want to continue oh, with that? Fine, knight c5. Yeah, let let's just for a moment look at knight b6. Wow. Because I have a promise of two pawns. If you are going to take knight d7, rook d7 here, it's too tempting, you know. Yes. Yeah. No, this is different. But what else My... should I do? That's oh, what. Oh, uh, what? Oh, the computer is saying. Knight a six. No, taking the queen. Please don't tell me black is losing immediately. No, not at all. But uh, <laughs> uh, he's suggesting two moves. I understand queen a three. No, actually, I don't understand even queen. You do. Queen e two. No, no, no. No, actually, uh, okay. Uh, after you uh, tell. Uh, uh, I mean, after once you tell the move, it's actually yeah. quite uh, easy. But uh, yeah. yeah, like I said, you know, e five or this kind of moves, b c five. I mean, if you take the knight, queen a six, king b eight, rook d three. That's a tragedy. No, and if king is also not working, because no? there is a defense here with c four, which is insane, <laughs> completely insane. And now, if you take knight b four. Yes, forest. I think queen. Yeah, queen. knight d three. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, so, but instead of rook d three, queen b five check. यार तो पहले सब बोल दो ये आधा आधा मत बोलो हाँ making us puzzled as to why it is happening, what it is, what is happening and all that. <laughs> oh, but there is no way. Like ah no, it's f e five maybe. Yeah. F e five e six. F e five e six. F e five and e six. Whoa, this is so tough. This is difficult. No, there should be there should. There should be an event where there is a evil bar, but uh, you don't know the analysis. Oh, nice! Oh, that one was such a so much fun. Anyway, what uh, and, then, and then people instead of calculating, they will be thinking, "What does the evil bar say? Let me think." Actually, in Friday commentary, that was not Vishy doing this time. They uh -huh. had left the evil bar on, mm -hmm. but not the analysis. So he okay. went. Irina, they were trying to work out how is this <laughs> happening? Why is the computer telling that way every day? That was actually fun in a certain way. But she doesn't need that. No, anyway, like you know. Uh, I think for fun, uh, for fun, he did. No, but Sorry, even uh, some positions are so complex. I think that to find engine moves is insane, impossible for anybody for that matter. Yeah. So uh, true. Not we we sure. did that. You know, in the Prague festival. Uh, we had one of the uh, moments Peter Leko joining us, and then he was not looking at the engine, and then it was so much fun. So from that point, we started keeping the eval bar because at least you need you know some mentor yeah. over there. And then uh, no, no eval bar, eval bar is uh, quite nice uh, for the chat to mm -hmm. you know uh, like we are uh, explaining deeply with all the ideas and so on, and they are like ha 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 because they can see the eval bar. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that is true. So, uh, Queen H six. So, Humpy definitely, I think she has to calculate quite a lot. But with Rook E yeah. five ideas, uh, it's interesting. Maybe she lands up in a pawn up position. Also, why yeah, surely? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very okay. Oh, we can go. To, oh, wow. Oh, because she had this lot of uh, theory, and we left at Rook F eight. Mm -hmm. So they played a lot of moves. Rook B one, B six. And this is the position. Yeah, so king f two, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This. Do you think Probably. white will have initiative because of uh, rook and bishop and these central pawns or? Uh, But I will. Uh, I will get the knight to uh, c five. So, for example, knight e six, I think. Uh, and uh, 
king e3 or something uh, rook d8 i have to make uh, white play d5 so i get knight c5 oh okay yeah and uh, it should it should be fine for should black reserve, yeah so vaishali should be able to hold uh yeah, yeah. Coming back to with its game, queen f2, bishop b7 on the board, knight e6, queen e6, and b3 has been played. Nobody's castling here. <laughs> My goodness. It's normal. It's normal. 18 moves. But in candidates, uh, was it normal that uh, any side has not castled for 18 moves? Um, <laughs> I was telling sometime ago to the chat, Hari. Uh -huh. Not castling also, no, the characteristics of uh, Tigran Petrosian. Yes. Uh, you are a fan of him, so. Yes. Well, unless you need to, why to castle? Yeah, it's a waste of move. <laughs> By the way, we have Pragnesh in the chat who says, Watching Sarvanan brings back long lost memories of 1988 university tournament against Madras University in Darbanga, Bihar. Best wishes. Ah, Darbana. We, yeah, won the, we won the tournament ahead of uh, Bombay. Bombay had Anupama Gokhale that time. Oh, as the captain. 1988. Yeah. You remember everything, know. no? Uh, like about your tournament. Uh, my so team, uh, Chennai University, was uh, myself, T.S. Ravi on the top board, mm -hmm. myself, uh, Ashok Aaron, the second son ah. of Arvind uh, Aaron, uh, Arvind Aaron's uh, younger brother. And Ebenezer Joseph, who is one of the coaches of the country, and uh, another guy, Mani Vandan. He was the brother of Mari Arul, the national junior champion yes. later on. I remember. Amazing. So, a uh, uh, question for both of you. Will it be long castle or short castle? I think this should be poll for chat. Okay, chat. Long castle or short castle in chat chess moves. We'll directly get to know how many people predicting. Karnan because going for... I, guess, I guess both the moves are fine here. Ari, we have brought you as a commentator to give questions, difficult questions to chat, not to us. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but we are going to see what is the chat saying? Long castle or short castle? Which is which is the most we will play? Knowing uh, Prag, I think he will go for short castle so that something can be done on the king side. Okay. I mean, side with the opposite color bishop, get <laughs> yes. some slight attack and all those Old theories which Hari may not agree. Once again, I think why, why, do you why, I, why, why should I agree or disagree? I mean, Just told me some time ago all this dragon endgame theory, all this is nonsense. So the same way. No, no, I did. I mean, it's not nonsense, but uh, I'm just joking. Have, yeah. Things have changed. But, but uh, I think if they castle on the same side, then it's more like, uh, can we say it would be more towards uh, settling draw. down in a way? Yeah. Yes. yes. And, yeah, uh, I will be more clear draw. Uh -huh. We'll see. How, guys, how many of you are a little confused? Oh. I think. Ah, this is the... your system here yeah, to, uh, to see. Yeah. yeah. It's a very nice thing, actually. It's a. Uh... Yeah. Something a plugin somebody developed for Chess Base India exclusively, yes, it's right? A Keith, Keith uh, Mascarenas, he lives in US and uh, in pandemic he had developed this, so uh, it's it's really very, nice. very good, amazing. Yeah, yeah. so short cool, castle cool. is the guess of the chat, and I think normally chat would want short castle so that there will be some uh, war over here on the board. <laughs> By the way, Amruta, I want to tell you this. Uh, Nepo found this uh, before move. You, you remember oh, in really? yeah, like like you said this uh, uh, before uh, two moves, rook e three and b four c four queen d four something yeah, like that. Wow. But this one is uh, we didn't expect b four at all on the board. Yeah. Hmm. Computer. So Nepo is in solid form anyway. He's not going to yeah. <laughs> let loose this one for sure. Yeah. By the way, so Ivanka asked one question. After so, black play C4, hmm. very uh -huh. unusual construction. Yeah, this is uh, super unusual how it came here. I mean, it's like... For a while, <laughs> it seems like this is a weakness. But then uh, I think white is able to safeguard it. Also because of A6. Are, which is weaker, A6 or D5? Which one is weaker? <laughs> Uh, neither of them. <laughs> mm. 
I like the answer. No, the thing is, uh, I mean, like if you put some minor pieces, how do we determine the weakness? You put, let's say, one more knight, yeah? Then it changes quite a lot. The, uh, bishops, for example, let's say you put. Uh, and that's how, because here uh, you are just with uh, major pieces. That's why it's hard to exploit uh, those things. True, true. So, uh, Hari, we have a question for you. Himank asks, mm -hmm. so like we uh, saw Raja continuing to second late in year in candidates, will we see you seconding Ju and Jun? Is it an ongoing partnership right now? Uh, we had, I mean, we had last year uh, for the world uh, women's world championship match, but uh, right now, uh, not really. Okay. Yeah. By the way, so Hari, we'll... you were also with uh, Outpost, right? This. Yes. Uh, okay. yeah. You are associated with it. What is it about, actually, exactly? If you can let us. So, outpostchess.com is a website where uh, you get uh, information about, like, uh, as it's for everyone, like a player, coach, organizer, and so on. So, the point is that uh, all, all the interested chess uh, fraternity uh, can be associated with each other at one platform. So, yeah, let's say, for example, you are uh, searching for a norm tournaments or let, uh, or, you know, you played three tournaments and you want to quickly find some tournaments. So then you uh, you can quickly search in on the platform, get in touch with the organizer and, uh, you know, uh, start playing. And uh, same way, if organizers need a player, so they can also, uh, you know, advertise on the platform, say, hey, we need a player of uh, such and such strength. Can you, uh, you know, if somebody is interested, you can, uh, you can play, uh, you can contact us uh, immediately. So I thought uh, it's, it's a nice one. Okay, it's, uh, um, it's interesting. It, I think it's, uh, it's like one year old or uh, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we'll see how, how, how it goes and how, how many chess players and chess fans uh, join this website. But that is amazing because it's really a gap uh, in the system yeah. and it would really help players find such a tournament. So guys, do check this out. Uh, outpost.com, outpost yeah? Right? Outpostchess.com, yes. Very Where is it based, Hari? Is it an Indian platform or a global platform? It's a, it's a based in Serbia, but uh, it's world, worldwide. You have tournaments from uh, everywhere and they also have uh, tournaments like Blitz blitz uh, blitz events and so on uh, time to time a um, lot of indians actually are on the platform nice does it even help 50 year old international masters <laughs> definitely <laughs> oh you are 50 52 whoa oh. really good question hari actually i don't think uh, he likes this question <laughs> 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 I'm actually proud of it. Come on. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's uh, that's nice to hear. Yeah, and, that's inspiring. Uh, that's inspiring. Yeah. For sure. But uh, at 52, then I realize it's 2:30 a.m. Sara, when do you sleep usually? Well, actually, my sleeping time is 9:30 to 10:30. But I decided to help you out today. Damsel in distress. Huh? Uh -huh. I was I feel so bad looking. I, every day I go through the, in the morning, I go through some of the videos to look for a replay of the whole tournament. I spend a couple of hours in there. Then I saw that for lengthy amount of time, you were commenting alone. So I thought, okay, why not join you? Ah, okay. In between, Harshit, all, Harshit is joining and he is also playing in St. Louis. So now his tournament had started there. So he was there ah. and uh, Zagar joins in between. Yes, because timing is so bad. Yeah, 12 to 5. Like, um, it's it's in a way horrible, lot of changes. Nikhile started yeah. doing today. Uh, yesterday, he said, okay, I'll do it at 3 o'clock at night. And then today, his message is that I couldn't sleep anyway, 12 to 3. <laughs> so, let me anyway go at 12. I said to him, no, it's a little so This timing, is, timings are really uh, not comfortable for uh, Indians. Yeah, very bad. But uh, you should know, Sarah, that whenever you want to go to sleep, Please feel yes, free, uh, like you just, you know I that already, his, but you still. His sleep is gone. I have my, I have my oxygen here. What is it's that? Radio, uh, my coffee mug, so. 
Oh, you are drinking it. coffee. Yeah, coffee. Oh, that's come on, man. Bobby, fifty-one year old, fifty-two year old at two in the morning. How can he stay awake? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, the Nepo Gukesh game. Yeah. White has started defending D five. Looks like good news for Gukesh, isn't it? Oh, he played B four, C B four. Actually, yeah. he did not go for C four. Yeah. Win B four, rookie five. Yeah. Queen D four back. And now queen a seven. Mm -hmm. What are the chances here as an end game expert, Hari? Like, how much is black? You think is there any realistic possibility to keep pressing, or uh, literally this one is a? It will fizzle out some to some draw. I think. I just, I mean, <laughs> he doesn't want to hear my. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in <laughs> no. moment I said black has some hope, he says it will fizzle out. No, it's also also rook in games are uh, more likely to end in a draw. I mean, this is like uh, the highest chances I would say than any other uh, end games. Mm -hmm. uh, like rook four versus three or all these kind of positions where you know engine will give like point thirty, point forty, but you know, these are all non drawn <clears throat> end games and i mean first of all i'm not sure if we are reaching there that's uh, that's another thing so mm. yeah okay see. so group d3 has been played i think he's thinking uh mm -hmm. going to i think maybe most important right now oh short castle on the board so he's yes. in for a fight <laughs> i'm right nice nice <laughs> king b8 yeah, yeah. Yeah, something but like one, queen. One good information as you're talking to us, asking Hari Krishna as an endgame expert, one of the widely followed um, famous uh, chessable courses in non openings from chessable is Hari Krishna's uh, endgame magic course. Yeah. Uh, very, very well attended, well received, and an excellent course. Uh, I've gone through it. Very well done, actually. Have you, have you taught about I, all the endgames in that one? Uh, or focus well, actually, those or... are uh, those are my own uh, uh, in my own uh, games. So uh, the concept which I thought was, um, you know, you have a lot of theoretical end games uh, available, uh, you know, on rook end games, queen end games, etc. But what I wanted to share with uh, this, like uh, people who are who wanted to buy was uh, how to. Uh, how to put pressure uh, when uh, you know you are on slightly uh, better side of uh, the end game or even going uh, in, before reaching the end game how do you understand uh, how to reach so it's a little bit I, I was not sure if uh, this would reach to you know like uh, public but actually uh, I was no, it's famous it's quite famous actually yeah. uh, one thing I felt Hari was that it was uh... Many of the chapters were well named. If I remember correctly, two chapters I remember. One is how to provoke mistakes on demand from the opponent. This is yes, one. Yes, I yes, 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 and the yes. second one I remember is nip the bud, nip, nip counter play in the bud, right? <laughs> Something like that. about <laughs> about stopping opponents counter play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. outer yeah. So nip the uh, bud, nip opponents counter play. Party. Yeah. So basically, yeah, that was uh, that was the point of the course uh, uh, because uh, this is not about uh, theoretical end games. It's more like how you can put uh, more pressure on your opponent with uh, whatever position you have. And uh, I I really enjoyed the make uh, you know doing that course more than uh, other courses, of course. Yeah, because you had two other courses and one of the yeah. name was very interesting, French Toast. French Toast. <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, my first course, actually. Uh, it was back in 2019. Uh -huh. And uh, it also uh, the same, same uh, concept, but uh, here it was um, French Defense. And uh, I used the same concept, like what is uh, more easier for... Uh, let's say I, I shouldn't say noobs, but uh, you know lower rated players uh, that they can learn quickly and uh, play. Not re I, I don't really like to give like heavy theory, but whereas Taimanov, it's a different story too. It was uh, really mm, 
uh, quite theoretical compared to french oh. toast so totally you have made three courses time and three now courses. Uh, french toast and yeah. oh by the way himank has shared the links guys you can check it out and the end game as we know hari is the god of end game so amazing no no game. don't cause me god <laughs> <laughs> I mean, many of the video titles many of the end game there is a this yes, is the I title know, because of course they were really amazing end games you have converted so uh, yeah it's uh, check that out nice but sarvan you have also seen his end game course and it actually helped you it's a great great thing to know here i didn't oh, know he studied my course <laughs> I did. I did. Come on, hey! How will I remember the name of the chapter? Yeah, I know. Now, no, 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 I know. I did study it when it would have helped me. I studied it. <laughs> <after> I was, <laughs> yeah, that's a different question. <laughs> I am hoping, sir, Sara, that which are your next tournaments? By the way, are you planning to play? Yeah, I'm planning to play the Beale Open this year. Hmm. Wow. July. Maybe, maybe one before that. I don't know. Amazing, I amazing. Know. I think Prague is playing. You know, in the Masters in Beale Open. Yes. Vaishali is playing yes. in the challengers and yeah. uh, Prag is playing in the masters yeah yeah nice i and prag will be competing for the top honors in this absolutely how me and prag will be competing for the top honors in this beer race ah i see i see okay okay <laughs> uh, yeah i i think queens are off the board in uh, gukesh uh, nepo gukesh team and uh, yeah in, Uh, yeah in fact i have to see that if for a type uh, like if you have same points would the tie break which is current tie break matters or uh, there will be any way play off uh, i have i don't this, know that i'll also have this to time not, hmm. this i have no because no, if it is guys, something hmm. something drastic is happening in humpy's game uh-huh. let's go there and we'll come back to rugs game eval bar is almost equal though the position oh. looks terrible no this is vaishali i'm talking about humpy acha ha huh, this looks like So oh, she went what happening? in that uh, position? Rookie five. Rookie five. Oh, she went. Queen F. Harry is rookie five. Ah, no, because D five, knight C five. You will be scared. That's why yeah. you, you yeah. yeah, incline. You are inclined to go there. Yeah. Knight D four, rookie eight. My God, rookie eight is such a macho oh. move. No, knight D four, threatening C six, cool rook D eight. It's a macho move. Amazing. Yeah. How come black is better over here? Uh, yeah, I'm confused as well. Bishop c six. Maybe um, just rook e three. Yeah. Queen d five forest. Yeah. Uh, then queen uh, f four. Queen yeah. f four. Maybe yeah. Maybe you is this that, measure? No, no, no. Can't I just take Bishop D seven first? Before yeah, Bishop D seven. Yeah, King D seven. And then go Queen D five. <coughs> yeah, we'll have that position anyway. Yeah, so take God, Queen D four. This is so scary to look at, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So I good. guess I guess that's the main uh, main line. Oh, you she took this. Yeah, Bishop C six, Queen C six on the board. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah, queen f four of course. But this, then it will yeah. be draw, right? Queen right. queen a six and queen b five. Ah, directly perpetual. You have perpetual. Yeah, it's a draw. Yeah, mm. that's that's sad. Yeah. Yeah, yes. that's happening on the board. From moment I thought black had winning chances. Mm. Yeah. No, this this will be a draw. I think right. queen a six, king b seven, and so on. Yeah. Okay, so Humpy's game going towards a draw. Vaishali also equality. So I think most interesting game today. Interesting it if at all it gets, uh, then it is Vidit versus Prag because yes, uh, this one if you go into the end game, what was the last move? Queen F five. So if Vidit takes on F five, I don't know so what will you play. Rook F five. Ah, so sure, yeah, not E F five. Why do you say? Why did you say so? You will exchange everything. Rook e eight and uh, all the rooks will be off. Okay. Rook d eight or something. Mm. So rook. But f engine prefers e f five or what? No, no. Engine prefers rook f five. 
look at five. Okay. Yeah, very no, I, uh, I once again the same concept H three G four to stop the expansion and maybe at some point rookie F one and G five. That's just a plan, but of course it's really difficult uh, to achieve. Uh, by the way, I have one question. Did it ever happen to you when you are when you were commenting and you were like excited or sa to Sagar, e either of you, uh, pretty excited and then uh, you say, oh, this is going to be uh, interesting uh, fight and so on. And then after two moves, they agree yes. to it. <laughs> so many times. <laughs> Isn't this a normal story? <laughs> I'll, I'll ask it rather this way around. When did you ever see Sagar not take? That that is true. I mean, uh, I I am I I was trying to see actually. Like yeah, I am yet to see. <laughs> no, but this uh, yeah, this does happen, and then somewhere a little bit first it feels like why did this happen? You know, we are so excited about something <laughs> else, know. and then you remember okay, this is not a, my game, <laughs> as you yeah. keep saying. <laughs> So, uh, Are, does white have an advantage here at all? Let's say, for example, he puts bishop d2, bishop c3, and rook e3, rook g3. That can no, then, white. Then, of course, position? then white is surely having an advantage here. If he gets. Uh, is there uh, any like, chance he can press white here, uh, press black here? Uh, I mean, the important thing which probably he, we should be, I mean, probably Vidit will, is considering before taking queen f5 is uh, to take take and g6 oh g6 f5 ah g6 and f5 oh you don't mind the yeah, isolated yeah, yeah. Ones. you yeah. want simplicity yeah just simplify yeah. rook f5 but uh, engine likes uh, because bishop f4 and rook e7 i think that's the point yeah so always there are there are some tricks, you know, like, uh, but I'm not sure if uh, Vidit will take queen f5. That's what I, uh, he's probably considering if he should take queen f5 or uh, what to do. What if you play rookie 8 here, like, maybe rookie uh, yeah, 8 for fun, uh, oh, we can analyze rookie 7. Of Are you seriously going to pick this up? Because this is <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I I also was wondering. But yeah, apparently you can because you just come back queen f5 and you are still no no f5. Wow. If you get f5, then uh, it's okay. But no f5. Got it. So he played that with just one open file, you cannot get checkmated. So it's okay. Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> so he played queen d6. That's very good move because if queen h7, he yeah. has rook h8. And if bishop f yeah yeah okay now so, no 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 I mean bishop before queen h seven before queen h seven yeah then he has queen d four check and he can protect the h seven pawn that's a nice move or you can play bishop and shake you know. your hands and get up for a draw wow yeah now it's solid now nothing major happens so nice move yeah with it uh, yeah no very nice move. And uh, if uh, white doesn't do anything, uh, anything special, maybe uh, g6 and, you know, like at some point he would go f5. With queens on board, it's uh, quite nice for um, black with g6 f5. Okay, Hari, for argument's sake, let me know, go king h1 first. Mm -hmm. And threatening queen, uh, bishop f4 and queen h7. g6. So let's say you go g6. Now let's say I go queen h3. So as to give you an isolated pawn if you play f5. Somewhere it looks to me that white is pushing, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I don't want to play uh, f5 yet. But okay, okay I, we can check f5. Let's check f5. Oh, I can. Oh, you want to play f5. Okay, let's say okay. f5. G takes f5. I mean, I'm losing a pawn. So that's... Uh... Ah, rook f5, bishop c8. Bishop c8. No, 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 no. Play bishop f4. Play bishop f4. Yeah, bishop f4 and queen c6. Queen c6. Queen c6, rook e7. Yeah. I'm not having a tiny bit of pressure here. Rook d7 or rook c8? Yeah. What do you want? Rook d7. Rook d7. Now rook f e1, let's say. Oh. I'm not having a tiny bit of pressure, such a hurry. 
Mm, probably not because g2 no. is uh, g2 is the main i mean bishop on b7 and queen on c6 it's uh, uh -huh. nice nicely there yeah, and uh, probably here it's even some kind of forcing stuff is there i don't know mm -hmm. um yeah black black is okay i mean it's uh it's like uh, you know black has to make one or two good moves and uh, he is doing fine kind of position but why can't i say that i have to make one or two good moves and i'll get an advantage here <laughs> after all <laughs> you have a weakness on f5 i don't right you don't see it that way no usually the advantage comes when the opponent makes mistake also yeah <laughs> <laughs> not okay. always you have to play good in order to win so you meant to say this is quite fine for black yeah yeah i think so yeah. So, okay. So Nepo Gukesh. Nepo yes. Gukesh. Nepo Gukesh. Yeah. Fizzle out. I told you. Ah. I mean, we may not like the result, but <laughs> that's how it goes. It's actually not so bad, no? Because Gukesh was bad. Uh, Gukesh was black. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nepo no, I think it's a, it's it's a good result. Yeah, it's a good result. Looks like there's going to be two wins for the two Americans today. Shall we briefly look at those games? And then, uh, uh, I, mean, and, uh, I like I like Fabi's position. Now, uh, Sarvanan's uh, dragon uh, argument makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I need to go back and study. <laughs> End game. Yeah. Rook F1 was his last move over here. It looks a little scary with F5 ideas uh, in hand. Knight on g4 looks like a very funny piece, right, Hari? No, bad piece. You mean bad piece. Exactly, yeah. And try, try to be like you. <laughs> bad piece, yeah. <laughs> no, the uh, f5 is coming. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how this happened. But from where this knight came to g4? So, if we go here, bishop e2, he had played last. Yeah. Aha, okay, okay. And then he went knight g4, okay. Yeah, yeah, and f five is a serious threat. Yeah, actually, you can't stop it. No, no way. Um, maybe rook c, rook c five. I could go maybe. Hmm. But then you have rook b four. King d two and b. What? No, no rook b four. Rook d four. Rook b four is it? Yeah. Yeah. So obviously, so B5 is a bad move. Yeah, and then uh, at some bishop point... Bishop C8, the ugly bishop C8, the only move here? Yeah. No, instead no, of B5. Instead of B5 no? Yeah, bishop C8. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. question is, where can white crack the position? Okay, knight D5, knight B6, and uh, you have everything. It's a fantastic position. Yeah, white looks. But I still instead of rook b4, I still like my king d2 and b4. Idea. Okay, king, like. also good, also good. I want to protect the t3 square from the knight invasion, and okay. I have still f5 in my hand. So. Hmm. Now black is nice. seriously like this rook on h8, and uh, it needs to come, but not not sufficient time. Hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, this, uh, this, I think, Fabius should be winning. So maybe not winning, Hikaru? but better. Hikaru. Hikaru. Yeah. Hikaru. Let's Hikaru. check Hikaru's game. Oh. Okay. Nice position. Bishop, this was the last two rookie six and uh -huh. bishop six. Yeah. Bishop d six probably and take the pawn. Ah, queen d seven. That's the point. Ah, punch by sir. Sorry, can you? Uh, I missed it. For yeah, white, it's queen d seven is the point, but I still have queen uh, queen g three maybe. Yeah, queen d seven is the point. So it means uh, mm. I should play rook b seven then. So I stop queen d seven and next. I, my idea is bishop d6. This looks very solid, actually. Mm -hmm. What knight has, if you move the knight... No, queen d8 probably is the only move. I don't see any other move. 
No, I have knight c6 also. I think knight c6. Ah, knight c6. Yes, and then queen c8, and queen c8. Yeah, queen c8. Ah, you escaped. Sabrito. Nice. But still, Nakamura is uh, better. Maybe he ah, manages he's, to beat uh, Nijat. Yeah. Would be very hard for Nijat also, right? To be uh, at the very bottom, or how would he be feeling here? I think. Okay, it's a difficult tournament. You know, I I can tell you one story with uh, Indian Championships uh, back in the days when uh, we had twenty twenty two or player nineteen round robin. Yeah, yeah, nineteen or sometimes even longer. So what used to happen is after let's say seven or eight rounds, you have six players perhaps, and rest of them are thinking when should I finish the tournament? You know. Uh, and uh, like uh, from that perspective, like okay, it's uh, it, it, candidates is such a tournament that you only first place uh, matters, right? So, I, I mean, for Nijat, okay, it's a great experience and you know all these things, but also uh, the blunders are, must be really haunting him. That's mm. uh, that's my feeling. Uh, it's not about uh, you know the result, but the way you play. Uh, Uh, your chess uh, is what uh, um, is troubling the player more than anything else. But then you are fighting against the best of the best. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Of course, of course, you can have such a result. Uh, there is no uh, nothing wrong with that. But uh, on the other hand, you don't want to like uh, play be- below your uh, usual. standard right okay. so that's that's probably uh, what is uh, bothering uh, nijat here yeah must be very tough yeah I, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah this is tough and that psychologically i mean in a way you are still not in a way you're not fighting that equal game because you have you yeah. carrying something at the back of the mind uh, so and also you can see that uh, every player uh, against nijat will will try their best you know to score the point which is understandable of course uh, but it's also quite tough for him because he he can also sense that you know everyone is coming at me and i have to defend every day and stuff like that by the way what is happening to rook b8 here looks like uh-huh. i'm not winning am i not winning something but perhaps i take it queen b8 Bishop B eight. Ah, okay. Rook B eight and Rook B two. But maybe yeah. I'm losing. What am uh, I mean? Queen F four or what? Queen yes. F four, Queen D six. Queen F four, Rook B two, ninety three. Ninety three and Queen D. Ah, I can't take because of Queen B uh, eight. You take Bishop C three instead of that. Oh, this one and traps. Bishop C three, Queen Queen D six, could be problem. Yeah. Yeah. Knight uh, g6. Ah, bishop g6. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Bishop g6. No, 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 no. This is uh... okay. Okay, knight c8. So, What so is rook the problem? One second. No, queen d8. I give you me. one more, one more. Ah, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No, but uh, let's go back. Instead of uh, bishop c3, maybe uh, rook a2 here. Uh, rook a2, queen uh, b8. B eight. Uh, now can I go knight c eight? Queen queen b five. Ah, queen. No, no, no. Queen b five. B five. Okay, you are allowed to do that, yeah. Yeah, because this bishop uh, has to reach to f five, but it can't. So, yeah. Hari, uh, can I play rook b two? Oh, anyway, queen eight. 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 Okay, it was fun when it lasted. <laughs> nice and yeah, rook b eight. Rook b eight. Probably he will go queen d seven. No, Harry bishop at seven. Ah, that's uh, that's why. That's my so point of rook b eight. So I thought for rook b eight, bishop d eight is forced. If you don't want to give the no, queen, no. I thought bishop d eight is forced. Okay, bishop d eight then. Yeah. And now rook a eight and uh, you know yeah, looks yeah, ugly. Yes, yes. No, clearly. So looks like Hikaru is closer to the win than we thought, probably. Yes. Or are uh, we missing something? No, it's to no. correct. If he finds Rook B, do you think he will find Rook B? Uh, how how long? Twenty uh, sixth uh, move, and he is having right now thirty minutes. 
Uh, and Nijat is having 48 minutes. No, he we was are probably... talking about the man who has won the maximum number of title Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not about title Tuesdays. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> because title Tuesdays, he has nothing to lose. <laughs> Find the dollars here, come on. <laughs> yes, yes. He cannot uh, afford and Just to... go or sit in front of the computer and collect $500 and that's it. Yes. You're happy, you're happy. So, uh, so, anything happening? Nothing is much happening, yeah? No. And Maybe. did the Humpy's, Humpy's game finish or they're still playing? They're still playing, I think. <laughs> Yeah, they are. Ah, no, she didn't go for the draw. Yeah, queen c6, queen f4, ah. queen a6, king d8, queen a7. Yeah. We are at disposition. Nice. Ah, cool. Nice. It's not a finish. Rookie 2. Yeah, she just played. As you said, it was like <laughs> she heard. Ah, she played? Ah, yeah. she played. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good, good. So you I'm know, well this is playing. a question with the computer says equal, but I'm very, very nervous with the black king. I'm actually nervous for the white, no, because I can just go uh, king, king. If I, I mean, if you give a lot of checks, I can go king to f7. Yeah. So. Ah, Petrosian again with black. Ah, but the problem is uh, she can repeat. I cannot move the king uh, to yeah. this yeah, file this because of uh, d7. And king d7, queen b5 Five. check. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I cannot go. It's, uh... Uh, isn't the position black to play? No, rookie two. Rookie two it was just played. Yeah, and even queen b8 check on the board. Yeah, uh, I think uh, this is this will be. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah but, but you, but you are right. Uh, you are right uh, that uh, if if there is no perpetual, it's black who is uh, who is actually putting pressure on white's mm. king. Amazing. And what about this? Yeah, Hari, your favorite topic. Who? Very complex end game in the game with uh, between Salimova and uh, Vaishali. Extremely complex. What do you think about uh -huh. this? Maybe. This is where we'll definitely need your help to understand this position. Um. So. Okay. If knight a4, then uh, white gets rook a1 and uh, rook a7. So that's something, uh, you know, like something. Uh, Black should be looking at something like uh, <coughs> g5 five here. f5, is it? Okay. F5, uh, f5 takes on something like this. Okay, g5 is also interesting actually, yeah. Oh, I know. I, I know. I know what you can do. Like something like uh, King G7 or King G5 and Rook H8. Oh, ah, okay. nice. If, if necessary. Yeah. Yeah, this looks good. King G5, Rook H8. Even F5 is good, no? L lot of ideas because uh, I, I think White has, White's main idea is to play uh, somewhere uh, Bishop B5, A5. Uh, take on b6 uh, and then rook b1 bishop c6 but that takes so much time uh, black can do uh, many things I think I feel I have a feeling this is one of those portions where we say you know the worst bishop is better than the best knight no okay, clearly the, <laughs> this this bishop is good no, also you know the, uh, where uh, the French French uh, bishop uh, is also uh, you know, everyone uh, mm. complains about this bishop, but actually it does a very nice job, uh, I have to say. Yeah. But why Probably the D5, yeah. the D5 pawn is kind of an insurance against White's defeat, I have a feeling. However bad White's portion get, he always has D5 pawn to yeah. worry about. But, but okay, <coughs> also if uh, Black can exchange the rooks, then it changes a lot because then you have knight D6. Knight, no, you can put the knight on D6. Oh, okay. But uh, it's not easy to exchange the rooks here. So what do you think uh, a good plan for black can be? Apart from king g7, rook h8, he mm -hmm. doesn't have much else, isn't it? Or bring the king to e7 first or how is it like? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I, that's a long journey, yeah, because uh, white will uh, put pressure on the B6 pawn. Mm -hmm. So I have to defend that. Mm -hmm. And what is the best way to do that? Yes. Why I wanted to play G5 was I was very nervous about white playing F4 and, uh, you know, creating a pass. Ah. Mm -hmm. Getting the E4 pawn free. I was worried of that. That's why I thought G5 was uh, better. But then Hari's this move will uh, also help, no? King G5 because then you're not worried. Or were you worried about Rook G1 check? No, Rook G1. Uh, I mean, gen I mean, for F4 you can have F6 if necessary, right? So oh, sure. uh, mainly Rook H8. Uh, I mean, after F4 you uh, help me a little bit with uh, Rook H8 because then you need to bring the bishop or Rook. To protect this h3 pawn. Yeah. Um, if I just ignore you and play a5 here, looking g5. Yeah, this this is what uh, I'm, I'm now. I'm not sure if I will go rook h8 because you take take and you rook go. B1. Yeah. What will you play? Rook b1. Yeah. yeah. And rook h3, rook b6, f5. And this I am not f5. Yeah. And this will be true. Oh. As simple as that, it's a draw. EF5, what happens? G takes F5. Rook C6. Knight. Uh, what tiny advantage here? No, no, Knight C6, I think. Knight, 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 knight E4. Knight E4, maybe. Knight E4. Knight E4 is. But what about D6? It's nothing really. Just a square, that's it. Nothing more. Yeah, knight now I want to go Knight F6 now, idea E4. Yes. So worst comes to worst, I give up the knight for the d7 pawn and yeah. It, but I think it's not coming actually. This, yeah. In fact, uh, computer says knight d6 is. No, no, no. I will not do this. I will not. Do you will this not so not go into this because you feel this is a better position. I, I can. I can do. I can do this after knight f6. So I can wait a little bit. Ah, got it. Yeah. No, Vaishali will hold. I think uh, this will be also be very important for for her uh, psychological <laughs> yes. point of view that she manages to not lose today and the position is equal. She was better prepared. Maybe she mm. she will hold. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Rook B seven has been played in Pragnananda. Which game? Uh, Pragnananda Bishop C eight. Yeah. Yeah. Some Bishop queen f3. Queen h3, h6, and rook f2, bishop c8. Where, where, where do you think this is going, uh, Hari? Like, what is going on in their mind, uh, both of them? Well, Prague wants to keep, keep the game going uh, to, you know, somehow, like, try to get somewhere something, but... Also, black is not really in any danger here because you can see that, uh, you know, it's a very nice uh, structure for black, even though it might seem like the double pawn is a weakness, but uh, black is fine here. Queen h5 maybe is uh, slightly better. Uh, in the sense, queen f3, maybe f5 uh, would uh, ah. equalize immediately, maybe. So, queen h5. And these pawns cannot really move uh, that way to attack anywhere, yeah. to create an attack here. But for white, can he try to break here in any way? No, no, no. That side, uh, black, I mean, the moment you play a4, uh, black would go a5. So, which means you are kind of solid there. Um, I get this yeah. feeling that if white can get bishop f4 and push the pawn to e5 and exchange it, then the white's uh, dark bishop is more powerful than black's white bishop. Yeah, but then uh, in this process, you will exchange a lot of pieces. That's the only mm -hmm. problem. F2 also, and yeah, that's yeah that is the that that's actually the main issue. Uh, that uh, the moment you you exchange e4 to f6, then there will be massive trade of pieces. Mm -hmm. So, like you were saying, if rook e8 now, bishop f4. Yeah. Uh, queen, e, e, queen c6 or queen e6. Queen c6. Uh, e5 this is what I was targeting. Uh, I think uh, maybe uh, f5 or g5, something like this. Yeah, actually, there is an intermediate yeah. g5. And f5, f4, and then it gets dangerous for, uh, yeah, f5. It, oh. This gets dangerous for white. 
This is totally changing the whole dynamics of the position. Yeah, because if I becomes a liability for white, because you, your bishop is quite restricted, and uh, black pawns have free roll with f four, and uh, the bishop on c eight becomes a monster. So if this basically, if like what you were saying, Sarah, if takes takes, then white would be happy with such a. Bishop. Yeah, both Some, both of them, hmm. both both will be happy here. <laughs> Queen G3 has been played in the game. Uh, he challenges the queen, but uh, double pawn. No? Queen G3, H G3. Yeah, takes takes F5. That's just a draw. Offer. Yes. Ah, that's just like a draw offer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is uh, not like yeah. a draw. Offer. It is a draw. <laughs> it is a draw. <laughs> and when does this like uh, happen? You know, they play some moves more, and then it happens, or <laughs> it, it, it depends. Sometimes you just look at uh, your Aankho opponent. Yeah, ko me ishara ho gaya. Yes, yes. Aankho me. Yeah, what? Oh, Amrita, people are asking some uh, super chats are gone missing. Oh wait, have I forgot it, guys? I didn't yeah. see anything for a long time. Frankie, uh, thank you for your contribution. Sat million sate says loving the Sarvanan, loving this Sarvanan has a ten tenor's voice. Uh, great to see many Indian players at the top. Question for Hari: How does it feel to be one of the inspiration for these young Indian players? Oh, uh, it's uh, you know, I don't know how to answer that question. Uh, but uh, thank you. Um, I I would I don't know honestly how to say it, but I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, you know, I could win. Uh, many medals and also you know inspire many people uh, to play chess and uh, not just you know professional but also um, you know as a hobby or any anyhow so that uh, that uh, brings me happiness yes wow what a nice answer then we also have had bhai chess kaise improve kare 1100 rated contributed <laughs> But uh, if you had to give an advice to an 1100 rated player, one advice, what would that be, Hari? Uh, whatever you are doing, uh, just, uh, yeah, that's very tough, yeah. Mm, I would say that do not, uh, do not, uh, do not check the ratings and other stuff uh, and just enjoy playing chess, you know. You can check your ratings uh, after some time, you know, it, like at 11, 1100, you can just enjoy playing chess. I, this would be, and I have to say that these are the moments you can actually like, you know, free, uh, you can play any opening or uh, without any issue. The moment you reach a certain level, you will stop playing some openings. Yeah. So <laughs> from that perspective, this is the moment where you can enjoy the most uh, with, uh, mm, with the openings or good. any kind of positions. Amazing, amazing. And we also had Milin Sate again who said, uh, I'm loving this, being a keen chess enthusiast for 30 years, finally following Indian players at the top, playing, uh, playing on well. Sarvanan has a tenor's voice. Tenor's voice. What's a tenor's voice? Something to do with the Western classical? I don't know. Maybe Milind, if you're in the chat, you can let us know what uh, that means. Or is there a is maybe there is a guy named Tenor? It could be possible. <laughs> Amrita, okay. I think he yes. just blundered. Yeah, just Hikaru to... has blundered. That's what the yeah. bar said right what? now with the red border. Nijar, Nijar. Major. Major blundered. What? Yeah. Unbelievable. Rugby seven event instead of rugby eight. No, yeah, even eh? blender. It says the bar went up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One second. So rook a e six was played. This this we saw, no? Rook B seven. Ah, he played rook ah. B seven. Ah, he didn't find rook B eight. Okay, he didn't find rook B eight. But this also should work. No, 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 no. No, guys, there is a beautiful move here. G five. Yeah, G five. G five. G five. G five. No, 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 no. Knight C eight. White, 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 white,
means Bishop G6 shot. Wow. Just over it. No, no, no. Queen oh! H7. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is here. <laughs> what am I doing? Queen H7. I'm actually relaxing. Mouse flip. Mouse flip. Mouse flip. <laughs> we have a GM. I am like, oh, I just have to make moves here, not calculate. <laughs> But G5 here, uh, okay, we'll try to see any other defense for black. Maybe queen, uh, okay. Not any much position of G5 yeah. can be played without being, mm. can be captured, that means black is just, yeah. you know, it's huge trouble here. So queen C6. So he will that's... find it, you know, Hikaru will find G5. That's yeah, not normal this he, movie will this miss. he should find, I mean, uh, this is Let's like not jinx part. it. Let's not jinx it. <laughs> No, it's not about jinx. It's simply like, uh, I mean, he probably wanted uh, to play g5 in the previous move, but with knight on e7, you have all kinds of g6, bishop f5 and everything. So maybe that's the reason why he played rook b7, just to make him Nijat move the knight. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, tricky. Maybe possible. G5, what happens to uh, queen c6, as Harry said? I just moved the uh, rook. Somewhere. Rook B8, yeah. Maybe Rook B8, H8, 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 yeah. H8, 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 H
I can play freely. You know, maybe that's, that's what. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's about motivation. That's what I mean, yeah, Harry. That's so what I mean. Motivated. Anand yeah. won two thousand World Championship. Anand yeah. won beat Ramnik. Anand beat Topolo. But mm-hmm. when he played Elfand, he still had the pressure. Even when he played Carlson, he still had the pressure. Yeah, After but, two, uh, champ- but two or three World Championship is equal to two hundred title Tuesdays, right? No, no, Obviously, title Tuesday. No, title Tuesday. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> No, but he didn't say that it impacts his motivation. It it reduces no, no, no. his yeah. pressure. It's it's only yeah. about removing the pressure of financial financial pressure. So That's he, what uh, I mean, yeah. After they won the world championship, they also never had any financial pressures, right? But maybe they never had before also, which he had. Yeah, no. that's his point. That's his point. Now that his point is like when he's playing, let's say Grand Prix or some events, then he. at this point with uh, the online streaming and so on so he he doesn't have to worry about anything he can just play he he doesn't have to think about will i finish second or make at least this money or something so he he feels like i can just play and whatever happens happens yeah and just as we were talking yes. we jinxed it. and he did not find g5 that's what the chat is like ikaru blundered we could cannot believe that he didn't go g5 okay he didn't blunder but he didn't find the best move you know some but uh, like, now he's threatening g5 and for yeah. dijak G- it's important to find a very uh, i mean the best best defense in that sense is that queen c6 or yes, something else yes queen c6 he yeah. has to go queen c6 you'll go rook b8 right anyway yes yes But now and some uh, bishop. Uh, no, he can't move the knight because of bishop h seven. Yeah. So rook d eight maybe. Rook d eight helps. G5 ah, g five, g five. But anyway, G5. I don't even understand, Hari. That the computer is saying rook e eight over here. Now, anyway, this what the difference does it make? G five is a is a plan, no? Yeah. So the point is that after, mm-hmm. after rook e8 mm-hmm. now black can release knight e7 with rook on f8 if you release knight e7 bishop at 7 mm-hmm. will win so that's the point of rook oh e8. so now if g5 you are taking here and you can move the knight knight because yes. this is protect ah uh, with bishop actually, g5 this is also uh, not actually, attack uh, actually with rook on d8 of course uh, the bishop on uh, g5 is attacking right so mm. that's That's a problem. By the way, for G five, has G five should White capture Bishop G five? Can't he go Queen H five directly? Yeah. Then just G F four. Not oh sorry. Oh, there just is no mate. No mate. No. My God, yes. the king escapes. Yeah, king is quite fine. Yeah. Check. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this game. <laughs> you were mentioning about the time. He was pushing, and he is not finding the best moves for White. And he says only eighteen minutes on his clock. I have a bad feeling about this game for White. Hmm. It could be Nijat's first win. Yeah, that's what you mean by saying bad feeling. I'm not really saying it, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about it. Yeah, White. So I think uh, Prague with it, nothing much happened. So uh, yeah. just moving uh, here and there should. I mean, it could end in a draw any point of time. And Fabi also hasn't really made much of his advantage. Okay. Harry, are they all getting a little tired into the tournament? Of course, of course. No, for sure. Mm. Uh, it's actually tiredness out of uh, revising every day, plus also the, uh, like you know, you're close to the end, so you want to you know win uh, some games. Yeah, you're not like. Uh, uh play solid like in at the beginning of the tournament so you need to find something and uh, mm-hmm. then you, you see that this is your last chance etc etc to uh you know fight for the first place mm-hmm. and that puts a lot of pressure people are telling in the chat whatever we tell hikaru it's not happening so stop commentary <laughs> <laughs> Stop guessing what. <laughs> wow. No. But I am honestly, honestly, I am quite surprised that he didn't go for G five. Uh, yeah. Especially, I didn't see any 
drawback you know like what is the drawback uh, he he feel he felt of playing g5 was he anyway calculating in the same variation if uh, so for sure and... he calculated this yeah at g5 queen h5 and only explanation is that he didn't like f5 but on the other <laughs> hand how hard it is after queen g5 to see that bishop e5 knight g3 but hari one look at the bishop on e6 a player in the class of uh, nehikaru bishop on e6 is a big pawn right yeah it's not a bishop yeah now also your bishop on e5 and then knight g3 knight h5 it's like uh, just so good really yeah that's uh, i mean for me it, it is quite surprising that he didn't go for it but okay and now uh, in 18, yeah 18 minutes this is going to put pressure like sara says on uh, nakamura for sure um, how many uh, well, how many at uh, 12 moves okay yeah yeah 12 moves to be made so he wants to make sure that uh, g5 hg5 bishop g5 or what was the point actually i don't know ari vaishali has taken a very committed decision to play a5 with black pieces it's a little worrying for uh, look at the position yeah. a5 no I mean, black has played a5 permanently, weakening the b6 pawn. Somehow, I don't like the look. Uh, it's, it's okay, yeah, because she probably will go king h4 and uh, just go for the, I mean, f4, f4, and king g, king g, king h4. Okay. I uh, know it's fine to play here after king g5. So. Ah, okay. D6 or what? Um. I'm just thinking. I don't know what to do. I was more into something like Rook G1 check. No, no, no. Sorry, Rook G1 check is crap. Yeah. Okay. Let's go D6, Hari. Let's force matters. How yeah. is it like for you? How do you In, find this? No, the issue is if uh, this end game with, sorry. I mean, King F6. Yeah, King F6. Uh -huh. D7, then uh, King uh, E6, I guess. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, King E7. But why is the, there a problem here? Uh, you know something I really want to say something here about yes. uh, this. What Hari just told chat. You know, stronger the player is, they know how much they can uh, advantage they can give for the opponent and still pull with it. See the way Hari Krishna allowed the pawn to d7. but he had the confidence that you know the king will come and hold it the stronger the player is there is also the threshold of how much risk you can take this is something very interesting always observe stronger players they know till what they can give the opponent but still pull away the draw it's very interesting yeah Thanks. ef gf h4 is the point so i think f4 should be played maybe f4 oh. uh, before before king e6 f4 But this one is amazing, babe. That you take and then you are depending yeah, yeah, on the sixth pawn, rook pawn again. This is ah, f four so probably first. Check and then you can go king e seven. Then I go. I go. Wow, nice. So she's gone bishop c six here instead of d six, and uh, Vishal mm -hmm. is thinking down to thirty. Bishop c six looks like a very ordinary move. So no, she wants to take the pawn, rook b one. Yeah, of course. By the way, uh, Himang says strangely enough, Humpy Zongi is still not a draw. Zongi wants to play for a win. Okay, wins. okay, Hari, come on, F4. No, yeah. come on, let's let's go for it. Let's let's okay. go for positions. F4, F4, Rook H8. Okay, let's see what. F4, F4, Rook H8. Want to go? Yes. D6. D6. So Rook H3. King E2 is just a draw, Hari. Just repeat. Yeah, yeah. This repeat. No, why? Uh, okay. If I would go king f two. Rook d three. Rook d three. Ah, oh, check. Oh, you have a check. <laughs> you know what? I think that position where king g five was played. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think white can still press instead of bishop c six. E f five was the precise move. 
Harry's idea of F4, you know. Now I press D6 or Harry something better here. No, no, D6, D6. D6, D6. yeah. Because I feel white still keeps a tiny edge, I think. Because you have this. Ah, maybe I, sh yeah, King F6, D7. F4, yeah. no, like earlier. Or no. Yeah, now I can target your uh, E5 on some if you play F4 check, yeah. So F4, King F2. If you go king f6, d7, king e7, rook d5. No, you have to go e4, I think. Ah, but you are also so knight d7, no? Yeah, knight d7 is okay. This no, knight d7 is okay. Computer I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure why. Takes everything, king e2. Oh, the king e4. So, king e4 and king Oh. In pawn ending with an outside past pawn. Ah, no, 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 no. Two outside past pawns. Yeah. So let's do the calculation to Harry here. Yes. Harry, come on. H4 and then. Why no, I think if you'll go king e2. Yeah, king e2. In of h4, king e2. No, then it's Ooh. lost. Yeah, because. Ah, because you go b5, e4, b5, e4. b5, b5, e4. A4. Oh, wow. King d a3, A3, E4, yeah, E4, 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 nice. So you have to go H4 actually. Amazing, amazing. Tragically, I gave a simultaneous display yesterday and mm -hmm. I had a completely one knight and bishop ending. Being a simultaneous display, I just blundered because while counting A pawn, H pawn, queening, ah. I can go less for myself. <laughs> But I confidently played it. The kid offered me a draw for some reason. I took it immediately. So, yeah. these races are always, always yeah. to do. Wow. Amazing. Uh, yeah. This is an interesting endgame, actually. Yeah. Uh, if you go H4, uh, then also you are going to play. What you will play? But Harry, what about the rook and pawn ending? Is it not advantageous for white after BD7, D7, rook if I check and rook B5? No. The bishop D7, yeah. Takes, takes. Uh, rook if I check. Uh, yeah, king f6. King f6, rook b5. Rook d4. Ah, you just stayed up. I mean, check maybe first, but yeah, I can do yeah, okay. check. Yeah. Check king g5. No, 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 no. King back. Oh. G7 or f7. Okay. And then I take rook yeah. okay. and... That is draw. Even yeah. if you lose both your pawns. <laughs> it depends. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> depends. King F6 has been played. So I think uh, yeah, Vaishali is I think she's defending. She's defending. Yeah, she's she's defending good. And okay, many, basically. Yeah. She at some point she wants to even push a little bit. That's uh, what I feel that she she wants to take F E F E4 and Rook H Rook H8, yeah. So if white plays a little bit inaccurate, like uh, let's make some not so good moves. So let's say. Then I should uh, try. <laughs> 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 if you okay, but uh... that is being politically correct. <laughs> if white let's... plays not so good moves, then there's a problem. <laughs> it's rook B. But the position seems very natural for white because rook B won either. Hey, you uh, what, what I wanted to say mm -hmm. is that I want uh, black to black to play so that I. I can play F E four and rook. A, I mean rook H eight first. So, but ah. okay. Got it. So let's yeah. say just move like rook D two. Rook H eight. And now F E four. F takes E four first. F takes E four. F takes E four and rook H eight. Yeah, I see. Amazing. Now one question to you, Harry. In this question, do you think white is feeling the pressure or black is feeling the pressure? Of course, white. Really, with the bishop? Yes. No, no. Your, your as of now. I think no, you're generally, not thinking... generally, generally, ah, generally. Ah, generally, okay. But still, I I think uh, I think black is okay actually here. Yeah. I I wouldn't be I wouldn't say no. This bishop c six move I don't like too much actually. Yeah, I also didn't like it. Mm. So because in a way, you need to say you know, that white can push. It is only white. Yeah, yeah. Actually, with rook on d2, even d6 is not possible because some uh, some kind of tricks with knight b3, knight d4 or something can happen, actually. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
but I mean F4 King E2 Knight B3 something like this. Uh, but yeah, F4 F4 Rook H8 comes. It's actually quite dangerous. That's why I wanted you to make some move so that I can uh, demonstrate the idea. Yeah, but guys, we have a. I don't know if it is true, but we should check Humpy's game because it seems like she's got some advantage. And uh, Zongi has stretched quite a lot. Rook e4 was played. So admirable, huh? Tom Zongi is still pressing in this position, which is very admirable. I really like that spirit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, although I didn't like the fact that she took too much risk against uh, Lei, if you remember where she could repeat or play something, she played uh, very risky thing, yeah. What? Why is this? Oh my uh, God! Black to play into the chat also. What is the move which you will consider? I just saw the. Move. Don't tell me rook c two. No. Yes. Why not rook c two? Yeah, rook c two. But is it uh, is it there any advantage or you just uh, what to say? This is the advantage. Uh, rook c two, uh, c two, queen f five. It's a lob. It's a huge advantage for black. Okay, this is a threat. Yeah. Uh, Ah, you don't have king c1. No, rook c4. Rook c4. Rook c4. Okay. Mm -hmm. It would be mated. I think black white has no choice but to give up queen into e4. Uh, yeah. Four. Oh, really? For queen f5. So for queen f5. Yeah, queen e4, four. I think, is practically posed. But then and two then rooks for a queen. C1. What will you play here? King c1. But on the uh, other hand, like you can play some g5. Maybe. Already starting. I first get a pass pawn on the G file and then push the D pawn up to D3 and yeah. yeah. No, it's uh it's quite unpleasant. Quite oh, but unpleasant. she doesn't she misses it. She misses it. She goes rook oh. C4. No, that's understandable. It's a very yeah. tough decision to take for the board to take. Rook rook C C1. If rook C1, then I think she might must be planning Queen yeah. F5, right? Queen F5, yes. There's still some advantage for black, if, isn't it? If you play rook hf1, then rook uh, ec2. <laughs> oh, so cool. So cool. <laughs> nice. That's... Amazing. Guys, check my dick low. So rook c4. So still, still some tricks. You were always mentioning, no, Ari, that uh, black white king you felt slightly in danger yeah, yeah. So. by the way i will tell you one nice trick there after uh, uh, rook c1 queen f5 uh, what did you, what did you yeah rook c1 yeah white plays rook c1 queen, queen f5, f5 rook hf1 rook e c2 and queen a4 is probably the only way not to lose <laughs> <laughs> Queen A4. In a way, after Rook A4, see how many pieces are hanging. I mean, right now, how many yeah, pieces yeah, are hanging right on the side? This is hanging. This is hanging. This is hanging. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, uh, Rook C4 played in Humpy versus Tan. Anything can happen. But if Humpy manages to beat Tan, then that would be completely yeah, because no, she's uh, the sole leader. Big and, uh, yeah. Big reserve. Big reserve. Yeah. By the way, I want I I just I'm not sure, but Goria, Chikina, and Le, which possibly quite important for the standings, maybe because, uh, you know, they are probably in second place or actually share. Yeah. I don't know the standings. I I also have to check, but is it? I don't know if Hikaru. I don't think Hikaru has blundered, but just to make sure, very quickly. Ah uh, yeah yeah yeah. Somebody said uh, Hikaru blundered. Where did he blunder? Oh, he went. Oh, he just lost all his advantage. He, he ah, okay, 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 okay. And he has only twelve minutes on the clock. Oh. So, my original eleven statement. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, eleven moves. And oh, I know, minutes. I know why he didn't take actually. Huh. I mean, uh, with bishop eight seven, uh, king eight seven, uh, knight g six. Rook f8, g6. Yeah. yeah, and now where does the rook go? Why not the rook same rook b8? Where it came from? Ah, Knight take four. rook bishop c7. Ah. Bishop c7. Ah. Oh, oh, queen c1 and queen b1. Queen c1. Oh, it's a nice geometry, yeah. 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 Oh, 
Are you very upset Harry? Such a beautiful geometry you showed us. Amazing. Very upset. I was upset because I wanted to show queen f4 bishop c7. Acha. He was like who is the bar but the bar didn't change the status guys. Yeah, because knight this knight is much better and a3 pawn would fall at some point like queen b1 g6 and queen b8 and knight e3 and so on yeah. Bishop g4 queen f8 probably. This is the worst nightmare of having queen, right? I mean, queen and knight yes. playing against queen and knight with queen and bishop. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he went to be one now, and his uh, like Nijat gets another chance. Yeah. Actually, things can get uh, not so nice. You know, now c three is uh, is a real target because um, you know bishop on a five is suddenly quite fine. Yeah. Harry, there are guys, uh, guys from Guntur watching your show. Yeah, sending sorry? your loud. There are guys from Guntur watching the show, uh, sending their love to you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wow. Ah, uh, they are still alive. Uh, they, they are still awake uh, at this time. Huh? Yes, three thirty. Alive or awake? Alive. Right? Is also alive an important one. Really yeah, somehow I wanted to say awake, <laughs> but it kind of uh, felt like still alive because it's so late. Generally, the way you have to test them is to ask them a question, any tactical question, uh -huh. when it comes to, and then you uh -huh. get to see that okay, now many people are answering. Now few people are answering, so they are almost asleep. That ah, way. okay. At night, you get to know when you ask a question. Quick moves happening yeah. here. Queen d7, g5. Finally, Naka went g5. But no, this is uh, this is bad news because Bishop f5 will come. Uh, he goes Bishop g4, and Naka has gone. Queen hey, G4. I mean, uh, yeah. Mm. Ah, okay. Finally, this will be exchanged. Mm. But uh, Sarah, actually, this is uh, Nakamura. Maybe is feeling that time pressure. Yes. Yeah, I told you. I have a feeling. The momentum has shifted in favor of uh, Abbas. Yes, definitely. Yeah. See, the terrible bishop on e6 suddenly is going to be exchanged for the bishop on c2 with bishop f5. Yes. And what are you left with in the resultant position? Just think about white's pieces have become uglier than black's pieces right now. Yeah. And then this I pawn can be dangerous, no? <laughs> Maybe it's time to bail out. How? Uh -huh. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> Bishop d6. Uh -huh. So, I'm I sure you're bailing out. Am I not having probably, it? Probably bailout is a bit strong, uh, but at least, you know, Bishop f5, I think. Oh, bad move. Okay. That's not good. So knight f5. Ah, yeah, knight f5 first instead yeah, of this one because your rookie one is the problem. Yes, yes, rookie one, rookie one. Yes. Yeah. So, no, knight f5. I have to go. The knight f is really nice. So knight f5, bishop f5, bishop f5, bishop yeah. f8. Yeah, and bishop b1. Houses. Bishop b1. How is this working? And bishop a3 and some. Bishop a3, know. bishop a2, and okay. Yeah, some. Yeah, you can hope for a bailout here with g6 probably. Yeah, weakening the king side or. Something like this. I, yes. I don't know. I don't know. Something like this. Yeah. yeah. No, because FG6, I cannot take Queen G6. So I, maybe not. No, 92. 92. Why you can't? Ah, you because of Bishop C3. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Knight G3 and oh, he's also. Oh, but there is there is Queen C2 here. Queen C2. Yes. But how is Black okay. saving himself? You oh got. Ah, maybe compensation after this. Ah, yeah. Shisho. Bishop D4. Now Queen A7. Okay. <laughs> Bishop <laughs> F2. <laughs> I guess Bishop F2. Hey, Bishop C5, Harry. Bishop C5, Harry. Where? No, no, I mean, he will move the queen to D2, yeah? Bishop F2 and Queen F2. Ah, sure, that way. Sure, sure. Yeah. No, Harry, for Queen D2, I'll play C3 first. Okay. Maximalism. Then Queen A2. Back, huh? Bishop C5. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Play King H8. Let's play Blitz with Harry. King H8. 
Eh, so okay, it's a draw, no? Hmm. Yeah. Because but this can be the that, uh, Yeah, Queen D5, yes. Queen D5 is Hmm. Wow, but this is very complex to calculate a lot of yeah. uh, options there, in fact. But also, White needs to realize that uh, he's in danger, you know. Hmm. It's not like uh, be earlier where he could play many moves and he's still uh, losing his advantage, but now he can get in trouble. Yes. Because I think for he understand he is in trouble yeah. and that is why he is overthinking and he has only 8 mm. minutes. Yeah. Possible. Very possible. And in fact, for Nijat, if he manages to beat Nakamura, that would really, you know, give him some, uh, some, like, some happiness, oh, big, some joy. Big, big change, big change. <laughs> wow. Okay. Change, and uh, but what are the, oh, Prague versus Vidit's game has ended in a draw. Already done. Yes. They agreed to a draw. When? Thought so, right? When Queen G3 was played, that's what we thought, right? Oh, they made a lot of moves, oh. I think, quickly. Maybe oh. they have to reach 40, move 40, because they cannot agree before move 40. No, they agreed. Ah. No, repetition ah, or okay. move 40. Got yeah. it. So they have to find move, uh, rep mm. uh, move repetition or uh, finish, uh, you know. Got it. So, uh, wow. So, with it, uh, draw, Pragnanda draw, Nepo draw. So, if we just have a look at the standings once. Uh, give me over here. Oh, Nijat is doing good. Queen 3 played. Yeah. yeah. So, here, in, just to show the standings, Gukesh goes to 6, Nepo on 6, Prag on 5 and a half, uh, with it on 5. And we will know if uh, either Nakamura or Karuana can join Prague on five and half. That is something we should check. So Nakamura, go, let's check his game. Uh, he went Queen G3, H5, Queen E3. He's gone Queen E3. Yeah. No, today is uh, Nija's best chance, you know, to, to get a win. But uh, here also, uh, like the move computer suggests... It I don't know. For me, it looks difficult with uh, other possibilities. I don't know. Maybe you guys can try to... Knight G6 or what? Yeah, Knight G6. But uh, weren't we looking at the Knight going to F5? But he Yeah, but Knight G6, anyway, you can go Bishop F5. Because back uh, in the other position, we were playing Knight F5 because uh, Rookie 1 was coming. Uh, okay. uh, Amrita, uh, Tanjongi and Hampi, uh, they both are uh, below 5 minutes on their clock. We should see the oh, definite. Uh -huh. Let's okay. go there. Bishop H2 5 minutes for Tan and, uh, and uh, hmm. one and a half minutes for Hampi. So, I think Nakamura in trouble. That's the roundup. of Karuana pressing here against Firuza will come back here 13 minutes each. And for Hampi, she is, yeah, 35th move. Can anyone try? Like, who is the one who is going to try? White or black? Black. 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 But not this pawn because this looks scary if it starts. No, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't, <laughs> go. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. There are shells with which he says it. Hurry. It doesn't go anywhere. Don't bother. So... Because in the worst case, you can play rook c5 and king c6. So black is actually in never in any danger here. This is interesting, no? Because, you know, Sarah, like when if you're playing a game, like when I'm playing a game and if I have less time, I would be worried about something for which I should not be worried. Yeah. <laughs> but See, no, that's I not mean, a yeah. Stronger the player you are, you know how much risk threshold you can give to your mm -hmm. opponent. Correct. That's why a strong player analyzes with certainty. It's okay. It's nothing to worry. Absolutely. Yeah, he played 96, actually. Who? But we yes. don't have to go there. I'm just uh, we can saying keep in... shifting. Yeah. yeah, we can keep shifting yeah. in between. And uh... by the way, Tintin has contributed on help chess. So thank you so much, Tintin. We had more contributors as well, but I think five more. I had missed the names. Today we tried. I have tried some browser bits, so that's why I was not able to read. But let me just give a moment here. 
yeah we had vipul kotial also contributed 1100 rupees on help chess we had deb contributing ankush and abhay khandelwal and also another huge one by harsh patel of 17000 rupees uh, before the stream started so these are our contributors today uh, very kind of you guys tell me i am not seeing any of your super chats Hmm. Will that be visible to me only if I join your channel instead of just subscribing? No, no. Super chats uh, they will disappear after some time. I can see it hmm. from the back end, uh, ah, but okay. otherwise they'll disappear. But what I right now read was the if you see helpchess dot org over there, uh, the names over hmm. there Tintin five hundred. So that is our yeah, act, yeah that is our NGO. So over there I read the uh, amounts people who contributed. Hari, but uh, I'm in Humpy's game. After Tan's A4, I don't see a way for Black to progress at all here. I mean, it's nice to have these two rooks, but what to do further on? I can't attack H3. I can't attack F5. I can't attack A4. So, I guess oh. just King C6 maybe. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, she went rook c4 as we were talking. Yeah, rook c4. Uh, she wants uh, uh, her to play a5. So yeah, a5. Also, fifteen. Actually, for rook c4, there is a cute more rook c1 to draw the game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have to take. I have to take. This and black maybe is. Maybe in little trouble, but not really. Yeah, rook, rook g1 and rook a1, or uh, how would you like to do this? Oh, just king c6. King c6. We are yeah. also getting the news that Vaishali has made a mistake. Uh huh. Where is? Okay, let's check. Maybe because she's also in time trouble or what? Yes, thirty fourth move. This was okay. F four. She played king f two. Knight went back to e six. Yeah, rook. Ramesh so told this recently in an interview. I was never in time pressure in my life. All my students are time pressure addicts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's funny. Dunia ka rule. I think Nepo is really an amazing uh, time manager. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Too good. He's, too good. He's always uh, ahead. Mm. Today's chat is giving Nepo a nice name, Nepo Potamus. Never heard of this. <laughs> Nepo Potamus. <laughs> Your chat is giving this name today. Oh, why today? Against Gupta. I mean, I just, I mean, I yeah. saw only. Yeah, 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 no, today only they are giving it because it, until okay. it was not there. Okay. Ikaru is in huge trouble already. Oh, let's go there also. So Vaishali is in trouble. Bishop B five has been played. Uh. Ikaru is what did he play? Yeah, rookie two, rookie two. What to do after rookie two? Queen c one, bishop c three. No, no, queen c bishop c three. Ah, g six. Ah, it's maybe possible. Bishop c three, bishop g six. I can still play bishop b two, right? No, no, no. First rook b eight check, guys. Ah, okay. Ah, sure, sure. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Knight f eight. Knight f eight. No, knight f eight. Queen. Yeah. Eight. Eight. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, sure, sure, sure. Eight, seven bishop g six. Oh, here you have to play rook eight. Ah, still not over. Eight huh? takes and uh, bishop b two. Yeah. Yeah. If if yeah. you ah, take uh, bishop g six, I have bishop b two, bishop f seven, queen of seven. No, no. Okay, this is hmm. uh, better. Like it's just better. Yeah. So he so played rook two. two ah, actually, two. this is all on the board. Rookie to rook b eight, oh. yeah, it's happening. Oh my god, thirty sixth move. Oh, he makes a big mistake. Nijat, queen why e seven. Not, why? Why not just bishop f five? Bishop, bishop f five also oh. had a good move for white. Also, white had a good queen move. Queen d one. Queen d one. Yes, amazing. Found that. What? <laughs> queen d1 did you guys say it's hari yes. hari found this queen d1 <laughs> ah for bishop f fine yeah but uh, 
why should black play bishop pair? I mean, no, he played queen e7, which was a big mistake. Ah. For a reason, which Hikaru must play again with six minutes on the board. This move he needs to find, otherwise he is he in trouble. In the meantime, bishop e5 or what? Yes. White can play bishop e5 here. Right? Correct. Only move. But if Hikaru finds this move, he is like. Completely back in. I think it's completely winning. No knight g3 and this rook is yeah, stuck. Rook is. But what happened? Ah, no, maybe, this is. Maybe after he reaches his last three minutes, he will start playing like a title Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, probably title Tuesday is that motive uh, is needed. Yeah, motivation. Yeah. You know this, right? Hikaru lands up in uh, Kolkata and plays the first day very badly, and then he plays chess throughout the night. He claims. He played chess throughout the night, slept in from the morning to afternoon, got up and came came and had a wonderful day on the second day. You were there, uh, Hari, for Tata Yeah, yeah 28, 18, I think. Yeah, yes. so you never know, Hikaru. <laughs> yes, yes. So for Ali Reza, it worked uh, against whom it was? Whom was? Yeah, the against previous... Gukles. Yeah, right. against Gukles. So, Hikaru is in trouble and uh, what's happening? Sarvani, yeah, you have Hikaru a super chat for trouble. you to read. Okay. Can listen to Sir speak all day. Kudos to all you guys for all the great work. This is really commendable to infinity and beyond. Very nice of you, Lauke. Thank you so much. Nice of you. Thank you. Oh, he finds he it. Found Yes, found, yeah. yes. After all those big scare, Hikaru is now... This one is completely winning, no? Because it's very... Also, hmm. also, I have to tell you, it's also like desperation, no? What else can he play? Hmm. One is coming. <laughs> True. Hari, uh, Humpy's game, Humpy is taking her king for a walk. This is not the 0 0.00, which will happen to be. I think anything is possible now. Crazy position. Yeah, I need to disappoint you. Yeah, it will be draw. Somehow, practically, hurry. I think black has more chances because of the king being so advanced. I mean, some slip somewhere for white yeah. and white. Yeah, I mean, like if, uh, but like when uh, you exchange one pair of rooks, then uh, f5 becomes uh, a, a huge weakness, and uh, mm. then yeah, for sure, king king is. Uh, you know, uh, king plays an important role. Um, but she took rook yeah? It's maybe... And there, is one, and there is one more theory, yeah? The black king will never get mated because it's so open. Yeah. Now, two rooks cannot mate an open king. That's a, that's no, a, also, with the pawn, uh, it's really nice because the king keeps going, circling kind of a thing, right? Ah, and you mean the d6 pawn? Yeah. yeah, you cannot check that's it. Nice. Keep going that's nice. Down and down. <laughs> Circling around the like one of those hmm. Charlie Chaplin comedy movies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean Rook B B seven or maybe even F six or Rook B seven is good, yeah. No, but I thought Harry Rook G one check and Rook C and exchange one of the rooks, maybe no. Yeah, then F six. Ah, then F six and draw, okay. Yeah. Ah, F six is a cute thing. Yeah, f6 is the issue. Ah, also rook c1, yes, yes. No, correct. I thought you said rook c1. No, 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 no rook c1 is also good. Rook c1 is good. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Ah, because the b7 pawn now cannot be saved. Yes. And just No, this I, should... Uh, I should have do to a rook a1 good. check and rook b g1 and okay. I don't see yeah, a... Yeah, f6. I have to win yeah, this, yeah. Play yeah. Yeah, you can now even play for a win with b4, I suppose, yeah? <laughs> Nobody is... <laughs> <laughs> but it's 40th move so 40 moves just got over and they both get 30 minutes extra over here yes so i think uh, that's huge and vaishali uh, 40th move what about her yeah she oh she equalized again what happened yeah here? because bishop b5 37th move mm -hmm. check king went back check king went here knight d8 and d7 was pushed so king d6 you know, the women candidates, the remarkable thing about this round is every game is being well fought. Did you see that? Oh, I mean, B what fights, yeah? Oh All of them are to endings, yeah. complex endings, brilliant fights today. And everyone is having this knight. Look, Anna versus this bishop versus knight. 
लेट इंजी हो रही है आज की ना बिशप वर्स इज नाइट वैशाली ऑल्सो हैज बिशप वर्स इज नाइट फैंटास्टिक <laughs> Yeah, she is a pawn down, no? So, uh, yeah. late Ingi would not leave such a position. Forty no, no. over for her also. Yeah, yeah. By the way, this you one, uh, when the king is on e six, now for black, is it like a simple plan? Uh, like uh, it's equal, or she's it's still more like uh, it's more like white doesn't have a plan. Ah. <laughs> I mean, like king h three, king g four, you can't go, and uh, how do? how to bring the rook from d5 to somewhere like b8 or uh, attack g g6 pawn or b6 pawn so if you can't do this then God. how do you proceed mm. no plan so d7 by the way chat is saying hikaru has a very nice uh, move here can okay, we just check okay let's try not to find the move bishop b5 played ka hua guys he is thinking you know the winning move is very nice but Your white is anyway winning. Bishop e5 के बाद. Ikaru has only five minutes on his clock right now. Yeah, but Nijat is now thinking what to do. I don't even know the best best defense is rook c2. Maybe rook a8. Yeah. Ah no, it's white to play or black to no, play. No, black to play. Black. That's what. Ah. So I think um, wrong information. And chat is getting excited with <laughs> h4 and h3 now. Oh, that's. H4. Ah, it's actually stopping knight g three, so it makes yeah. some some important. You don't know what to do. Push the h four. Ah, then Alpha it's a good move, no? H four actually. What is white going to do here? Maybe queen f four or not? Queen f four, Hari. Oh. You don't mind rook c two, rook a two. Ah, queen h five checkmate. Sorry. Yeah. No, queen h five checkmate. Hmm. Queen f four is a nice move. What a nice move. Yeah. So can I go queen e six for queen f four? Yeah, queen e six, but uh, uh, bishop uh, bishop g six. Oh yeah, sorry. Bishop g six. Uh, you don't have a g six queen. Because rook b f g six rook b seven is coming. Ah, rook b seven. I thought queen queen f eight both. Ah, both. Yeah, Maybe even queen f eight. King g six yeah. and. Yeah. Then rook g. Rook g. Rook g. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Why, Why doesn't the computer like rook g? Maybe knight e three. Queen f five. Queen f five. Ah, rook e five. Okay, knight e three first. Yeah, first knight e three and then hmm. winning. Okay. So queen f four is nice. So h four, I that's why he might reject. But then if he does, if he rejects, then then he will play rook c two. Yeah, but also psychologically, it's so difficult to play rook c two after all this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, both Vaishali's game and Hampi's games have reached forty moves, so which means that you okay. know, yeah, Hampi's game probably end in a draw, and Vaishali ends in some trouble, isn't it? Yes. Also, Karuana versus Firuza. Uh, what is happening? Because Karuana had advantage. And rook d6. Maybe he still he still does or not? He lost most of his advantage. Most of the advantage. Okay. So now clock position matters a lot. Fabi has about seven minutes, and Kara Firuza has about eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, on the uh, I mean, on the other hand, it's uh, Bla Black's idea is pretty straightforward. Just push h4 and try to exchange as many pawns. It looks like, to me. The last couple of years, long tournament like this, towards the end, uh, Karwana loses some of his energy. I feel the last it, couple of years I've observed this. Yeah, I mean, in the last candidates, I think it was mixture of many things because uh, you know, just during the tournament that Magnus Carlsen announced that okay, he's not going to play, and the second player uh, would get chance, but. 
maybe Fabi didn't take it seriously. Um, but yeah, sometimes uh, I think it's not only about the long tournaments, but also the magnitude of the event that how important it is, especially like this. I mean, he uh, he did uh, well in uh, Tata Steel uh, tournaments, uh, mm. and those are really long tournaments. Um, but yeah, this is completely different uh, kind of an event where. You know, just the win, uh, the first place matters. But uh, also, I don't. I mean, I'm not sure. But uh, even if you play very well, still, if mm -hmm. you have a chance to, you know, get, or you're maybe playing not so well, you are in the bottom half. At least something where you come in top four and uh, look at the candidate uh, FIDE circuit points is still something. Oh, no, there are FIDE circuit points for the top four. Ah, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Okay, okay. Yeah, then, yeah. Then, sure. For that sure. can make a difference. Yeah. yeah. Of course, for no, them, I... they are not thinking that. Because yeah, they are, as you yeah, said, they are not yeah. thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, mm -hmm. he played Queen E6 uh, in Ninja's game. Okay, if you are. And... Queen E6 on the board. Yeah. Oh, so not... Wants... So, Knight G3? Uh, what's the problem? No, no problem. No, no problem. I think... Uh, <laughs> no problem. Uh, you get it. <laughs> Maybe rookie five. Yeah. Some compensation, no, here or you think? Yeah, some, something. Yeah, some. But this is irritating. This pin and the back rank is very irritating. <coughs> no, no. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, this is. I mean, normally I would say Hikaru will win this uh, without any big problems, but uh, see, yeah, he... looking at the time. And last couple of moves and decisions, yeah. He actually had to go knight e3 for the best, yeah. most, uh, this thing. But uh, knight, I, I didn't understand this move knight e3 much because you're not trapping the rook still, right? So sure, yeah. What is, so he went knight g3. Yeah. So knight e3, I guess the idea is to play king f1 and slowly take this uh, this rook, but uh, maybe king f1, f3. Okay, it's still so complicated. Mm, for the three minutes, I'm sure it was not an easy move to make an ID3. Yes, rook yes. e5 on the board, d5, queen e5, and maybe rook b7. Uh, I guess rook b7 has bishop c3, rook f rook f7. And D four. Oh, yeah, counterplay, counter big counter. counter so I some, I have to be careful. Some turn in Vaishali's game. I'm sorry, Hari. Some mm -hmm. turn in Vaishali's game. She allowed a cute uh, plan for White. I don't know if this. What It's very difficult to be findable. One. Amruta. Yeah, yeah. One second. Queen E five. I know. I was just looking at this. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sure. uh, for 40 moves, but uh, yeah. they still have some time. They White has a very oh, fine God. idea with uh, King H2 and Rook G2. Very powerful, almost winning. But uh, you can't, you can save it, no? What's the problem? Then White goes H5. H5, that's H5, H5 and Rook G8. So King H2, mm -hmm. let's say, um, what to play here? Because Rook D is... Six check is, is a problem. Let's say you go rook uh, c3 attacking f3. Rook c3 yeah, attacking f3. Probably, rook probably. Rook d2, king f6, h5. Ah, this knight is a problem. Head if you take yeah, it's a... rook g8. No, 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 rook g8. Yeah. And if king e7, rook e8. Rook e8, yes. Oh, no. no, probably she had to keep the rook on uh, c3. So, uh, white can't move the king from, uh, uh -huh. I mean... Two moves back, yeah. Like here, rook c3. Ah, here, king e6, rook d2. Rook c3. Rook c3 was very important. Very difficult to see, isn't it? Mm. Very difficult. This is it is, easy. but uh, yeah, I mean, on the other hand, okay. it's Yeah, but king h2 is quite unexpected. But I don't think yeah. she will find it. It's very hard. Uh, he saw it or not? No, he's, <laughs> I mean, it's not happened on the board. King e7. Ah, okay. Okay, I, I thought she played uh, 
I'm not sure. Ah, Amrita, your confidence is so heartening. Though I don't understand why you're so confident. She won't find it. Oh no, <laughs> she finds it. She plays it. A key, a key tactic here. Come on, she might find. It. Black might find it. My Sorry, white God. might find. It. Oh, yeah. that's so. Ah, uh, because so there is just uh, no. I mean, uh, uh, that's why she played Rook D two, right? Yeah. Otherwise, Correct. nothing else she can do. yeah probably it was uh, it was important to keep uh, the rook on c3 to just uh, keep an eye on this f3 mm. pawn okay this would be very uh, kind of heartbreaking for vaishali i mean yes yes no definitely let's see whether your confidence works or not mm. no she's gone king h2 so then she will play rook g2 no no oh, she has been okay Yeah, she played King H two, so yeah. it's uh -oh. depend on the That's board. That's bad news. It's hmm. bad news. And Hampi uh, also, yeah, Rook G eight, Rook B five, still. Uh, Amrita, is it possible for you to check how much time she took for King H two? Wait, King H two, she played pretty quickly. Four That's minutes. What it looks like. Four minutes. Very good. Impressive, yeah, yeah. Harry. Very impressive point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um yeah that anyway. means uh, she understood i mean she probably was calculating like some uh, rook g2 mm. king f6 h5 g5 h6 kind of a thing mm. so that's why she might have taken some time yeah here also uh -huh. looking at if 40 moves are completed in hikaru's game because uh, queen e5 40th move had to be made yeah he goes rook b5 and for hey, this game is entering the Uh, yeah, interesting circle. Uh, Karwana versus Firozia, both are under four minutes. Oh. And Karwana seems to be better again. Again, yes. they are going such up and down, which is ki kind of unusual, right? On this top level, to have mm -hmm. the advantage going so up and down, Hari. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, the, uh, it is. But uh, second half of the event and uh, the pressure. Hmm. The pressure is really making things. H four was the uh, mistake by Firuza. Slight mistake. Rook e seven check. King g six. And now he goes rook e five. So this is lost or what? Or what about rook h five? Uh. But then he just saves the. Saves the pawn, I guess. Yeah, or how? Bishop f one or no? No, I mean playable. That's not good, but right? Not the best move. Yeah, not the best okay. move. Okay, let's find the best move. <laughs> <laughs> In such a position, if you are forced to bring your rook to h5 to defend your f pawn, that means there is something drastically wrong with your position. Ah, uh, rook d8 is possible, right? Wow! Yes, Hari, that's the best move. What's the point, Hari? Why rook d8? Bishop g2, rook g8. Ah, punch, paisa. So king g7. <laughs> Bishop c4. Bishop c4. Ah. Rook H8 is meant with Rook E7 winning. Rook E7, yeah. Rook F8 is also meant with Rook E7 winning. Yeah. Ah, Rook F8. No, no. Rook F8. I have Rook E7. Ah, uh, King F6. I have. Ah. Okay. How's that? <laughs> At 4 a.m., I think Sarah, you can still calculate. That's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> At the age of fifty-two, if I can ah. calculate, four a.m. or four p.m., I can calculate it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. yes. But uh, even after rook f eight, king e seven, rook f seven, positionally white is doing very well, right? I mean, the rook on h yes. five, yeah. No, just rook ah, g seven. Ah, but the bishop on g two pawn has to be defended. Yeah, rook g seven next. Yeah, uh, sorry, where exactly? Ah, uh, when Harry? Ah, uh, so king g seven, uh, bishop c four. Rook f8, rook e7, king f6, uh, rook takes f8, 
Ah, rook takes f8 loses the advantage. Or rook e6. You can go rook e6 ah, rook first. E6. Rook e6. Rook e6. King g8. Uh, king g7. Uh, rook f8. Or maybe just rook d2. Rook d2 rook maybe. D6. Rook d6. Rook d6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And rook g6. Yeah. Same idea. I just need to protect this g2 pawn and it's enough. Mm, nice. No, these are amazing and tactics here. Yeah. But what happened? He played bishop f1. Karuana went bishop f1. Ah, that's ugly. <laughs> At the same time, it's a typical time pressure, right? Yeah, he has 2 minutes 44 seconds and they are on move number 33rd. So, uh, Ali Reza is down to 1 minute 35 seconds. Wow, this is getting intense. It will be big... Uh... Yeah. yeah. Also, big blunder can happen because in the game, last few moves, a lot of ups and downs. So, maybe it's very hard for them. Rook d6. No, it's uh, it's tough. It's hmm. really tough. Cd6. Rook h7 or what? That rook looks like a bad move to take rook d6. No, no, he's forcing no, the thing. Forced. Yeah. yeah, it's forcing. Wow. Ah, now bishop d3 is very good for white guys. Oh, you come back here. Because... Of course. Yes. I mean, yeah. I'm almost forcing you to play bishop d7, which is always positionally a good news for mm -hmm. white. Correct. I mean, I don't think you can allow white to take bishop and f5. Right, Hari? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What happens to bishop g2, actually? Bishop d3. Bishop d3, bishop, bishop g2. Two. And then d7, d7, d7. Uh, yes. Rook f5. Rook f, no, no. Rook, ah, d7, yeah. D7, yeah. Mm. Good, good. No, Hari, I won't. Take, ah. I thought yeah. I'll take root by Hadi. Also not. winning maybe, yeah. Possible. It's also possible. Bishop also F5 possible. also. Bishop F5 and D7 would be the best. Yeah. Just D7 and rook E8. Mm. He played rook E6 check. He didn't play bishop D3. Oh my god. Mm. Because bishop D3 was pretty, uh, like, in a way natural, right? To attack the F5 pawn. Mm. Maybe he had to calculate bishop g2. Would that be the reason uh, why he would yeah, reject? Yeah, no, clearly. Yeah, yeah. He, he. No, the pressure. problem is uh, time. Oh, time pressure. So, rook e6. Oh, Hikaru blunders or what? What is the advantage? No, guys. Hikaru has 1.2 No, advantage. no. Hikaru didn't run. Hmm. Hikaru has advantage. So, king f7, bishop c4. Still, hmm. white is better, no? With this bishop and a pawn and threats. Yeah. Suddenly, guys, Hikaru is winning. <laughs> Why are you so upset? <laughs> no, no, I'm not upset. I'm like, what's happening? So many two uh -huh, okay. But that actually, game? for us, uh, I mean, if, if from Indian players' perspective, a draw would have been better, no? Uh, if Hikaru, yes, uh, yes, draw. But anyway, what honestly, I'm a, I'm a fan of Hikaru, so I really yes. would like to see him actually. Hmm. But uh, yeah, maybe Nepo is playing against two uh, Prague and Vidit in the next two rounds. Uh -huh. Rook d8 on the board. He goes king e1. Ah, nice. nice. Nice move, actually. Very nice move. Karwan. Yeah, Rook actually, d8. king e1, king f2, and you know, you support g. Yeah, I mean, the g2 pawn and then the bishop is open, yeah? Mm. To do whatever. No, also, Ali Reza has 17 seconds. Oh, yeah, 37 Ooh. move, no? Four moves to make. 17, 10. And no increment. Like, oh, God, again, let's not forget. No increment. Oh, no increment. Oh, God. Oh, no increment. <laughs> oh, no. no it's, very, it's very easy to forget that there is no yeah. increment. You see? Yeah. Ah, this is just winning after. This is winning. Sound up here. No, also, I can go King G1, King H2, whatever I want. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> if you want to one. be too only one more left, Harry. Yeah, Make it happen. One more. But how many seconds does he have? Uh, six seconds. Six seconds, okay. And Karwana okay. 13. Yeah, he just needs to find uh, Bishop, I mean, Bishop D3 or whatever. Yeah, actually, it's not even only move. He has a lot of. Other yeah, options. he can do anything because he even pushed B5, which is terrible. See, that yeah, is no, six, but that is 30. Sorry? 30 is more than 6, but 30 is also only 30. <laughs> 40 moves yeah. over. Finally. Yeah, rookie, rookie 7 check and rookie 5. King G, King F6. Hari, I thought rookie 7 check and bishop B5, Hari. Eh? 
No, no, rookie five because now I take first F five pawn, then I take uh, B five pawn. I take everything. Oh, but bishop E six is there. Ah, okay. Uh, Didn't see that. Take but, B5, yeah. No? Still, ah, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. But this also King. should be winning. Ah, no. No, 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 no. D three, D three, D three, D three. Okay, okay, okay. King then, E three or something. Ah, but then yeah, better to not <coughs> go into this. What yeah. was? The other move which you said? Uh, other move was uh, bishop f5 uh, instead of... No, no, no. Oh, yeah, okay. No, no. Yeah, I, 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 I made some other bishop f5 uh, <laughs> not here, but it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, so, rook d6, uh, is rook d7 winning? That's my question. Yes. Or it's just... A... It's winning. It's winning? Yes. Ah, take bishop h3 and just take the pawn. Very simple. B4, A B4, A B4, Bishop H3. Nice. Why do you want to go Bishop H3? Ah, now no, I'll just go all the way to the B4 pawn, yeah. make it ah, B3. Yeah. Got it. Nice. Actually, I can do whatever I want. Yeah. yeah. So fact no, is clearly not... winning then. No, this he will win. Yeah. Harry, just for my satisfaction, I just yes. want to check. Rook e7, check king f6, bishop into b5. What do you think about this ending? Uh, okay, then <laughs> that's... Uh, Unnecessary, uh, yeah? Maybe? No, uh, rook d6, rook d7, no? Rook d6, rook d7, rook the d7. same thing, right? Ah, okay, but now only the b pawn, that may not be easy to win. Isn't it? Because no, G no, why, why, why not? Just I push b4. Ah, I come to the bishop to the f3 and then push the b pawn. Yeah, yes. yeah that's also winning. Yes, yeah, sure. No, f five is there, so this should be winning as well. Yeah. Ah, you mean to say because of the weakness of f five, mm. this winning? Yeah, yeah. yeah. amazing. Sure, sure. Even with this wow. pawn. Wow, beautiful. I mean, so Fabi clearly winning. Nakamura, anything happening over there? King f one. Uh, is winning. Is an exchange up? He will win. Uh, even the queens got exchanged and there are no connected pass pawns. So Nakamura. Also, this bishop, man. So irritating, this thing. Yes. Mm, so that... <laughs> Why would a bishop irritate you? <laughs> because uh, this is for glad uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of uh, stopping the activity, you know? I mean, knight on g6 can never move. Correct. Uh, suppose Fabi wins, Hikaru wins, yeah. what happens to the standing? In fact, I, yes, I was just going to show that. It's going to be a huge climb to the top, isn't it? Wow. Ah. Man. Oh, it will be four guy, four uh, leaders. Yeah. Oh. Gukesh Nepo on six each. Prag on five and a half. Nakamura will go on five and a half. Uh, Karuana mm -hmm. will go on five and a half. Vidit will stay on five. Firuza will stay on three and a half. And Nijat will uh, stay on three. So, so two people are on six will they will jump to six and three people will jump to five and a half. Yeah. Yes. Five and a half. Yes. With how many rounds to go? Uh, uh, Today's 10. No. So six more. Actually, only five more. No, six more. Six, 16 rounds. Yeah. No, 14. No, no, no. Five, five, five. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Five, five. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, five. 11, yes. And also tomorrow is the rest day, no, guys? Tomorrow is rest day, I believe. Yeah. Now yeah, tomorrow is the rest day, yeah. Because uh, this ah. tournament is so tiring. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Not only for players, I guess for commentators too. Mm, yeah. uh, Hari, you were also the, you were on the leeches, right? Uh, doing commentary. Yes, yes. How was it last yeah. two days? Uh, <laughs> very tiring. <laughs> you were commentating for the full game. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Okay, it's more more or less like uh, today. I, I mean, I came, I joined like maybe like an hour. Uh, yeah, an hour later, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I mean, it's um, mainly because of the timings, you know, mm -hmm. like the time, uh, you know, if 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 you start like normal two thirty or something like this, it's it's okay. Yeah. But when you start like, I I mean, I don't, I can't complain or say anything because okay. I mean, pe uh, people commenting uh, from, uh, you know, Indian time zone, it must be like, okay, I don't know. 
you probably are drinking like uh, tons of uh, caffeine or i don't know what no, how i'm not doing that i'm not doing, doing I, that. that is one thing i told myself that i should not be doing that otherwise it's gone no 21 days yeah. and i'm addicted to yeah. coffee and tea and all that to so, guys so only fruits and uh, yeah is, yeah fruits are good fruits are good and yeah you have to stay hydrated but i mean how do you stay awake uh, that's that's the most you, difficult I, staying awake is staying awake is more important than staying hydrated so. <laughs> <laughs> i am afraid i'm afraid hydrated in you know like you need to stay alive too yeah <laughs> but otherwise what time do you usually sleep normally you are uh, early me uh, i like uh, i have i sleep not too early but let's say around 11 10 30 because uh, i wake up early to you know for school ah maya you have to maya has to <laughs> go to school yeah, yeah. Oh. We, we we wake up early i mean she wakes up so basically it's like i have to wake up early nice and uh, so chat is okay. reminding us there are only four games left not five four rounds left four. the 10th round so 14 rounds like 11 12 today is 10th round ah, yeah, yes. yeah 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 of course only yes, four yes. rounds right huh so that's why you wake up early so then this is a, tomorrow you have to wake up early to drop maya of course i have to today i actually i think i maybe uh yeah around four and a half hours maybe yeah, yeah. but you should know whenever you have to leave you have to just uh, say yeah, yeah, yeah. no no I, i mean i'm just i, I think uh, some of these some of the games will uh, finish uh, pretty soon mm. uh, nakamura abaso will go on for a while i guess uh, <laughs> yeah it will mm. And but i can see that some other games uh, uh, hampi 10 ten, ten hampi must have been over actually uh, yeah no, that's all so it's, uh, it's g last few moves rook c2 one rook got exchanged and b4 over here yeah d5 Uh, what was a what was the problem why you did not take this pawn some king uh, c4 b5 or c4 c4 ha yeah. and then b5 and b5 yeah okay so d5 yeah so you still think there are any like is this a draw or you think there is a possibility for black to try because of the king i think uh, black can try uh a bit to here because mm. uh, simply she has nothing to uh, i mean there's no risk for her and uh, f5 pawn is quite weak i am guessing that rook f8 is maybe the move but okay yeah it's possible yeah because uh, uh, what i don't uh want to allow is king c4 b5 and then uh, your pawn gets to b6 you know then uh, black is in kind of uh, not so not doing well um but uh, yeah i think uh, true true no ampi will yeah this will also i think go on for a long right. time this yeah. game, because ampi will yes, yes. try as you see but why shall yeah. any chances after she went rook c5 and now uh, so the last position not a rook g2 rook g2 she wants to take or what does she want take what the b5 bishop no 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 ah she is defending the actually king f7 maybe i can start with right and now if h5 yeah at least take it g takes h5 no uh, amrita there's no hurry you can go rook g5 first and then play h5. yeah rook g5 then king f6 uh, king f6 huh? that's yeah. your point okay then okay let's go h5 first i yeah. know uh, your yeah. your if you play rook g5 then yes. for black he has a move to defend again uh which is check 
and then rook f i think what do you do no no then king f6 no no then king f6 that's the point ha huh. because king h3 then king f6 when rook moves rook c3 oh yeah yeah correct so behind the spawn so because somehow we got into previous position hmm. with some oh, sure. got it so okay then i just give h5 direct yeah i think this is what uh, you will do rook g5 and yeah now it's kind of problem yeah this rook on c5 is not mm. not doing much king f6 you just go rook g8 yeah yeah no so. this is big so. problem Cut back for Vaishali in that case. Mm. Because also this uh, was like she was holding it. It was going towards uh, draw, and hmm? suddenly things change. That hurts, no? Sometimes. No, clearly. Mm. I'm just curious. Yeah. What was the moon number when she did not play rook c3? That was forty-two or something. No. So it was just yeah. after time pressure. It's not time pressure yeah. as well. Yeah, I, 41st. I 41st. <laughs> no, 41st move is like a very scary move. I think many yeah. people have made mistakes because just yeah. they want to go and go out or some. I mean, go to go walk or some whatever. Also, 40th yeah. move is over. 41st move, you lose a lot of your attention. Yeah, lot attention. of uh, so, carefulness. Hmm. Or or does it more than carefulness? Can it be because you feel relaxed in a way? Okay, time pressure is done. Yes, and yes, yes. Relief of course. Kind of that's what I mean. Hmm. Yeah, that's. So yeah, Vaishali in trouble here. Uh, late Ingji Goriach Kena Goriach Kena is winning. Uh, Anna Muzi Chuk Katerina Lano. The result game has ended draw. in a draw. I think this this should be draw. Yeah, and Humpy's game also going towards a draw. In the what's the point position? Assuming those two games are end in results, what's the Gordon's, point position? Uh, if I have to show, here we have Tan Zongi on six. So she will right now she will go to six and half if it ends in a draw. Late Ingji mm -hmm. Goriachki now on five and half. Goriachki now goes to six. Late Ingji will win. Late Ingji on six and half then, and uh, yeah. Lano five and half. Nurgul five. Hampi four and half, Anna four and Vaishali two and half. So that means uh, both the Chinese grandmasters will jump into lead with uh, six and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I had predicted before the tournament the tournament will be won by one of the Chinese grandmasters. Oh, like G or uh, yeah. And then the match will be between Chinese again. Huh? What? <laughs> if... Okay. Yeah. On will stay in China. And Karwana has, yeah, rookie seven check, 41st move. He had to play this. He finds when he was, of course, yeah. going to play this. No, now it's easy because you will just take uh, one yeah. of these f5 pawns and rook d7. The bishop endgame is very easy. Right? Yeah. And for uh, Hikaru, yes. I think he will win. Uh, Win this, but okay, it will take a while. So Luckily, Sarvanan's prediction <laughs> in this <laughs> was like up and down. <laughs> like, if so we go by Sarvanan's prediction, then maybe Ikaru will face some more trouble. Like, there is possibility. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but Nijat has been very resourceful, actually. He's been fighting some, that, some amazing. When was amazing. that my prediction? Excuse me. <laughs> when did I predict that? You I only was that Naka, you no. that you yeah. Nakamura I sent something. Was it some only bad feeling. I have a bad I have a bad feeling about Nakamura's game. Hmm. Oh, by the way, Venkat Rangan in the chat says, I'm here at the candidates venue with Prag and Vaishali's mom. Truly a super mom and an honor to meet her. Amazing. How how is the how is the overall atmosphere there, Venkat? Let me know. Let us know. Himam Ghosh tells me and Hare Krishna that there is this young Chinese prodigy girl. Lee, uh, Lu Mioi. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is yeah. this? She's strong. She's strong from China. Uh huh. How old is she? Uh, I don't know the exact age, but I saw her playing uh, in some events. She did very good. Was it which uh, which event she played very good? I forgot the name of the event. Oh. Yeah, anyway. She's 14 years old and she is 2438. Okay. Oh. Lu Miaoi. Miaoi. Mm. Lu Miaoi of China. Yeah. Birth year 2010. So 13 or 14 years old. Dated 2438. Wow. Yeah, that's very good. Very good. Roman Grandmaster. Amazing. Mm. By the way, we also have Shiva Reddy who is telling Venkat that he's in the VIP lounge. So <laughs> there are a few people over there. <laughs> it's well, like they're uh, having some yes, kind of, uh, they, you know, let's meet up here. We are, we are in VIP lounge. True. Oh my God. And... Uh, Sorry, people are asking you whether are you going to play the Olympiad this year. Um, okay, I think it's, uh, it's haven't still, I mean, it's not decided yet. Uh, with the team uh, composition and so on. So, I don't know yet. Great chess atmosphere over there. Nilanshu says, going to the hall this Wednesday, hoping to meet Sagar Bhai. Yes, I'm sure you will. Sagar is busy. <laughs> yeah, today I do, like very keen to know where he is. It's the first <laughs> time he's not been able to join at all. You he's mean to busy. say you he's, don't know where he's where he is not picking up your calls and not messaging you. Is that what you are trying to say? <laughs> and you want us to believe you that eh? Sagar Shah not showing Avruta where he is? Yeah, I think he's he's joining immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, in the chat, if you are in the hall, please warn him. Where is he? He has to join. No, you should say, can, can somebody please uh, find my husband and uh, ask him to <laughs> place me back? <laughs> can somebody find my husband? Yeah, with that board. Funny. He may be Sagar Shah, but still he's an Indian husband. Poor fellow. Poor, poor fellow. What, does, what, <laughs> what, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> what is this? Oh the best lives are those which are unspoken. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, look at Sarvanan here. Poor fellow means uh, maybe here we have two poor fellows, no, also on the screen. <laughs> Definitely not Sarvanan. <laughs> 52 years, going strong. That's what he said. Hmm. Okay, uh, guys, I will uh, take uh, leave. It was yes. nice, uh, nice uh, spending time and analyzing games and uh, catching up with both of you. But Absolutely. I have to get some sleep. Yes, please. Please. Okay. And then you so yeah. that you can drop Maya to her school. And uh, also you were calculating yes. so many amazing moves, Ari. Like, and your speed. And it was a lot of fun. I, I didn't need yeah, any time was... to look at the engine <laughs> because of that. It was uh, it was nice for me to... It was like, you know, you have some kind of uh, coach giving some positions. And then you try to improve. Yeah, so it's more like that. So I enjoyed, I enjoyed doing that. Amazing, amazing. Thank cool, you. Cool. Thank you okay. for joining Thank you, and Jay. take care. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Harry. Nice talking to you. Bye. Oof. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> you also must be tired. Yeah. It is 4 33 a.m. Really. Uh, we can have a roundup of uh, yes. everything and. I'll also quit maybe yeah, because there's not ready. much going to be much action for a long time now, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think I think the maximum action at some point was in Humpy's game. Then at some point it was in Nakamura's game. Um, opening maybe we thought something that could happen in Prague. But uh, everything was... Where do we start the roundup from? First of all, the hmm. game between... Uh, Tampi and uh, Tan Chongi, there is not much to analyze, I think. Just a trivial draw must be. Uh, only thing is, uh, Black has to be careful not to allow the B pawn to run, White's B pawn to run, as Harry was telling. Yes. But I don't see any problem with that, honestly. Mm -hmm. 
So um, we have already seen the win in uh, Karwana's game. Maybe we can have a full run up of that once, yeah? Okay. How exactly White is going to win fully? Rookie Sen, Bishop F7 was played last move. Yeah. Let me just stop. So, still thinking. Oh, Bishop F7 gave it. Yes, huh? he didn't go oh, King F6. F6. Hmm. That's a big surprise, Amruta. Any idea why he's doing that? No, and uh, Fakarwan also picked up B5 pawn very quickly now. So, hmm. Bishop C4 is the threat, no? Anyway, oops. Blunder, yeah, Bishop yeah, F7. Completely, like Bishop F7 will cannot give you anything. Just a win, no. because after Bishop B5, Black cannot go Rook D6 because Bishop C4 is a simple win in a King and Pawn ending, which is just lost. So after Bishop B5, Black has to go King F6 anyway. Yeah. Now I just win with Bishop D7, Amruta. I'm just threatening B4, B5, B6, B7, B8, B9. <laughs> oh, it's. Again, so this is a simple loss. Hmm. just a simple loss for long. Yeah. I mean, let's say, for example, for BD7, if you go rook B8, I have bishop and f after all. Picking up nice. more pawns okay. than necessary. King D6 and this D6. should be a trivial win. Just go rook, uh, seven, rook A7 or, or A7. Doesn't do H7 is better because then you get connected passes. Huh? Check. Ah. I mean, I'll win one anyway, so. But check. King, King yeah. G4. No, 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 no. Uh, no, then, no, then G3, G3 may be unnecessary. Uh, for, for Rook B to check, go King G1 ruthlessly. Oh, this from here. Ah, this is better. Hmm. So, Rook A2, Rook H4, this should be a win. Okay. Two pawns. Two passes should win in the long run. So, this should be a win as well for Karwana. Clearly, with Some of play after the time control got over has been subpar, isn't it? For Ali Reza, yeah. But uh, Bishop, yeah. D, what could he have done? That is also a problem because F5 was attacked. Bishop D5, Rook E7. Anyway, this was losing. He, he just landed yeah, in a lost uh, position by the end of 40th move. Exactly. I have a feeling, you know, this yesterday's incident of the shoe gate, mm -hmm. I think, had it all on uh, Ali Reza. I have a feeling. Yeah, and maybe today also we don't know exactly what the situation was inside the hall. But if he gets to know something's happening there, uh, though his game, he he was playing fine. They had lots of ups and downs. Uh, but, mm. but you know, Sarvanand, ki also the tension in the last 10 moves of the time pressure, it's very different without increment, even if you reach the 41st move. Mm. <laughs> it's a big shift from... I don't know what the heart rate would be. That could be an interesting addition <laughs> for such a time control. That's what this time control is yeah. really yeah. unorthodox to say the least. Yes. So, so going this to... game is a win. Hmm. So Nakamura versus Abaso. Obviously, Hikaru is an exchange up. So he just can go to A5 now, Rook A5 and pick up the B5 pawn, I believe, right? Sorry, A3 pawn, I believe, right? Uh, yes. And I don't know if there is any counterplay with H3, which computer says is the best way. But maybe not. See, rook A5, H, H3. <coughs> Let's say GH3, bishop H3. King E1. King E1. So where's your counterplay here? What, what? Where is your counter play here? After no, H3, are you G going to take on A3 or what? Now, late next move. Of course. A3. Of course. Of course. Whatever is lying around free will be taken. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's your say you go Bishop D7. Let's go, you get Bishop D7 here. The point being. Um, Rook A3 anyway, no? 
for rook a3 you go i mean white can go bishop black can go bishop g5 and there may be some counterplay with two pawns in the long run hmm. now i can be sadistic and not allow that also <laughs> let's say i go rook e5 first my point is i am going to drive the bishop pawn e3 away no no rook d5 first rook d5 first i have a point there the point is uh, where will you go uh, which way 6 maybe oh bishop bishop where oh, c3 i thought this is so bishop e6 if you go now rook e5 now wherever you go this is my point let's say if you go bishop b6 or wherever hmm? bishop g6 check followed by knight f4 check and wins the game oh this is what i want to drive you away from d7 so bishop g6 king g6, g6. Uh, knight f4 check is just winning yeah this is so cool i can do whatever i can take knight b6 yeah. and win the game. Yeah. whatever so uh Uh, okay assuming you won't go for this let's say um, after g h3 bishop h3 king e1 uh, if you don't go to d7 where else will you go can you go to g4 there instead of bishop d7 yeah g4 so i think this is the best position possible for black for the sake of counterplay mm. so anyway rook e5 bishop b6 now knight f I think this Amrutha will definitely win somewhere. Yeah. White should be able to somewhere. You I mean, I just have to the hmm. rook to the sixth rank to attack G six pawn. I mean, G six knight and win the pawn. Knight f four, right? Yeah, yeah, looks very able. good. This looks like another yeah. idea. I mean, it's not just the e three pawn, but also the king and the knight bishop. Great ideas there. So rook a five, yeah. and uh, he also has a lot of time. Twenty two minutes for Hikaru Nijat on seventeen minutes. Also, this position now Nehikaru is not going to let go. So, predicting win over here. Gukesh drew with it. Drew. So done. Yeah, we. Uh, what else? Vaishali. Yeah. Vaishali. We saw just this has happened on the board now. King H three. So. Take a completeness. Over. We can look at it. Uh, uh, hmm. Guryash can have the end game against uh, leading G. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> white. Black Mister chances. It's no more a clear win. B six. How about that? How? How? How where? About... Where have the chances been missed? G three. Oh, what are Let's you saying? It's not a win anymore. How about that? No, but this is hanging. One second. Oh, what's happening? Ah, you're creating a passer with G three H four, and you're creating counterplay there. Wow, this is going to be insane if you go H four, Bishop A four. Still black has yeah. chances, but of course, from what she was just clearly winning since such a long time, this has happened on the board. This gives amazing chance to Gauri Achkina. See, uh, go to the hmm. let's say forty second move E four. Ah, forty. Yeah, forty second. White played e4, yeah, Gurjeshkina. Yeah. This I think was her final gamble. E4, d4, f4. Now what did uh, d5? She played bishop c8, which is very puzzling. Just bishop d4 just wins the game. No, oh, maybe the point is like d takes e5. Yeah. If See bishop e four, d five. Now the ruthless f five wins. I think this is what I have a suspicion. Uh, leading g missed. No, but even if she missed this, okay, she could have still gone f e five. Allowed, acha. No, that that is what Amruta. If okay. you take f e five, uh, let's say knight d seven. Knight d seven. Oh, but here also. See, here. If she finds the airport, which she didn't find. Yeah, exactly. Have you already seen the move for black? Have you yeah. seen the move? It's a very cute move. Chat. Let's try your fitness levels at five in the morning. Black to play. If chat is what awake. Is, 
Let's see. Chat is away. Chat is away. Tanai Bhagwat got it. Darshan says, Sarvanan sir has a very impactful voice. His voice is just too convincing. Too awesome. So Darshan, uh, if, if Sarvanan says to you, Darshan, you have to every day practice for uh, six hours, for example, eight hours, then uh, that will have an impact. <laughs> Oh my God, chat, I thought they're they gone. I really did not expect more than one or two answers. But Tanay, Dethroner, Riday, Smith, Kavita, Rupanjan, Rupanjana, nice. Heath, uh, Rohan. Kya baat hai, yaar? B5, amazing. Also, move was not super easy, like checkmate. And... So B5, let's go A, B5, A4. Knight C5. C5 is the only move. You cannot go knight E5. Yeah. A3. Good move. Knight in D4 is not bothered, of course. So now, what will you do? B6, A2, Knight B3. Bishop D5, Knight A1. What a picture, yeah? Now black can just aram say go with the king and grab the B6 pawn and win the game at his own leisure. Wow, this, I so, don't think it was very this, easy yeah, to calculate. This is not easy, but Amrita, 43rd move over. I mean, 40th mm. move over. You have half an hour on your clock. Mm. Forget the fact that there's a candidate. These are grandmasters. Yeah, they are, yeah, they are supposed to. Be. Yeah, but again, 9th, 10th round of a long tournament. Four more rounds mm. to go. Russia, yeah. Yes. So, Bishop C8 was an extremely funny move. D5. King G7. What happened in the game? 96. I suppose, yeah? 96. King F7. But this is still winning for black. King F2. B6. I think the B6. bar is not even but understanding this position well. G3. Bishop D7. Because all the I moves are I'm best. Be... Yeah, engine moves. I think black is still winning. H4 was played. And oh. GH4. <laughs> GH4 is a mistake. This one definitely ah. is a mistake. Takes. So why GH4 is a mistake? Let's try to understand. GH4, GH4, Bishop A4. She goes H5. H5. Oh, this becomes difficult to stop this pawn because there are two passes running. H pawn and D pawn. But still, yeah. let's try to understand this. So if you go B5 here, for example, you want to go H6, yeah? Oh, you are winning. What? Have to be careful. No, no, no. That that's a blunder. Uh, the only move to draw here is Bishop ah, D six. Yeah, because now D six, uh, not even Bishop D seven. No, what Bishop is the player here at this point? Bishop D seven, not no, no, B five. No, no, I, I know, I know, but here you got the move, yeah. Ah, sure, sure, sure. You wanna go B five, at six, King G eight, King G six seven. So that's, that's a cute win for White. <laughs> Black and just go. Chat wants to have a try. Chat, I doubt. Why to play chat? If you find this move, then you will win. If you don't, then you won't. So, mm. Knight, yes, Venkatesh Das. Well done. Knight C5 is the move, actually. Uh, you can't move this, push this pawn. And if you take this here, then d6 and you winning. Okay. You know, one fact about uh, knight endings, bishop endings, and knight against bishop endings, Amruta. King and pawn endings, you can study all the basics in terms of principles. Yes. What I mean is, you know, creating past pawns, triangulation, and relative squares, and uh, shouldering, and all that. Hmm. Rook and pawn endings, you can study by way of understanding. You master the Lucena, you will master the Philidor, and you master the, the other one, Lucena, Philidor, and uh, Vanchura. You master them. Then you can make out most of the Rook and pawn endings. But in Bishop endings, Knight endings, and Bishop versus Knight endings, there are no standard positions to master. So, if you go through Grandmaster games, the maximum mistakes will be done in Bishop and Knight endings. Oh, 
this is something i realized only after i became a trainer Be- before i started training people i did not know this i was not aware of this What because there are no standard positions to master which you can which you can remember queen and pointing is another story how much ever you study still you will never master them because it's impossible to remember those <laughs> oh so, wonderful actually very interesting yeah never thought about this yeah i i didn't know this before i became a trainer yeah mm. wow because even girlfriend the girlfriends that which was that book uh, major peace and game no girlfriends third major peace was, and was game, about right. major peace not knight and bishop hmm maybe one book which i'm struggling to read i find it very heavy which major peace then major peace is ending ah. by gelfand in the last 2 uh, or 3 years there have been wonderful books on endings uh, agard's uh, volume uh, it's a very thick of, one no very thick 800 yeah. 700 yeah, 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 yeah. recently yeah. i come across i not yet uh, got those books um rook endings by uh, sam shankland and conceptual endings by agar two books and uh, end game labyrinths i think is a puzzle book i have not seen those books suddenly there is a very good uh, array of end games which is <laughs> honestly which is very happy thing maybe see. because uh, whether even if there is freestyle or chess 960 or whatever end games stay end games <laughs> the principles yeah, yeah. are not going to be so uh, i mean yeah calculation and end games are two subjects which are very important for anyone to reach 2200 2300 opening preparation comes only after that in my opinion yeah that's true who mm-hmm. himang says but the true devil is in queen endings no standard rules whatsoever yeah you have that's what i told people. you that's what i told you there are standard endings but even if you study them you will not remember them because it's too complicated i mean try a hmm. queen and bishop pawn against queen you you will know what i'm talking about <laughs> extremely difficult absolutely so this one now current position bishop is on b5 and white is getting play with h6 right so this one still uh, any mistake or blunder the scope of that is po- there like in humpy i would say that it's very much uh, easier to pl- go towards a draw but in this one there is scope of mistakes actually even here also i don't think the path to i mean the engine says it's probably slightly better for black only but the path to equality for white is not easy i think see here you have to go knight d8 check not h6 okay yeah. knight d8 so oh, knight d8 check uh, king g7 or no no knight d8 check may not be great okay let me go king e3 not knight d8 check okay let me just play slowly it's also f4 no which king, uh, one second bishop on b5 is this the position yeah bishop on b5 this, this position this position yeah i am looking at that now uh, let me go king e3 king e3 let me go hmm. now e4 you mentioned kya yeah? i am assuming that king g8 is not good because of knight c7 it's fine knight c7 yeah a4 point of knight c7 right. is bishop If I go back D seven. Jump D seven. Now I just go King D two. The point I'm trying to make is that uh, if Black catches the H pawn, meanwhile I'll make the Black pawns to get pushed. At the same time, I go with the Knight to B six and push D six D seven. This is White's plan here. Mm, yeah. Okay. So King D two is a kind of a nice move to stop the A pawn from queening. You got me. Yes. So now for uh, King D two, let us say if you play a move like A four. King D two. Um, One second. Bishop B five. King D two. A four. A four. Let's say King C three now. Now actually, Black has to be very careful to draw the game. <laughs> you have to play something like F five here and dissolve all this. E F five. Bishop F five. Let's say Black goes. Uh, Knight, sorry, white goes ninety eight. B five. Now knight B six. Ooh, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Ah, E four. Sorry, E four. E four. So then, okay, maybe I have to go back. Knight C seven. Attack. Knight B five. Yeah, knight C seven again. So knight C seven. 
Now, knight c7. Now, if e4 means knight into b5, and it should be a draw. Mm. Yeah. So, there is a path for equality for white, but all this, of course, uh, she has to find them on the board. We have the engine to help us. <laughs> so, it's a draw, but white has to be a little careful. But knowing Goryashkina's uh, proficiency in endgame, I have been watching Garyashkina for the last decade or so. She's one of my favorite players. Her endgame understanding is tremendous. In the current uh, uh, women grandmasters, uh, I think she is one of the best endgame players after Hui Fan. Hui Fan is head and shoulders above everyone. Uh, Garyashkina is one of the best in my opinion. Yeah. So I have a feeling she will draw this ultimate. Yeah, because I think Goryachkina, it was like, you know, how everyone's looking at these young talents. Like that Goryachkina, since last two, three years, it felt that she would be sometimes challenging the world champion. But uh, it's been not that easy for her to win. Because she's really strong, right? Yeah, in my opinion, uh, she should have gone, I mean, in my expectations, what I have observed her, she should have gone much higher than what she is today. Mm -hmm. I think two reasons. One is the pandemic. Her prime years, it intercepted her. And second is, I think, the the war, you know. So ah, yes, somewhere that's affected everyone yes, in Russia. Yes. I think these are the two reasons. I may be wrong, but I don't know. This is yeah, what I no, can... No, you make a point here, for sure. So, uh, yeah. So, Korea, so, this should end in a draw. And Humpy's game we should end in a draw. So, Vaishali is losing. So, I think we covered everything, no? And now, yeah. Lano is a draw. Yes. So shall we take yes, leave? Please, you with have to account? sleep. It's five a.m. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. You should not be staying up so late. <laughs> and thank you so much. So see you tomorrow as well, probably. Thank you, thank you, Sarah. Take care, and uh, guys, great stories. Also, great stories of Hari. So we really enjoyed because Hari was here. You had the stories also. So maza hai. Thanks. Thanks, Amrita. Nice. Take care. Nice. See you. See you. Yes. Nice meeting all of you guys. Thank you. Bye. Guys, that was Sarvanan staying up until 5. Oh, I just, you know, I feel so bad that he had to stay up till 5 o'clock. <laughs> amazing. Amazing love for chess. That's that's something you can see when he speaks, when he shares his stories and anecdotes and when he analyzes. That's all you can feel. Okay, my mind's not working. Let me just get this zoom out. Maybe I keep standings here so that we know. Uh, so that all the men's, no, all games. Actually, four games are going on at 5 a.m., Usually, um, that's not the case. So, it's one of the rare situation. Where is Sagar Bhai? I really don't know where he is. Uh, I know that you all want to, you know, get a glimpse of him. He will. Jo he normally joins once at the end. I think he will join once at the end. But maybe later. Yeah, he can, he can do some work over there. <laughs> also, may he might have got some interview. Let's see whose interview he might have got today. Vidit Pragnananda, maybe Prag's interview, maybe possible. Nakamura is playing Gukesh Nepo. I doubt, I doubt, would any he would have got any interview. Hampi is playing, Vaishali is playing, so not yet. And Ali, so actually, I'm not sure. Maybe he's editing something. Is there anything on the channel has been put up? Oh, yes. Oh, the moment where... No, this is different. Yeah, this is... Four hours ago, the he's put a video, which is the moment when Nijat Abbasov told the chief arbiter about the noise from Ali Reza's shoes. Ooh, that, that says a lot. Actually, this is an important information, which we didn't have. And before that, he had put two rare interviews. Do you want to see it, guys? Just a look. Maybe let me see if I can show that to you. What I am seeing, if you can also see. Yes, over here. So...
Yes, maybe now I can show you. Oops, why is there a new overlay? Okay, let's have this. So yeah, here we go. Here, you can see the moment. This has been the, one of the videos he has put. Maybe he got an, yeah, he got the interview of the chief arbiter. Then he's put this two rare interviews. Wow. If he's got the interview of Guria Chikina or Lert, then also it's amazing. Vaishali takes on the leader Tan Zongi that was six hours ago. Then another day, another pizza. Sagar, how many pizzas are you going to eat without me? That's one thing we really love to do, eating pizza together. Who offered the drawer? Oh, I did not know that. Gukesh versus Prag. Guys, did you see that? Who offered the draw? Interview of Vidit inside a minivan after he beat Hikaru Nakamura. Nice. And then with it stuns Hikaru Nakamura again. Wow, that's the life story of I am Danny Range. So these are the videos. I don't know how many of you are able to, you know, get a glimpse of it. But how with it Gujarati beat Hikaru Nakamura. Then Sagar Sthepla and changing homes in Toronto. Then we have People's Champion Hikaru Nakamura and Pragnananda's new idea in Sicilian Time now. So Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the board. And one result is done. Karuana's, uh, Karuana beats Firuza. Firuza goes king f6. Rook c7 takes. These were the final moves. Bishop c6, bishop b3. And he goes king g1. And resigns over here. The king is coming here to h3 gonna win the pawn if this bishop tries to move if this pawn then starts rolling so yeah we've analyzed this very well nakamura versus nijat anything oh completely oh it's over the result just got updated hikaru nakamura beats nijat abasao so another loss for nijat actually he was today he did get some chances and i'm sure it was quite it would be quite sad for him, but Nakamura after yesterday loss with Vidit, amazing that today he again fought back with the white pieces. So two decisive games and two draws which were, you know, Gukesh, Prag and Vidit and Nepo. Solid result for us. Nobody lost. So that's good in when especially Vidit versus Prag, that mixed feeling. It's a good thing. Yeah, a draw is a good result. What about our poll? What was the result in our poll? How many people had predicted that it will end in a draw? We got around 18,000 votes. And, ah no, that was a guki one. Yes, a solid draw with Nepo was 42%. So maximum guys predicted chat. Well done. Your predictions are right there. Uh, going to the next one. One second. Which game is going on? Yeah, now Koneru Hampi's game is going on. Anything there with Rook end game? No, everything is still as it was in terms of the bar and the advantage. But Hampi really... Oh, no. She, did she get anything? No. Hampi really tried hard today with Tanzongi. And she made it slightly tough. In fact, right now she is a pawn up. That's the rook pawn. Mm, king c3. Can she go king c5 here? Attack this guy. Because if you... Yes, you can defend this. But then this pawn will be pushed. Will there be any practical chances being a pawn up? Also, Vaishali's game is... Oh, what? Wow! Vaishali is back! Oh, Abhishek, Smith, Mohammed, Balaji. So many people were saying Vaishali is back. 
अरे अरमू इफ नाइट बिशप इज सेक्रीफाइज फॉर पॉन इज इट ड्रॉ इन हिकारू गेम सो सॉरी आई मिस्ट यूर सुपर चैट वाइल यू नो यू मस्ट वास्ट मी एट अ मोमेंट वेर इट वॉज हैपनिंग सो but this is such a great thing where did we never expected that something can go wrong there just two moves before in fact let us start from here she got the she got the rook g5 king e7 she took here the knight went to c6 rook check king d8 king moves everything looked fine king also came ahead knight went back vaishali did not really have much to do Rook c3 is like a desperate attempt there. King e5, rook f3. So king e5 was taken. Rook f3, finding counterplay, betting on your uh, f4 pawn. Rook went back to h1. Knight b7. King f6. Perfectly fine. Things are going perfectly fine for white. He is going to push this e pawn now. So rook e3. Also saying that I am going to push the f pawn. E5. what i was telling you natural idea is to push e5 so if this natural move is a mistake firstly why is it a mistake is f3 happening uh, but f3 no e6 e7 is coming you do oh, no you can't do that so next what is the idea idea is to play e6 so you need to stop e6 so what are the moves knight d8 and knight c5 to stop e6 because if you go knight d8 the problem is rook c1 check so knight d8 would be a blunder rook c8 check king goes to b8 and then rook c8 and if you try to go f3 if you try to go f3 rook d8 f2 you are not in time because wow rook h you don't care yeah ah you don't care sorry of course you don't care the bishop on b5 it's covered just move the rook and queen man come on so go back so the point is vaishali went knight c5 now stop t6 stop rook c1 check but the question is what if rook h8 with the idea of queen again oh the difference is do you realize the difference that because the king is on f6 this is coming with a check which otherwise was not happening you know rook h7 and the knight would be lost but knight d7 comes with a check and bishop d7 king d7 oh my god and now this rook and game e6 is controlled woo unbelievable so rook h8 what has been played rook h7 she played that's the reason she defends this um but there is no threat yeah there is no threat so you've defended so vaishali goes f3 because that's her counter play now once again vaishali is back and uh, she will defend because if d8 check king d8 you're completely fine if you want to play e6 f2 e6 uh rook e1 or what rook f3 check yeah this is the simplest amazing vaishali is back really back humpy any chances because it can completely turn you know turn in a way where humpy gets a winning position vaishali also draws but uh, i think tan being the sole leader it's not going to be possible she is defending very well so what had a uh, if knight or bishop is sacrificed for pawn is it a draw in hikaru game um let me check your question if knight or bishop or sorry, maybe i don't know where you had asked but ah you must have asked for this one if knight or bishop sacrifice for a pawn then is it a draw that is a good question actually but you don't have a chance to do that that's the problem you can't do that 
and let's say even if you do that that should be counterplay it will depend because it's a very sharp end game it's not a theoretical yes it is a draw or something where you have pawns on one side only it's a very sharp end game so there is no rule over here as such but the best thing what white will do is not to let it happen anyway uh okay going back to vaishali's game because f3 we just are hoping that we don't want to see any more blunders here f2 king f7 played idea is of course king e8 and queen still a threat how does black stop this idea king e8 and d8 queen so if the when the king is on e8 if you get a check you stop it so rook h3 or rook g3 might be the moves that you can play only is no don't play rook f3 where you might think you are winning but after king e8 this is big trouble there is no rook d3 and even if you go knight b7 doesn't matter because the rook is like disco ke liye kab se ruka hu main i'm waiting for the disco since such a long time oh by oh i am not thinking fully everything i am taking the help with the engineer because otherwise i would go crazy at 5 11 am definitely go crazy rook h3 played good move found by vaishali so she that one threat is saved i think this should be okay now can you update the standings no chess result standings will get updated later not yet i can definitely because the game is just getting over but we'll see the leaderboard maybe men's leaderboard i can show you in a while himang says it would be epic if hampi can somehow churn out a win yes himang himang but when when are you sleeping <laughs> Himang does some amazing social media posts. Oh no! Why is this a blunder? Oh God! Why? Why? King f seven, rook h three. Is it more sharp than we thought? Because here she had to go rook h seven check. Rook h seven check with the idea of king e eight check. Just keep giving checks, and if king g six, ah, then this is lost. And if king f six, still a check, you know. Oh no! Still, it is a blunder. Yes, can you see this? Why is this a blunder? It's not happened on the board. Vaishali has missed some tactic. We'll go there. Just a quick question to see if you all are more awake than me. No, totally, Thomas. I I have the same feeling. Standings in the open sections over there. After round ten, it's not been updated. But check with the queen. No, not check with the queen. Knight e four check and rook is lost. So she goes knight b seven and now d eight queen check. I thought, oh my god, the game is full of blunders because guys, the problem is we did not realize that if we are tired, these players have been calculating insanely. They are tired and they are down to one minute. So let's not predict what's going to happen in this game until it's over. So d eight queen, the move which White had to play was. Okay, come on, rook to e eight. Though not threatening this, but threatening rook c eight check. That was the move. And if knight d eight would have been played, then takes takes the pawn comes to e seven. That's why it was a big blunder. She went d eight queen directly. Uh, king who goes to d eight. Vaishali loses the piece over there. Rook d seven. Oh, she doesn't because if rook takes b seven, this is what she missed. Rook h seven. Whoa! So rook d seven check. King went to c eight, and now rook goes to d one. So another blunder by Nurgul. So after Vaishali blundered, Nurgul has blundered, and this is what she has missed that you cannot take this knight. So Vaishali just gets the important pawn, the most important pawn of the position. Rook d seven check. King c eight. What else? Because if you would go e seven, the problem is then. <coughs> 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 
F1 check. No, not king d7, queen check. Check. And then if he goes here, if he goes king jet, then you can take here. Okay. So Vaishali back. Rook f3 check. In fact, she's won the pawn. In fact, she's a pawn up. It would be completely shocking if Vaishali manages to beat Nurgul. But rook f3 check, that's very difficult because there is a pawn on e6. Qu quite strong pawn. Humpy draw. Okay, Humpy's game has ended in a draw. So where we were looking at any possibility of... Okay, this was a theoretical draw. Uh, late Ingji Goryachkina playing and Goryachkina losing again. So late Ingji did manage to make it difficult for her. And Vaishali. Ooh, Vaishali. Prag, would he be watching Vaishali's game right now? What do you think? Or would he be preparing? Such a big uh, question, no? Kya kare? Kare to kya kare? Oh yeah, Sai says tomorrow is a rest day. So he will definitely be watching this game. So true. By the way, does anyone know what happened with Harshit today? Harshit's round. Did anyone check what was his result? Sagar might be eating pizza. <laughs> Call him. <laughs> King f6 on the board. Okay, let's understand. Firstly, what's happening now? Because I want to go rookie one. But anyway, I'm not threatening anything. Because it is uh, defended. No, I'm threatening to take the rook. So rookie one. How do you stop rook d1? Because if you move the rook, then f1 queen, it's over. Ooh, so what is the move? White to player. Hey, kisi mein dumb to calculate. <laughs> White to player. Shub says just join, but I remember Vaishali had a terrible position. I, I, it was a little long back, yes. Wow, V dot, maybe victory, is saying E7 is the move. Absolutely well done, because if you take here, then there is queen. Uh, so, nice. So, what happened in the game was rook f3 check, king goes to g5, rook e3, king f6, are they going to repeat? Let's see if she gives a check again. Maybe they will. Because even if she, even if she's pawn up, there is a clear cut composition, and this is you can't really get much out of this. So, oh, that was scary. But it would be really good that Vaishali draws this game for her uh, state of mind. It will really help her. Also, before her rest day tomorrow should also help her. So, yeah. Rook F3. Rook D8 check. Rook take rook. Rook D8 check. Where is So Vaishali is repeated. So if her opponent goes King G5. Okay. Where else can he go? If she goes King G7. And tries to over push. Maybe, maybe knight c5 because there's no threat that your pawn can be pushed. Oh, she went king e7. Is Vaishali gonna play knight c5 over here? Good thing is this is defended. 
if not knight c5 what else can she play king c7 another move so i like i like knight c5 and now if the king goes to uh, oh that's happened on the board by the way that has happened on the board and if you play king d6 it's a blunder it would be a big blunder the reason is well first of all let's just say that these guys are playing with 30 seconds increment and they're playing a sharp end game so whatever it is it's not possible to make the most perfect moves so we may be seeing more blunders unless they are repeat repeating harshit was black it was draw says earthling Are nice that was good so he might be still uh, maintaining his lead or being on the top Ah, late G wins. Yes, the result is done. Anani, your big thing actually beating Goryajkina is never easy. You know there are some players who somehow don't lose easily. Like we see, Nepo is one of the players over here. He's also in lead. That's another thing. But Karuana also generally doesn't lose easily. So, Goryachkina is that player who doesn't lose uh, easily. Rook e3 has been played. Oh no, king d6 has been played. What? And Vaishali finds rook e3. Now Vaishali is winning. I was just going to, you know, I just played this move king d6 because it's the most natural move. Yeah, you've got it gone here. Now you want to push the pawn. So, king d6. But seems that it's a mistake. And... Why? Rookie 3 I, was the only move, but again, with so many possibilities, I didn't find it like the only move. Why, but why is it the only move? Don't do that again to me. <laughs> you have not come for After 5 hours, suddenly you come like a ghost. How am I going to understand? That's that's how I am in your life, you know. Like I come at the moment when you expect it the least. Yes, and that is. Is Vaishali winning? It's crazy right now. You come at the right time because we are looking at rookie three. I don't even know e seven has happened happened on the board. E seven didn't happen, but for e seven, kya khelte the? That's another question. Bishop d seven has happened. She takes knight d seven, and it's completely over. That's what the engine is saying. ED, King D. Once again, it's very confusing. Vaishali is black or white? Black, black. And pawns, 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 Correct, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. So actually today turns out to be perhaps the only day when no Indian has lost. Oh, or maybe Vaishali maybe there was one more day. Okay, she will not lose this now. She will yeah, win. there was one more day. First day where everybody drew. Yeah, but today like Vaishali will win. Okay, great. This is amazing result for Vaishali. I mean, you know, at some point I thought Vaishali is losing, losing, losing. She will finish last because if she loses this game also. But what a fighter, yeah? Amazing, really. Because there Can you tell me nice where, the, where did everything turn it. around? Yes, but let's wait at the live board because... Um, yeah. yeah. And Amruta, do you know late Inge also won? Yes. She is now the leader along with Tan Zhongi. Yes. Two Chinese players at the top. China is dominating women's chess like anything. They're the women's world champion. These two Chinese women are playing. It's crazy. And uh, tell me something. Rook F1 has been played. Vaishali goes Rook E2. Next move, she's going to go Rook D2 check. Uh, but she can't still take the win the pawn with the king. Yeah, Like uh, Rook E2 ko kya khelenge? Actually, what's the move? King C6, samjo. What will you play for King C6? Still Rook not B2. easy, huh? Yeah, look, it's a blunder. Because it gives that one opportunity to white. I think it's still very sharp. Because you're Rook H1 with mm. the idea of Rook H8. Oh, okay, no, okay, no, no, okay. this is wait, very wait, wait, sharp. Wait, wait. Let's, let's give a check then. 
you have uh, wait rook e2 as no king c6 king c6 rook e6 check not c2 check yeah rook e6 I just put the rook on f6 then good one. then it's rook over behind the pawn oh yep. as you keep yeah. saying that if king c6 on the board so if vaishali yeah. has to play rook e6 otherwise it's very easy draw. It's easy, I'm not talking about. It's easy, but Sagar, but seventeen six, seconds six. things have not been easy because many of the things have been missed in this game. Wait, yeah. ten seconds. We'll see if she goes rook e six, rook f six. Go, 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 go. Natural is rook p two, rook c two, Sagar. That's natural. Not really. Not ah, really. she goes rook e six. Okay, we don't have to worry anymore. Rook e six on the board. Yeah. So rook f six will be playing. Of course, very unfortunate for Nurgil, but um, yeah, what to do? Uh, what were you saying? Which shirt are you wearing? That red color. I got I got a gift from one of the fans yesterday, ah, and I wore exactly. it. Exactly, I thought because you never carried a red T-shirt. No? Because because the thing is, the the viewer like the fan here uh, follows Chessbiz India, and he heard you saying Sagar doesn't have doesn't buy T-shirts ever. He is always uh, getting this as a uh, gift. And uh, he brought a T-shirt. So but you that's know, that's Amruta... the reason he should not have brought the shirt, no, because <laughs> you keep getting yeah. T-shirts as gift. <laughs> no, it's crazy. Yeah, like Very the nice thing shirt. is, here, here, I am getting T-shirt, food. Like today, someone brought like entire dinner for me, and uh, it's crazy. Yeah, like how people have been. Anything and everything except that they give to any wife. <laughs> <laughs> It, 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 that thing I don't need, Amrita. I'm happy with you for the time being. For the time being, because you are away in Canada. Smart guy, Robert. Smart guy. Yeah. If I if I get if I get uh, a good one, then maybe yes. But I think right now I don't have the time, so I will make do with food and t-shirts. The wife, we will see later. We'll see later. Okay, <laughs> very realistic conversation. But Amrutha, today, today Indian players' game in open was quite drawish and dull. But the American players really today came forward. Yeah, like Faruana and Kamura. Was very interesting. Ali Reza and uh, Karuana was very interesting. In fact, towards the end, we saw today again near closer to forty moves how things could just uh, collapse. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And actually, Amrita, Ali Reza, Firuja, uh, now does not have any chances. Also, there was a lot of uh, sort of uh, controversy related yes, to him at the, the chat, venue. Yes, because in the chat, a lot was happening. Something related with what? Vaishali. Amrita, Vaishali is here. I want to do a short interview okay. with her. Okay. Wonderful. Oh wow! That means, guys, that means she. Arey result to bata ki jaate the. चल कोई नहीं ओके सो वेल व्हाट वाज द चैट सेइंग सागर भाई एनी अपडेट्स ऑन द अली रेजा सिचुएशन अरे ही वाज अबाउट टू गिव दैट बट आई थिंक ही वेंट अगेन सो लेट्स सी विल वेट फॉर हिम आफ्टर द इंटरव्यू ही माइट जॉइन Ah, Venkat, was it you who gave the T-shirt? Rakhi is saying good morning. Absolutely. If this is how the game ends, then this is a good morning for us because you know after today has been all draws for Indians and Vaishali was losing, but then ah one okay cool she is winning she is winning that is good to know more relaxing. Because you can't see more blunders, don't have the energy to see more blunders. Here, so Vaishali fighting back from that position where we, where we just discarded that कुछ भी हो सकता है. Just in, uh, you know, Sarvanand roundup, Hari roundup, सोचा ही नहीं था कि ये हो सकता. Like draw is something ऐसे max to max. But ये वो रहता है ना. You give an exam and then you are expecting you will get maybe. Uh, Kitna uh, percent? How much you are? Fifty percent, sixty percent, and then you suddenly get eighty percent. Wow! No, maybe you suddenly you get ninety percent. That should be the analogy. I don't know. Has it happened with you guys? That you were thinking that you will get 
वेरी लेस मार्क्स एंड सडनली यू गेट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मार्क्स ये हमेशा उल्टा ही ओ इट वॉज यू हु गिफ्टेड इन द शर्ट ओके वेरी स्वीट थैंक यू बट दैट गाइज दैट्स द होल पॉइंट नाउ डोंट गिफ्ट हिम शर्ट अदरवाइज सूट के से ले नहीं है लेके आ नहीं पाएगा वो प्लान सिंपल जस्ट टेक योर किंग योर नथिंग नथिंग एलिगेंट टू डू रियली नथिंग एलिगेंट टू डू येस इट इज ट्रू दैट इवन नाउ देर आर आई डोंट नो हाउ मोर देन थाउजेंड पीपल बिकॉज इट फर्स्टली इट्स फाइव थर्टी एम सो मेनी ऑफ दैम हैव बीन वॉचिंग इट सिंस नाइट अनादर थिंग इज दैट the games were not the most interesting in for you know like prague's game ended in a draw and all hampi's game was interesting vaishali's game was interesting but thanks for staying back king b6 there by the way do check out anish giri's grandmaster's guide to openings as he call for as he calls it for the noobs your call to sagar sir was hilarious scolding him to sleep where did i scold him then he was shouting and oh oh a ah, lots happened over there means means it means but isn't it allowed to enter i'm a little confused openings for noobs gg by anish giri gm okay by the way she is gone what king d6 was there any problem with king f6 or not really oops illegal move bhi kar dungi main abhi to okay no problem everything works so we at which point did things change just to one second go back here because we king d6 was a blunder rook e3 but my point was what if e7 was played ah oh this was the, i think the mistake which nurgel has done is just out of tiredness nothing else you give a check and uh, the knight is beautiful suddenly the knight is beautiful for all of us <laughs> rook takes e7 you lose the pawn and that's what nurg these are the little things which seem very easy for us sometimes but in moments when the rook has been on f file for a long time suddenly the knight has been on d7 and d8 for a long time you don't suddenly look at the ideas with rook e6 can be missed just can be missed because you are also looking at ideas with rook e1 more so it's more like a psychology why such a thing can be missed but even here uh, i think this was one trick which vaishali was very alert which is important that she was had not given up d8 queen check blunder because what nurgul missed is she thought she is winning a piece but one move ahead and rook at 7 check the, these were the two critical points now we are in this position king c6 played rook c1 check yeah you can go king d5 actually you don't have to care about this guy because the king is on time if you go here wherever there is check so yeah rook c5 played oh anyway she is building a bridge taking some time now 2 minutes very easy to figure out in 2 minutes what to do ha opening wala course exactly beginners ke liye hai 
अर्थलिंग सेज दैट वॉज अ कूल लुकिंग टी शर्ट लुकिंग गुड ऑन सागर बाय येस आई रियली लाइक आई वॉज वॉन्डरिंग वेर डिड यू गेट द रेड टी शर्ट आ के यू यू डू ऑल्सो स्ट्रीम वेरी नाइस आई डिड नॉट यन ओके मे बी समटाइम्स आई कंट्रोल वन और वन सो ट्वाइस बाय व्यंकट थैंक्स फॉर ऑल द अपडेट्स एंड फॉर द टी शर्ट मयूर सेज वाई कॉम्प्लिकेट द गेम आई गेस फाइनली शी विल गो डाउन द जी फाइल येस शी गोज किंग डी फाइव दिस इज नॉट कॉम्प्लिकेशन एज सच रुक एंड पॉन इट्स ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट टू रिजाइन आई बिलीव हैप्पी अष्टमी टू ऑल वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज अष्टमी आई डोंट नो अबाउट दैट Earthling says it will be so nice to see Vaishali win. Will help with some confidence to keep striving to end a competition on a high. I agree with you completely because uh, I don't know last how many rounds were uh, you know yesterday she lost day before also she lost. If I'm not wrong, so this would really be good, good for her. What are the tiebreaker rules? Tiebreaker rules are uh, third, uh, fifteen minutes plus ten seconds increment two games. If those end in a draw, then three plus two, endless, endless games. इसके बाद कौन सा इवेंट है? इसके बाद ना there are many events happening. We are also planning a summer camp in Phoenix or. So things are in plan i how oh, there is also i think in dubai in april sorry in the month of may there will be in uae they have back to back tournaments dubai police open is there um i believe sharja also might be there lot of events are happening i don't know which ones we will be doing commentary uh, we'll also have to see where are the players playing but norway open would definitely be one big event which will be the i think next very big event would be norway where magnus is playing prag is playing vaishali is playing uh, they have women's tournament so there i think vaishali hampi is playing i believe and uh, in the men's event there will be magnus prag and all the other top players which will be very interesting about the event is even if the game ends in a draw they have to play armageddon so that's norway but before that there will be i think arjun might be playing somewhere so we'll check that out and then would know more later oh radha thank you watching from usa hello amrita yes you there again and this time i would did not get scared right because i had a oh, lot of scared woh woh yaar phone ki kya it's fully tangled <laughs> ठीक करता सब गुंता गुंता हो गया है दिस इज माय लाइफ बेसिकली एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू अनरैवल इट एंड मेक इट फील बेटर या सो अमृता टुडे वाज डिड यू फील टुडे वाज अ लॉन्ग डे और डिड यू फील टुडे वाज अ शॉर्ट डे व्हाट आर यू सेइंग मैन इफ दिस इज शॉर्ट देन व्हाट इज लॉन्ग I don't know because you know what today I was perhaps not as uh, focused here on the tournament as I am always because uh, I was like following and stuff. But then at some point I started. Uh, uh, I met uh, Sandeep uh, from Westbridge, Sandeep Singhal, and we spent some time discussing a few things. And then uh, that was that took some time. And when I came back, Vidhi had left, Gukesh had left, uh, Prag had left, and so that was done. Then I interviewed Nakamura and Karuana both. Then I interviewed Vaishali, Latingye, and somehow the day got over. So I was surprised. Like today for me, the day got over very quickly. 
somehow but i guess for you maybe it was a very long day yeah but tell me something you don't have an idea about the controversy over there which happened then or you do have an idea yeah i have i have an idea of course i wrote in the group also of jazbeed india yeah, that i explained everything to all our team what has happened here i can explain it right now what has happened perhaps it's not very accurate but maybe this is what happened basically um i think ali reza's father wanted to be in the um in the balcony where mm-hmm. tournament hall balcony for the entire duration i think the rule is that you can only be there for 15 minutes so at the end i think he had to be sort of escorted out of the playing hall and yeah it was a little bit of uh, you know commotion and i think it was not the most ideal scenario so right now the entire team of fide is meeting and kind of discussing this issue and i guess there are going to be a lot of uh, decisions that will be taken based on this so it's an ongoing developing story so oh, because uh, the because a lot of people were mentioning certain things some people were there they were mentioning and i don't know yeah, if it yeah. to Uh, no i think alireza's tournament is not going well he's not playing well he's not feeling in fact his father said in the interview that he wants to stop playing or something like that you know in his interview with chesscom ah okay, okay i didn't took i didn't take uh, chess.com ticket and over there they spoke he spoke about it and so on so yeah it's uh, not been the most uh, ideal uh, situation for alireza but that being said i don't know uh, what are because it's still something that will continue developing it's yeah. not going to end got it okay hmm so that's yeah. uh, by the way vaishali right now we, by the way hmm. vaishali won i interviewed her and okay. i can just show you right now here we have vaishali uh, wow. and his mom wow. they are waiting for the transport oops wait 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 so they are waiting and yeah it's cool here we have everyone working amazing in the media room and i can also show you the food that i got today Yeah, this is what I got. So I will eat it perhaps at some point. Wow! So you don't need to eat pizza today. <laughs> no, 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 no. Arey, nice. So uh, you know a lot of things happened. It was a long game. We had Hari Krishna in the commentary. Yeah, we had Hari we Krishna had and Sarvan was also. following, and that's why I didn't join at any point because there were two people already very strong who were there. So I felt like. for me i would just replicate so i did more stuff here like meeting people and so on so i hope that was fine yeah absolutely no but you can still drop in for 2 minutes say hi everyone wants to know where you are so it would be nice to you know just yes join yes for sure uh, for sure i will i will do so the real time things are going on no but i i really appreciate them staying for so long Yeah. giving such uh, depth uh, comment we also samay was at hindi chess biz india for a long time today so a lot of people were there and oh, you know, really? i think uh, yeah it was a fantastic stream there and nikhilesh was awake for 3 hours maybe till till 3 pm 3 am or 3:30 and yeah it was tremendous um, amazing sahi hai no this also vaishali's game ending in a win is a great thing for us because it has been a tough tournament but what she showed today to not give up and she being alert sagar very critical to moments i will just show you in a i mean the game was complex if you want to if you were you able to follow the details of the games or it was you do want any- no not really i actually followed it till salima was winning and then i thought that maybe it's very tough for vaishali to win Or draw. Yeah. Then I stopped at that later on when I joined the stream, and saying hi, you showed me that she is winning, and I was very surprised. And then she came here, and I interviewed her. Yeah. So for me, right now, I don't want to see chess huh. too much. I want to yeah. go and finish my work. Okay. Uh, and end end the day today with uh, you know posting things because there are many things that happen. Although today's day, 
was less eventful from an indian yes. perspective but it was more ev- eventful from the tournament standing perspective because we now have six players in with a chance to win this um and i would say the highest chance of course goes to nepo right now because of being in the lead and having won twice with six points he's on six gukesh is also on six he's playing perhaps the best chess that he plays so i think good chances for him hikaru and fabi what i feel is that somehow they have managed to come back like i thought both of them are not having the best events like hikaru losing twice to with it fabi also not you know showing his best chess yet there are they are within striking distance and pragnananda has been super solid in this tournament like he lost only to gukesh and after that he has been super solid he is not losing anything so he's playing decently and vidit has been the guy whom we cannot call him out like we cannot say he has no chances or something although he's one point behind because prag hikaru Kal- uh, karuana are on same points five and half mm-hmm. vidit is the only one on five but if vidit manages to win one game i think he will be back so be back. Yeah. also also i feel nepo has a tougher pairing left than gukesh because nepo has to face pragnananda with it karuana and nakamura this is what i think he has four rounds while gukesh has uh, played against uh, already prag with it and he still has left about four to play so i think gukesh has realistically great chances to win this tournament yeah and but also, then again you can be sure sir one question is if somebody wins uh, is, is there is a tie break okay is it based on the equal points or the tie break one yeah. tie break two also matters in chess no no equal points i think equal just equal points, points there is a tie break yeah oh then yeah. it doesn't matter so this is the current standing i think there will be a tie break yeah for sure your because it's not so for many... sure but i <laughs> I'm not sure I'm... about such things. That's true. Okay, but just to oops, not chat, just moves, guys. Just to show you the current standings. Here we have Nepo Gokesh on six points each. Fabi Nakapra on five and a half each. Vidit on five. Oh. Firuza on three and a half. Nijat on three. And uh, for women's leading G, Tan Zongi on six and a half each, but one point ahead of Goriachkin and Lano. Hampi on four and a half, Anna on four, and Nurgul on four. Also, Vaishali now on three and a half. So, let's see how this finishes, Amrita. I think it's going to be super exciting. Rest day has come at a good time uh, to take some rest for you, for me, for everyone. And so we will take some rest. I also want to give a shout out to our viewers because Amrita, we have. If you show the main screen, okay. We have hit one point five million thirty nine thousand. Sorry, yeah, thirty nine thousand four thirty. So we are closing in on. Actually, our aim was fifteen lakh fifty thousand, right? Uh, so we are ten thousand away from it. Ten thousand five hundred. We should be able to. Oh, also on help chess. Team. I didn't know that. Wow. Should yeah, that. on help chess we have twelve uh, forty. Uh, believers yeah because so today we amazing. got five but uh, we got a very big uh, but it, i couldn't easily navigate we had some new widget so it was a bit difficult for me to do that i think we had someone who contributed 17000 rupees yeah so we had today so a big big shout out to them vipul kothial again 1100 dave vipul, thank 500 you. ankush 100 abhay kandelwal 500 and harsh patel 17000 yeah harsh harsh thank you so much very kind of you yes so yeah this is the situation that we have uh and yeah amruta i will i will yes. go and okay, do some okay we will also work. go guys hapan bhi jaate hai samay raina in the chat says sagar and amruta अरे इतना ही कहा बिकॉज मुझे लगा कि वो कुछ कबाब में हड्डी कुछ तो कुछ तो बोलेगा बट समय रहना इन द चैट सो समय भाई क्या ही बढ़िया मैंने हिंदी का कमेंट भी थोड़ा फॉलो किया बहुत मजा आया इनफैक्ट वट आई रियली लव द कॉन्वर्जेशन वेर यू शुड डेवलप अ कोर्स फॉर एब्सोल्यूट बिगिनर्स टू लर्न चेस एंड आई फील 
it will be a big hit and put it up on youtube and if you need any help to develop this course for me to shoot for me to be around there please tell me i would love to uh, love to help kyunki someone was talking that there are so many people interested to learn chess and uh, there are so many courses but he feels that there is no course which kind of creates that uh, vibe which he has and i completely agree that if somebody makes such a course so many people will learn chess from it and it might be the best project that can be undertaken so yeah and he says hindi chess biz india is now the biggest hindi chess youtube channel yes <laughs> yes that is true uh, niklesh uh, is uh, doing hard work for so many years i feel it's like a one man army but i think more people can join him those who want to contribute and do i think this two days when samay was there i'm sure many people subscribed <laughs> yeah yeah i know it was 128 128000 and now it is 1 lakh like 31 or 32000 so 3 to 4000 people have subscribed thanks to him so thank you samay for for helping cool, cool. there amazing sahi hai chalo guys taking your leave sagarsha all the best yes okay बाय अमृता टेक केयर सी यू करती हूं तुमको प्राइवेट में <laughs> इधर सब लोग है हजार लोग समय रहे ना एक तो है इधर प्राइवेट में बात करते ठीक है अमृता ठीक है बाय 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 one of the key aspects that stops the progress of many chess players and puts them in an extremely difficult situation is finances over the years thousands of chess players have left the sport because of lack of funds this is the reason we came up with the help chess foundation there are people out there who want to support indian chess players and there are chess players in need of funds we at help chess wanted to act as a bridge a transparent and accountable bridge where every single penny that the donor contributes is put to use in a way that it powers indian chess over the last 4 years of activity help chess has raised over 60 lakh rupees we have had many scholarships like the mkg scholarship pursue your chess murlidhar jalan foundation sadhna app sponsorship and many more it has benefited more than 50 players from getting good training to being able to travel to tournaments to working with better technology help chess tries to ease the lives of the chess players and supports them to move in the direction of their goal all the amount that is raised for chess players is then transparently updated on the chess base india website but we have always wanted to improve the experience of our donors that's the reason why we ensured that our charitable trust is atg compatible the donors now get tech tax benefits and with that in mind we are launching the help chess website when you visit the website you will see two ways to contribute believer and big believer why did we choose the name believer that's because each of you who contributes believes in indian chess as soon as you donate your name is updated in the re- and believer section at the bottom of the website you will see all the initiatives taken up by help chess that have been transparently mentioned to the link articles if you click any of the articles you will get an update of all the people who have contributed our hope in the coming years is to support more than a thousand chess players and ensure that no talent in indian chess is wasted due to lack of funds we hope that you will join this initiative to power chess in india Chess is